Grace, how many messages are you fucking deleting? I like come I like come back and half of the chat is deleted. I'm like, who is this? And it's just <laughs> I don't give a shit. full set of this isn't there for our patients oh shit Someone say that was poke? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. How the fuck did this happen? So from my understanding, this Denny's was like shutting down. And basically like these people that are playing in here, like knew the owners and they're like, yo, can we just like, can we just do like a set? Like, charge people and just give you the guys, like, the money for it. Management was like, yeah, fuck it. Yo, Harona, what's up? Thank you. I appreciate that, hero. We're just doing some normal pre-stream stuff, like... Watching a mosh pit instead of Denny's.
no one Waffle House past midnight? You can't make a Waffle House reference when this is in a Denny's past midnight. Like, this is literally in a Denny's. But where's this spaghetti? I don't know, dude. Where are the Brooklyn style meatballs? This is a kitchen over here. What's up? Y'all pointing out the red shirt girl like she doesn't like being there. <laughs> Christ, man, that was wow. Riveting. Yo, Mantis is here. Oh my god. Mantis is only here because he was probably lurking in Harona's chat. Um what the fuck is this? You wanna know what to do in a mosh pit? Don't worry, most people don't know what to do in a mosh pit. I remember when I went to my first mosh pit in high school. Not a mosh pit, actually. My first hardcore show. It was in, it was in Lunenburg, Massachusetts. For, first set, first song. I'm not even in I'm not even in the fucking pit. And some guy just clocks me straight in the face. It was pretty chill otherwise. <laughs> he, I don't know. He, this, this dude was targeting me, man. I don't know what to say. He uh, was fail RP. He was targeting me. Yeah. Uh, Massachusetts mosh pits are just fist fights. Yeah, Massachusetts is a pretty big hard, hardcore scene. You know what I'm saying? Where everyone in high school gets a, a giant black X tattooed on them that says that they stay away from drugs and alcohol. And then when they turn 21, they immediately uh, break that resolve and get into both drugs and alcohol. So it's pretty it's pretty dope out there. Would definitely recommend uh, taking a trip out. Um, I went and got my... I went and got my COVID shot today. So I got a little, you know, a little bandage right there. A little band-aid. My second one. So if I start um, feeling like shit and whatever uh, tonight and end early, you know, don't bully me, please. Because I'd say roughly in like, last time was like eight hours or so from now is when I was just like, fuck, and I felt like shit, but... 5G, I'm feeling the 5G for sure. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. I told you guys Monday, so we'll we'll stream for a bit. This is once you won't get bullied by chat. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't kick your ass. We'll see, man. Uh no time to do the X tats with an expiration date. True. My friend lost his shoe in our first one, and all of a sudden we just saw someone holding it in the air. That's nice. Nice when that happens. Felt like shit about four hours after my second shot. Uh, it's been a few hours. I mean, we'll we'll see, man. I just what, what what can I do? You know, what's done is done. The deed has been done. What's that thing that Sano says? It has been done. I can't fucking remember. 
Shaw was reasonably merciful. Woke up with a taste of bile in the middle of the night, but that's all. Hmm. Like heartburn? I don't know, man. Listen, I've heard varying degrees of all the shots, okay? Varying degrees. I've heard, bro, Moderna, I fucking threw up eight times. Pfizer, I thought I was going to die. And then I didn't have anything happen with my second Moderna. Yeah, I was completely fine with my second Pfizer. Something and obviously there's no one that can testify for Johnson and Johnson because all those people are dead. So what can you do, you know? You just kind of just gotta fucking do it. Although the, the woman that was doing the pharmacy, uh, she was talking about something like getting my booster. She's like, and you can come back, come back in six months. Now that the booster is FDA approved. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You think I'm going to fucking come back, get my fucking arm stabbed again six months from now? You're out of your goddamn mind. I think I'm fucking coming back here. And then on top of it, I was trying to get a, like, I ran out of water, like literally yesterday. So I was like, I'm, you know. The, the pharmacy I went to was in Target. And I uh, I was like, oh, I'll get some fucking water while I'm here. Bro, when I was gone, there was like this, there was like an E. coli emergency. And people raided the stores for like bottles of water, dude. It was all out. You know what I have today? Today, I, I literally have... I have... Uh, Google, Google Gather Water. Purified drinking water. This is what I have. This is what I'm working with. Google water over here. You know, what the fuck am I going to do with this? Processed by advanced filtration, reverse osmosis technology. Literally, this is Brita run wa like water that I paid money for. They ran this through, through a, uh, a Brita filter then bottled it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm fucked either way. At least it's not Dasani. Shut the fuck up, dude. I'm tired of you guys roasting Dasani when you have literally zero idea what you're talking about. Like, you're clueless. Like, absolutely clueless. And you're talking about Dasani. A tap water is good? You must not live in a city if you are saying that. It would have been poetic if you only had soda. <laughs> yeah, would it actually be poetic if I only had soda? I didn't even, I didn't even get a soda today, dude. I didn't get my, I didn't even get a treat for my, I didn't get a treat for my, for my shot. There's a Russian mutation that causes him to like Dasani. You guys are roasting Dasani. Dude, stop coming at me with your fucking preferences, your shitty preferences, okay? Do, go get your, your bottles of water, go get Dasani. And, and just just check yourselves before you wreck yourselves, okay? Do your taste tests. Because I guarantee you the water you think you like, you're not going to pick in a taste test, all right? I guarantee it. And you're saying, well, why, how would you do a taste test? Just water. Yeah, exactly. If it's just water, then your argument is fucking defunct. And if it's not just water, if there's tears of water, get a bunch of them. Get like 10 different bottles and see, that you know, put your money where your mouth is. If you truly like a specific brand of water, put your money where your mouth is blindfold yourself rate the waters and see which one you actually like i guarantee it it's not going to be the one that you think you like i guarantee it all right we did this with cow chop i picked dasani you know i can tell my dasani apart from other waters that's just me you know that's just who i am okay i'm a dasani ride or die if that's not you that's fine have your shitty preferences go get your arrowhead or aquafina or whatever the fuck you're drinking nowadays you know, I mean, here I am. I mean, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. I ran out of my Dasani. I had to switch to purified, you know, Brita water today. So I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. But it is what it is, dude. You know, what can you do? What can you do about it? You know, what can you do? So, um, what else? We did an experiment in environmental science class with this one kid, and the only one he could tell apart was Aquafina because it tasted nasty. And yeah, that'll stick with you. Moments like that will stick with you. You just built different chat. <laughs> that's true. That's right. Yeah, I have like a bounty that I should do next stream that I've been like putting off for some reason. Um. Oh, never mind. It's already gone. Great. Missed out on that. Awesome. 
It was a it was a, a Ghost of Tashima bounty. It was actually pretty decent, and they gave me a code for it, but I didn't do it. Because bounties are weird. They're like, this will be available for four days unless a bunch of people claim it, literally four days before it expires. And I think that's what happened. A bunch of people fucking claimed it because I was gonna like, just stream some ghosts and like chill, but. Snooze, I lose, I guess. Damn, bro, we are supporting. Yeah, that would have been chill. Ghost of Tsushima is actually really good. I like getting stuff that I actually enjoy. I just don't like pushing for shit that I, like, wouldn't push for, honest, like, normally. But we had some other people reach out. We had a few companies reach out. Um... Okay. I, uh, I might, I might hook up with, uh, NordVPN next month. We'll see. They seem pretty chill. Pretty, pretty, pretty reasonable people over there. Might, might, you know, hook up with them for, like, about a month, I think, is the campaign that they want to push for. But then, like, I get a bunch of other things that, like, I just don't... Not that I think they're bad or anything like that, um... But just like there's a bunch of stuff for like poker. I don't think poker is bad. I just don't play poker, so I'm kind of like, oh, thanks, but what the fuck am I gonna do? Just be like, oh, I gotta flush, guys. It's weird. I think it's people taking it. I just, I guess, I personally wouldn't do it. You know. So when cool stuff comes up and I don't do it, that's kind of cringe. Because, like, Ghost would have been cool. I also had a Valorant one in June. Stream Valorant for an hour? Like, why wouldn't I do that, you know? Anyway, uh, yeah, Valorant one would have been cool. It is what it is, though. No, I am a full-time streamer after all. Okay. One more. Jesus. All right, so are we going to jump on the server? Is that what we're going to do? Get to a moral rank? I still want to do... Okay, so honestly, like, no memes. I actually do want to do a, a Valorant, like, like rank climb. But it would probably be... It, it wouldn't be anytime soon. I definitely thought about it. Kind of like how we grinded uh, Global back in the day. But Valorant's actually fun and CSGO isn't. Can you rant about Pugs again? I'm not going to rant about Pugs again. But I will show you a video. That I think is... Um, that I think is relevant towards the discussion. Because you're talking about... My like pre-pre-stream conversation I had about Pugs. I will, uh... Band practice. Yeah, I'll play that one for you. Soccer, whatever. Hey, Pug, we have a oh, no, 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 I know, it's hard. Okay? <laughs> Pug! Pug, you have to stop. It's okay. Pug. Pug. Chill. Okay? Why? Why is this a thing? Is my would be my question. Come here, dude. <laughs> Why, 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 like, why do they do that?
Oh no. Don't wolf. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. The only bad side to the whole thing is that, like, Toretti's, like, uh... The Toretti arc didn't really work out that way, right? <laughs> so... Everything else we got right, like, that intro was, you know, that was made a while ago. Um, so there was a lot of parts that are, like, current in it. But the Toretti one, obviously, like, eesh, eesh you know? Oh, jeez. I got a bunch of shit. Come on, man. Maybe somebody needs to replace Sorty with a bass face. Oh. My friend had a bug that when it was a puppy, literally battering ram through a door. Alt-tab, let's go. No, I believe it. Okay, alt-tab again, let's go. Sorry, I'm, I have the wrong thing I'm pulled up. There we go. You find Tordy so adorable? He's a fucking menace. What do you mean? By the way, I, I mean, I kind of... Yo, you are looking handsome, my dude. Also, I heard it's Art's birthday, so a quick shout out to her chat. Yo, shout out to Art. Let's go. I, um... What was I gonna say, dude? What the fuck was I gonna say? What the fuck? What the fuck? I, uh... Oh man! Oh yeah! Do you, are you guys uh, are you guys showing with the face cam recently? I mean, I'm, I've been I've been putting the face cam up. I mean, we get there's some memes from from that, but has that been has that been all right? I used to not have it for a long time. I'm just kind of trying it out more recently. It's okay. It's okay, bitch. You better fucking you better change it up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, cool, cool. It can be a little immersion breaking, so that's the only thing, I guess. Prefer it, okay. Hi there. How's it going? It's going all right. You're waiting for somebody. I I think so. I don't know honestly. Okay, what is that? I just what do you... I just it's I just kind of have a question about like ride-alongs. Oh, what's your question? Well, like how do they work? Like how can I sign up for one? Oh, I don't. Uh, you'd have to talk to somebody from the uh, personal and training department. Mm -hmm. uh, which and where can I find that? Is either Brittany Angel or Dominic Toretti. Uh, but I think this batch probably gets this question multiple times a day, so maybe you're better off just waiting for one of them to uh, get over here and guide mm -hmm. you in the right direction. That's what I've been waiting for, too. All right. Okay. So, Sorry. Thought it was something else. No, it's okay. Also, I do yes. have maybe another question that might, you might know. Okay. So, um, yesterday, I applied for doc and i was wondering do you know like 
when like do you see these the nuts? average <laughs> response time to those applications are? I have no idea. I don't know anything about the Department of Corrections or uh, how they handle stuff up there. Ah, okay, no problem. Maybe try. Maybe try uh, going up and asking somebody that works there. Oh, you know that might be a good idea. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Have a good day, boss. You too. Shut up. Uh, shut the fuck up, Razor, dude. Razor, you don't. <laughs> Razor, you don't want to start shit with me. Guys, look, it's Harona. Harona viewers. Look at this. Now she's here. Look, now now you have us in the stream together. Look hey, at Bob. that. How's it going? Copper. Look. Uh, not too bad. I'm making all my uh, master documents for my investigations. Well, that's fun. You have a bunch of blood on your hands. What's that from? Uh, probably crushing these VIN scratched cars into tiny little cubes. Oh. Yep. I'm like, uh, pitching all these, uh, cars. And then I ev evaporate them. That's really sick. You're it's getting rid of all those cars. Pretty badass. I get $50 each time. Is this part of that seizures search and, uh, seizure search thing? Search and destroy? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep, that's that. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Well, as long as you're having fun. Ha, huh, loads of, loads of fun. What about you, Bob? Um, I don't know. A... How's the, how is destroying little, little Jimmy's life going? Uh, pretty, pretty good. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people involved with Jimmy's life that are actually doing a much better job of destroying it than I ever could. And by proxy, I'm trying to destroy those people. So other criminals yes. destroying his life and then you're going to... Yes, his, his family is, is a terrible influence on him and I think they're uh, forcing him to do things that maybe he otherwise wouldn't because he's a impressionable uh, teenager. Personal. Okay. Yeah. Do you really think he's like uh, innocent? Yes. Very susceptible. Yes, I think he's susceptible, and uh, the people around him are taking advantage of that. Hmm. You gonna do another scared straight program? No, because I, I think he has a learning disability. So. It's a rather sad situation. Want to try and give him psychiatric, psychiatric help or? To, I mean, he talks like he's eight years old, you know. He he calls different people his mom and dad. You know, and, he, and the Sophia woman is probably the worst huh. offender of them all because she, she pretty much coerces him to say things that he normally wouldn't. I think he's. And I think he's an honest boy, but whenever he's in a room with her, she pressures him into falsifying testimony to cover her dumbass. It's really pathetic. He was like a learning disability that got passed on from her. Yeah, possibly. There's a lot of things that got passed down from her that probably should have stayed in her own gene pool, if you know what I mean. Okay. What's a. Well, shit, I thought you were going to actually get something out of this because I thought you were following a case for cocaine. Well, I, I mean, I am. So, is that on a hold until you destroy these guys' lives? Or is no, this, is this a part of your part path of, of destruction? Oh my god, okay. The, the leads I'm getting, I mean, they're, they're tied into it. And, and I keep getting word that, that Jimmy is harboring a, a shit ton of weed. I think they're you using him as fact? the... I don't know for a fact. Oh, sorry, not weed. Uh, cocaine. Okay. I don't know for All a right. fact. Uh, what I have is 19 transactions for the drug in his bank statements. Him selling drugs to cops. People buying drugs from him saying that they're selling drugs uh, where he's their re-up. 
Same as from the dad saying the mother's giving him drugs. I mean, this kid's knee deep into this cocaine shit. Is, uh, is Dante one of these um, peripheral people that you're going to take down to? You're talking about uh, Deputy Dante? Yes. No, Deputy Dante is just an idiot. Oh, okay. All right. Just... That's more of a Kyle thing, and Kyle can barely, uh, barely reprimand his cadets from my understanding, so... I'm sure uh, something will get figured out with that someday. Yeah, these cadets are fucking wild. They don't fucking <sighs> listen to anybody. Some of them, yes. Some of them are uh, rather good at their job. And uh, they, yeah, they show up our are... uh, senior officers who for some reason forgot the past uh -huh. two years of cop work. Yes. Well, it's either one or the other. This uh, new batch. I, I agree with that, copper. We're not doing Academy anymore. I mean, shit. I'm pretty sure the BCSO job fair just hired 12 people off of the pier. Well, didn't they just have a mini Academy like a day ago? Oh, yeah. They did do that, right? That's yes. good. We need those. We've already yes. tried the whole let's just not do Academy thing, and then we got Toretti, who had to go back two times because he flunked. Right. We had. I think we. No we offense against them. Not having academy is a bad thing. Like it is over a bad thing. Years ago. They can, they cannot just learn everything that we pack into academy in one day of doing. What, it takes weeks of being in ride-alongs to learn what we teach them in academy in three days, even less, two days. Yeah. Well. Weeks. Some people are of a different going on, kind of thinking. You know, I had a cadet in here, this Kaminsky guy. I was at my desk. Yesterday, and he comes up, and he says, Hey, Bob, I'm working a big case right now. I got this guy who's down at the pier. He's selling body parts. I'm like, what do you mean he's selling body parts? Yeah, like real body parts. We tested them. They came back as human. And Ooh. I said, well, that's pretty crazy. I, like, what's going on with that? He's like, well, next time I see that guy, I might scoop him up, ask him some questions. I said, have you tried maybe putting out a warrant for the guy that you have verifiable proof sold body parts to you? Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe I should do that, Bob. Yeah, I'm going to do that before I go on my lunch break. Hmm. You know, just a business license to sell corpse parts at the pier. I'll get to it after lunch. He's hungry. I'm not saying it's his fault. I'm just saying I think. When uh, did you get it? I mean, I, like, how long about it about a guy, been... you know, selling human body parts that you can eat? How, how long had it been what since the guy? Lunch first? How long had it been since the cadet had had breakfast? Because you know, I... lunch may have been very important. That's true. Lunch could have been important. I'm not sure, but I made him put out a warrant for the uh, guy that's selling body parts. Figured it might be uh, the correct thing to do. I don't know. Yeah, no, hmm. that sounds sounds procedurally sound. Hey, uh, Bunny, sorry to interrupt real quick. Anything else you guys need added for um, SCU? Because we're changing, we're adding a lot of interiors to Mission FPD. Oh, so besides uh, the banners, anything else you guys would like in there? Well, we we specifically wanted the um, the room in there to just be soundproof. Ooh. That's can something you show me, that um, can you show me what she's gonna work on? Oh, okay. He's gonna change all the windows because the windows leak yes. sound. If that makes any sense. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, Cody Sharp can't work on them until the windows are fixed. I Can see. you guys show uh, me true. which room? Because I put a request in for, like, a projector screen, kind of like our shift change meeting room, so that yeah. uh, we can put up information while we're talking about meetings. It's probably Yeah, yeah. Um, can you show me? Because if you take a picture, I can send it to the French right now. He's on the line. I don't know what room it is. It's the debrief room next to the armory, like, across from oh, the Oh, the, the, the MCD yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. The old MC room, right? Over here? So that's changing the top two as well to SCU. And then right here you're saying, right? I... Okay, where were we at? <sighs> where's when the duel is canceled? What the fuck? Hey, uh, Bass, do you need the, uh, do you need me to send you the that I had uh, created? The one that I've been using on the letterhead and the SOPs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, send me that. Uh, where would you like it, Bob? Where was a good location for this, like, projector? Oh, that's you a copper thing. Fish. See, a uh, copper, what are you thinking? Problem is, like, I'm thinking uh, probably the best spot is that board, that cork board right yeah, there. But I was that would move. Yeah, say it. that board at the back. All right, you want me to request it? Um, I'm, I'm gonna take a. Picture. Yeah, that guy's in jail. <laughs> uh, Always in jail. That guy um, definitely died. 
Uh, she died too as well. Is that Harry Brown? Just, just a picture of Harry Brown? Okay. Who's this guy with the LMG right now? Oh, that guy looks way too skinny to be Harry Brown. Looks like Harry Brown, like his like skinny neck version. Yeah, like, that's not Harry Brown. That's a Harry Brown's like younger <laughs> brother. Maybe. Are you sure that's not Harry Brown? Actually, I don't. Because mm -hmm. that looks a lot like Harry Brown. Y yeah, Bob. I can't recognize any of it. Why is uh, Dean Watson calling me? Give me a second. Honestly, either either this spot or where the whiteboard is over there. Uh, yellow. I mean, either one. Hello. 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 Okay, if you're if you're talking on the phone, I can't hear you, sir. All right, damn kids are prank calling me again. You said Dean's prank calling you. I think so. I'm not surprised. Mr. Watson is humor. Uh, I already had a uh, I had a meeting with the future mayor about funding and stuff. By the way, so can yeah, you, can I can I ask another thing? Sure, That'd anything. Be copper. Really great. If we're gonna, you know, whatever you want. This. I'll try to push for it. This. Can we tint these windows so people can't Hello. look in. Hello, you hear me now? Yes, I can. Hey, uh, I got a text message on my phone from you a couple of days ago asking me, okay, me to no call problem. you. Uh, well, we can we yeah, can that had like, to do with no, um, your Escalade that was uh, found down at the docks that you. Allegedly reported stolen. All right, easy peasy. Uh, no, I didn't report stolen. I told Ain't it was stolen. Yeah, somebody might see it. It wasn't stolen. True, you're right. No, no, I, I mean, I didn't report it stolen. I just, oh. I told Angel that it was in the casino car park, and then it was gone. I agree, oh, I, I see. Agree. Okay, so yeah, we we found it, and I had uh, called you to see if you had any information about it, but I think oh, Angel already uh, talked to you. Right here, I'm gonna take oh yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I went down the impound lot, got it out. It's all good. Hey, did you um? Did anyone tell you anything else about why it was taken or, or nothing? I mean, Angel said something about a naked man in there, and then when I got in it, it stunk, so I had to air it out. That's about it. Yeah, some some dock workers were were driving it around with, like, smoke grenades, and then they picked up some, like, homeless-looking naked man that jumped in the trunk of the Escalade, so I don't... I don't exactly know what... Uh, what the fuck actually happened, but I figured you should probably know. I guess you I should know it. that you don't know what the fuck happened. Well, I mean, I well, how am I supposed to know what the fuck happened? I mean, you t that's what I'm calling you, asking if you know what the fuck happened. Right, but you told me you thought I should know that you don't know what the fuck happened. Well, have, have any dock workers complained to you about, like, your casino, you know... Like treatment of high, you know, treatment of employees at the casino, or something. I'm just trying to tie the dock workers to the casino here. Have you gotten threatened by any unions recently? So I'm not. No, I mean the casino don't get involved down at the docks, but my state contracting company does. You know, I import a lot of shit through the docks. So. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess some of the dock workers decided to import a, a naked man for you. For me? I don't know. Uh, either way, if uh come across anything, I guess give us a call and we'll try to figure it out. Unless you're unless you bought a naked man and had your dock worker friends import him in for you or something. Would that be human trafficking? I don't. I don't actually know what that would be. I. I. I literally. I've never seen that in my life, so I have no idea what what a penal code for that situation would look like. Okay, so if I were to admit to importing a naked man, okay. I might not even be charged. Um, I think it maybe depends on the the if if the man was against his will. But it, it kind of looked like he wanted to get in there. It's basically the, the unlawful act of forcefully transporting or coursing individuals into performing an act of service, being that or forced labor or otherwise. Right, okay, so that naked man, I guess the act alone of importing him, probably not, but if you're, like, making him, um, I don't know, 
mine diamonds for you down at the uh, Sandy Shores mine shaft, then I guess that could technically qualify as human trafficking. So are you looking for a human trafficking charge? No, I was just saying what 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 the options are here. All right, I'm just I don't think anyone was human trafficking. I think um yeah, actually I don't yeah I, I literally have no clue. Anyways, uh guess give me, give me a give me a call if you find out and there was I just, I just wanna I just wanna make just make some clear because I I import a lot of shit on the docks right so okay. if I, if I have a friend in another country right sure and doesn't have a the green card to live here in San Andreas. And I import them in a container on the docks. That's technically not legal. Yeah, so I, so I would assume that the green card thing is more of a more of a federal um, problem. We kind of deal with the uh, the local issues. So I have no way of verifying who's a citizen in this uh, fine state. Nor is that really my business, I guess. I mean, if you if you cut him up into pieces, I guess, like, and you had his body parts on you, that's like a felony. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, like, if you dug up a human corpse, that's like a felony. You said this man was alive, right? Yeah, no, this man was alive. The problem is also, from what I saw, this man willfully jumped into the Escalade, so I'm kind of... I don't see any, I didn't see anyone forcing him into it. Um, and then I guess if, if they're, uh, like I said, if they're forcing, like, this, this poor naked man that could or could not have been your friend from a different country without a green card to, like, do things he doesn't want to do, then I guess, um, I guess that would be human trafficking. Seems like there's a flaw here, because it seems like I can just import people willy-nilly, as long as they consent. And then if they get deported for not having a green card, it doesn't come back to me. Yes, that is that is correct. Now, if I start selling that as a service, is there any charges for that? I don't even think you have to, like, sneak people in. I think you could just bring people in, like, just through their front door, honestly. You know? I don't think anyone's going to... I don't think anyone's going to stop you. How's it going? You know? Like, uh... Recently, we found out that uh, ketamine isn't illegal, uh, so you can you can do ketamine, which is like this uh, hallucinogen, um, like a horse tranquilizer drug that they're uh, making up in prison. And uh, I tried oh. to get a law passed for that because I said, "Hey, people probably shouldn't be doing ketamine," and. Uh, you know, the judges agreed, but they said they're not going to pass anything anytime soon. So ketamine right now is legal to do. Is, uh, is, there, is there a law against doing any narcotics? Like, is it the act of doing it? Is that legal? Yes. The act of doing the narcotic is legal. However, the act of possessing the narcotic is not. But mm. in the same time, we do have, uh, I think, public intoxication. So technically, like, we could press charges for that. You know, if you're, like, drinking on the street or doing drugs and I have to prove that you're doing drugs but in order for me to prove it I'd have to get a warrant for you to uh, get your blood drawn or something just to get a toxicology which is a lot of effort for somebody just smoking a, a J on the street yo yeah I mean sounds like a lot of hoops you gotta jump through Jesus right I guess I was just calling because to us the uh, Escalade was kind of weird because uh, we couldn't identify any of the uh, drivers other than uh, Mr. Uh, Dean Watson. And also there was a DeLorean Excuse involved me. in this. The, uh, the, the, Mr. The, you, you, the, like, that was your car is what I'm saying. That's the only thing oh, that we could identify yeah, from gotcha. that. You didn't, you didn't, like, pull these guys over or something? Um, well, maybe we did. I have to look at the report. You know. I mean, it's an Escalade. How hard could it be to catch? Well, you know, because we had units and, and you, know, you know, we had units in different stations and they weren't really doing anything illegal at that time, right? One of them was like on a clipboard for a while, like staring at the ground. Yeah, it just sounds like dock workers. 
the other was were just kind of like running around. They didn't even really look like they were doing any dog working. And then when the naked man jumped in the car, they just kind of like pulled the pin on a smoke grenade. What was the purpose of the smoke grenade? I have no idea what the purpose of the smoke grenade was. We went back and tried to case it. I think the smoke grenade was... Welcome to the Immortal Army. Like, for fun, maybe? Maybe they were having a good time with the smoke grenade? You know, what no... if they were trying to hide the naked man, but you saw him anyway? Um, I don't even, again, that, it's still not a crime to use a smoke grenade. From from our understanding, you can just have smoke grenades. So if these dock workers were uh, infiltrating the docks to import That's this naked man, mm -hmm. they could have just saved all the trouble and just, just did it. Yeah, I think so. I think the if I think if they were trying to import this naked man, I think they could have just met him at the airport and uh, just picked him up in like a an Uber or something. Thanks for that video, Chief. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Mister Watson, I gotta go deal with some crime here. But uh, let me know if like you find the people that stole the car, and I'll you know maybe I'll press charges against them. All right, we'll do. I'll All let right. you know if, if uh, see any naked men as well, I guess. Yeah, no, I'd like to interview the naked man, but, you know, that, that's neither here or there. All right, well, I appreciate you uh, following up. Yes, sir. Appreciate the phone call back. You have a good night. You too. Hey, Bye. how's it going, Sergeant? Jones. Good, how's it going uh, yourself? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Who, uh, who are you rolling with, Jones? Uh, Mendoza. Mendoza, okay. All right. I was just making sure somebody... Crap, grabbed you up. I didn't see anybody in line, so. Uh, yes, sir. Somebody did. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a good day, guys. Uh, my God, there's a, some dude passed on the parking lot. Please come get him. Someone said it's a really long phone call. Uh, I like talking to Dean. Dean's really fun to role play with. That's why it was a long, long phone call. He plays he plays a pretty good character and um he's with it and he's helped uh he's helped us out a lot on our crim when he Welcome didn't to have to at all. Alex Dad. He fed us a lot of stuff and it was really nice of him to do that, so I try to give him RP whenever I can and he gives me RP whenever he can. It's uh one of them was just titled It's just a it's just a nice uh mutual relationship with DW, you know. That phone call is so funny if you if you know what actually happened down at the docks. Um, yeah, you know, just from our police perspective, like, we don't know what actually happened down at the docks, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure they were, like, being, like, goofy, and we had a nice chase from that, too. It was just unfortunate we didn't catch, uh, I think it might have been Buddha. So, it, it happens. It's a dog-feed dog world with DW and Alex. Uh, free prime sub for you. <laughs> dog-feed dog-feed world. Dog... Yeah. Well, there's just okay. I mean, there's just it's just some meta to it where there's just like certain people on the server that, like, I'll see and I'll like I'll want to interact with them. You know what I'm saying? The HOA guys come to mind. Uh, the Lot Q guys, Hobbit, um, Fontaine, um, Dean, obviously, Pentas characters. You know, when I see when I see them out there, we had for a while Charlie at the uh, at the hospital. He's Fox Runner. I haven't seen him in a bit. Um, just yeah, just certain just certain characters that are for me personally like really obviously Harona. Yeah, uh, Harona's a given. Just uh, really fun too. I didn't mean, I didn't mean cops because I see cops all the time. I meant like non cops. That uh, Silas, yeah. That are they're just like fun to uh, just to be like hey what's going on here because you know you'll just get some ridiculous story and a lot of people you know having played crim um, a lot of the times people just want a cop to like just respond to their story or whatever just to show that they give a shit and so uh, it's usually pretty good to uh, just show and be like hey you know what we got a call about this like what's happening here you know just to give them that like. Here's what happened, officer. Like they, uh, a lot of them kind of like that sort of role play. You know, they're not really robbing banks thirty times a day, but they're um, 
Okay, Madison has an important meeting upstairs. But they just, you know, they're not robbing banks, they're not shooting cops, but they still want, like, hey, can I just get, like, somebody to just, like, talk to me, like, and just hear my story real quick, you know? They're not, which is, I don't think is a huge ask, but I know a lot of the cops on the, on the server, especially more recently, are just, like, 1099 and, and you know that's always been a thing you know luckily now we have like uh, a lot more cops so like especially the stuff i'm doing where i can just chill out i've been that's why i've been loving pd and that's why i've been streaming 14 hours a day i can just do my own thing i can respond to all those 911s i can respond to the 37s i can take my time with investigations and put pressure on like all these different criminals and you know they're loving it too because they're like wow actually like us killing somebody might have some repercussions like you know as opposed to just like not giving a fuck and doing whatever. Like I've noticed like Nino and those guys have really like been stepping it up. Yep. How are you? Good, I'm uh, responding to the chief's uh, really important meeting. You talked to D? I did, yes. He was wondering if like Im importing a guy with a green card is illegal or not. Um, some of you guys who were part of the PD in the past could probably you can reflect to this and uh, kind of, it's almost like deja vu. It's like almost like a, a repeat of the past, but in different form. Uh, as of today, we are going to be rolling out the SIG uh, MPX as the yes, main sir. standard issued gun. Oh shit! Control. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. So every single call, you should be expected to carry either a shotgun or the MPX, and along what? with the Glock 17. And um, what? It uses uh, submachine gun ammo, so make sure you have that on hand. And what? it's going to be something that basically any call you go to. Now, when it comes to a special occasion like Bobcat, Vault, the power plant, the prison, or any criminals using high-powered uh, rifles, then you can match them with the same kind of level force when it comes to ARs, right? Mm. Any questions regarding that? Say which ones again are the ARs? It's uh, basically very similar to the good old days. Uh... Bobcat, Vault, Power Plant, and Prison Break, you could pull out the PDM4, which, uh, you know, commonly is referred to as our 762 by the people who have been around long enough. Mm -hmm. And this uh, Six Hour that I have in my hands here, this is the new standard oh, issued rifle shiny. for patrol if you do not wish to use the shotgun. Oh. So Very can cool. we keep the M4 in our rifle rack and yeah, our cars? Yeah, so what I recommend to everybody, if you have a Crown Vic, a personal car, you rack the M4 in there. So, Why oh my this... God, let's go testing now, Bobcat. Oh, dibs. Oh, I guess you guys don't need we'll, to swap we'll just it out. Right sweet now. Jesus. Yeah, you need to swap out. Yeah, use the M4 right now. It's Bobcat security. Go, 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 go. And read that SOPs. There's an announcement. It explains it step by step what to do. Thank you for showing up. Okay, well, I'm going to go patrol with Tony, I guess. I missed it. Copper, oh, tell me you want to go. The, uh, other trials if I can today. Uh, today, I, I just came around to announce the, the six okay. hour. No, not today, That's fine. Uh, can I do it later? Uh, someone's around. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Hey, how's it going, Bob? Good. Uh, no, Cam, hey, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm finishing mm -hmm. writing up my master. Is document. there a chance that you can uh, make so some type of mini that. announcement next time you're doing trials? Uh, maybe. Just I can see. Why is with the fucking so depth of field? I'm making a master city, document that's for I'm uh, to, all of my investigations. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the depth of field in the cameras. Yeah, I could, I could do something. Okay, or even just, you know. I, I know it's a lot to ask, but if you'd shoot me an email, even yeah, I'll, I'll if you don't feel like do. more blurry that. when you Thank zoom, you. you can fix that. How? Stop screaming to Alex. Where's the setting? It's a setting. I know it's. I know it's a setting. I know. What setting is it though? Ooh. I have um, I have fucking uh, ENB, so I'm I'm thinking it's a setting on there. It's just a setting. Dude, it's a setting. Pretty sure it's a setting. Happy birthday, Artemis. I think it's in-game. Has to do with post effects. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Very nice. It's a setting. Yeah, makes I did not hit her. I did not. Kind of All right. Like, Should I do a Tommy Wiseau character? World War II in here. What the fuck is this? Hello. Hello. Is that what it sounds like? What the? No, I, I, yeah, I know about this. It just sounds like weird. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. 
Oh. Comparatively, I guess. It looks like that recoil is gonna smack someone in the face. It, it doesn't really have any. Like a My... What's up, King? My shit. They're trying to process downstairs. They want us to knock this yeah, off. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. I'll just okay, right. Yeah, they're right. trying to process. Okay. Damn, I just thought I'd do that. Hey, you want to go to this? I want to go to this Bobcat. And... Oh, shit, let me grab no. Yeah. It seems a little bit longer than I thought it would be. This isn't just like your typical uh, the CQB SMG. It's, uh, it's got like an extended barrel. Shit. It's actually bigger than the M4. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta grab the M4. Friends, oh, does this use SMG ammo or does this use like it's just a 9mm? Uh, oh. Well, yeah. Why not buy SMG then? Fuck. Wait, is it nine millimeter? It, that's what we were told. Is it not? It uses nine. It's nine. It's nine millimeter submachine gun ammo. Oh. Are you gonna go back them up with this bobcat? Fuck it. I've never been to one. Let me go with another. Yeah, I haven't never been to one in like. <laughs> yeah, you usually get broken off. There's like a, you know, limited number of people that respond to it. How many they got down there? And then last time, uh, some assholes uh, blocked us in with their car. And then shot at us. Yeah, they've already got eight officers down there. I think they're good. I think it's usually like six units plus air one or some shit. I forget. OPD for this. Yeah, I need to get a... Uh, get some food. Smells like Hawaiian breeze. Whole PD for this, boys. All right. I like no room. Jesus, Jesus, bro. We got a new toy, and everybody wants to test. She said, get down, Mr. President. Alex. Okay. Um. Impressive. Well, we got our, our second uh, MCD document that needs to be updated probably with the clown interrogation. I mean, I didn't really have anything worthwhile from that, unfortunately. second let me see this oh this is the mpx announcement okay hello robbery at bobcat oh that's right we had like fucking 30 people we had to like interview for this like drug thing Ugh. Jesus. Mm, this is fine. Probably, right? Fucking hate inventory management, bro. Reverb in the garage, though. It's pretty good. What a big goth. So I'm thinking the SMGs probably do counter Uzis for the most part. to like throw away a bunch of this shit. Please, bro. Thank you. Rifle ammo, anything else? 
Hopefully not. Welcome to the immortal heart. So you can't put everything in your trunk. That's pretty dumb. I think uh, using the uh, what do you call it? God. Yo, one PYC. Thank you. I think this is fine for the most part. As long as, like, I don't know, as long as I'm only accessing stuff while in the car. And I usually, I mean, there's an unrack feature, but since the car, I don't know, does it work? Like, I actually don't know if the unrack is personal or not. Where's the, wait, what? Hold on. Endless circle with 35 months as well. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all the, uh, appreciate all the subs today, guys. Thank you. It's per car. Yeah. Bunch of dudes were shot on the south side. There's some red guys bleeding. What? You good? Yeah. Ew, your arms look so weird when you're holding it. What the fuck? Oh, it's because you're going through the door. That's okay. Did you hear? Did you shoot it yet? Yeah, hold on. Stand still. Uh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you doing anything right now? What? Are you doing anything right now? Uh, what do you, what do you mean? Like, you want to go to ammunition and see how much of my armor it destroys? No. You don't want to shoot me? Sounds weird, bro. You want to shoot me in the chest right now? You're being kind of weird right now. You don't want to shoot me? Bob, that means I a do, lot. but that you're just being oh. weird about it. Why am I being weird about it? It's kind of cringe, that's all. How? What? How am I cringe? I just, thought, I just thought you were better than that. God. It feels weird. Why does it feel weird? I just feel like my face is really up in my gun. Can I use this inside of my car? <gasps> Shit. Unlucky. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey, Bundy. Hey. Oh, fuck. Uh, back. Okay, what are these? What are these names of people I have to find today? Oh, what a pain in my ass. Absolute pain in my ass. Yellow? Hey, Sarge, what's going on? It's Kovacic. Uh, yeah, how's it going? Uh, not bad. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, Sexton created a blank template for me, like those other gang lists that we have. One for the uh, casino family. It's going to be underneath the... Uh, like restricted classified like the SEU only eye stuff uh, for now okay. and I'm gonna go ahead and get that all filled out tonight so we should have like a pretty good comprehensive roster phone numbers addresses vehicles you know stuff like that oh cool okay seems uh, seems good to me yeah and uh, other than that I don't I haven't really heard or seen anything from Sophia or any of them on social media or you know through us so. were you with uh, like uh, Tinker yesterday when he went up to prison possibly uh, no, I, I 42, uh, like same time you did. So oh, okay. and I think he went after that. I got to figure out to see if, uh, anything happened with that. Yeah. I'm not sure. I know Gapes was awake earlier. Sexton uh, mentioned to me. So, hmm. okay. Maybe I'll sort to prison and see if she's there. All right. Yeah. If you want me to come up there, just let me know. Other than that, I'm just hanging out with uh, Sexton. We're working on meth labs. We are trying to find that one up in Polito that the DOC uh, told us about last night, but we we can't seem to nail it down. At least it's not the same type of operation as the other container, like underground ones are. Yeah, it might be worth talking to that DOC guy. I'm gonna um, I mean I, I, should I, go I assume up there it was with behind you. the chicken factory, but yeah, I mean if you want to jump in, I'm in the garage. I'll probably swing over there. All right, she's not in prison. Yeah, I mean if you're going there anyway, I'll come. All right, I'll be there in a minute. All right. A 
Let's see. Is Laura up there? Hmm, she is. She's active. Okay. Yeah, that one looks good. Also, Bob, I went and checked out that area. There's no lab up there. Yeah, that's what uh, Lucas saying. So apparently, Same Riv Rivington, who's EMS now, was one. He was a doctor at the prison before. He might know more. So. Ask him when he's around. This is the chief's car, you know that, right? This is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the chief's car. Uh, he's driving the interceptor right now, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just letting you know, I think this is personal. What the fuck? Why do I have keys to his personal car? He probably gave them to you at some point, just on your ring. <laughs> it's weird, I have keys for Sexton's car, and I, well, he gave them to me today again, but he, yeah, I, I gave have you them keys. normally. I normally have them for your car regardless, it's weird. Why is this car what? like keys, only only yeah, and only the people that I'm like around a lot. Like if I walk up to some random cadet's car, I never have keys for it. But like our personal vehicles for so I, I think I, I'm just keeping the keys on the ring. You know what I mean? And then when I finally huh. have no more space, it kind of I have to throw one away. I don't know. Um, it's the same. I got to figure out how we're going to go visit her without somebody thinking she's snitching by talking to us. We could dress up like DOC, I guess. Pull a tinker? Well, don't wear what he was wearing, because yeah, I'm pretty sure he was wearing a Group 6, like, armored truck bank guard uniform, not DOC, which, you know, isn't green. It's, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. No, not like tinker, like actual DOC uniforms. Hmm. You said he went up there and talked to her last night, you think, Bob? I think so. I just want to see what was said, I guess. But maybe I'll just wait for Tinker to be around. And, uh, what was that, Sarge? I said, uh, I think Tinker went up to see her last night, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. We're going up to Bolingbrook right now. I'm third wheeling on Luke and Bob right now. Is this for me? You're gonna talk to Gapes up there? Uh, we may not now, just cause uh, Tinker might have talked to her yesterday. I don't. Uh, I didn't get a report. I assume he did, but I don't know for certain. If you do talk to her, uh, no we might want to check her on. down. See if she's got another one of those burner phones on her. She was sending a lot of tweets the other day. Yeah, I'm sure she does. By the way, the um. The EMS come on here every once in a blue moon because this is the channel they use for their, like, flight training and fire truck training and everything else. Nice. See, I told you, they never look. You're not wrong. One forty one, Jesus Christ. Four twenty two ten thirty eight northbound Sonora Freeway across from the prison with a gray and color alley and no occupancy. Hello, mind rolling down that window for me, please? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. 
Ah, there you go. Hey, what's what's the rush? What's the hurry for? You know, that I was yeah. Okay, there's no excuse. I was just I like how this car sounds when it goes fast. That mm -hmm. that's really it. Yeah. Yeah, you were doing you were doing double the speed limit, and that's on the freeway, miss. Yep, that I was. Okay. Do you have a license, registration of this vehicle? Um. Yeah. Actually. Oh. Oh. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so it so happened I I dropped my ID dropped as I was ID. leaving the house. Do yes, you, do sir. Do you have a digital ID you could provide me I, with? Yes, I do. In fact. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Is this Miss Taylor? Yes, I believe uh, so. Yes, I mean... yes, that's me. Yep. Wait, what is this? It should be the digital ID, right? Did you guys get a digital ID or? Uh, yeah, I saw it. It was for uh, Yelena Taylor. Yep, that's me. Stop. So, uh, Fifteen seventy nine, I believe, with the city. I have to look again. Yes, sir. Oh. One five seven nine. One five seven. Okay, I don't know why I didn't get that. That's weird. Um, one, God, do you want me to share five, it again with you, sir? Yeah, if you don't mind. There you are. Why did it not come up? Oh, vehicle registration. Right, that would be me, though. I'm. S you work up at Cluckin' Bell, miss? Uh, that I do. My mom owns it. Gotcha. Is that, is, now when, like, if you're employed there, do you work up in okay. with with the factory, or do you work, uh, like, at a booth at Dean's World? Uh, I'll be right back. Work at a booth at Why Dean's did that not work? Hello? Moment, Tom Notch Boomer RP? I guess. I guess that was Boomer RP. What? Why did that not work? Must be different providers. Document app needs to be open prior to the share. Oh, really? Of what remained? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, that's the book that we got a while ago. Okay. Um. I'll just assume they're right. Are you snitching on me, Hardcastle? No, I'm just saying I'm in a traffic stop with you, with Julia. You're, I can't believe you're snitching on me. Right, just a 36, uh, third degree speeding. Just some more than 55 snitch, miles an snitch. hour. Technically, it was because she was doing 136 in a 70. It's. Um. Okay. Second degree speeding. What the fuck? Excuse me. Hmm. You, you know what, Hardcastle? You know what? Take that. Ugh. Just threw an egg at you. She's funny. Well, good thing I threw it out the other one then, huh? Like, uh, there's another one. There! She didn't dodge that one. Look at it. It's all over your shoe. That's where we get hard castle. Uh, are you throwing eggs at uh, officers over there? Um, okay, perhaps. Miss Taylor, you are getting a, a speeding citation today. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, That's fine. You were looking at third. I dropped it down to second. Uh, you were definitely in excess of 55 miles an hour. Like I said, you were doing double the speed limit here on the highway. 
Uh, but we'll drop okay. it down to second degree. It's a five hundred dollar charge, uh, meth okay, later. or ticket. Okay. Uh, yep. and it's two points nah, on your sorry. driving record. It's a misdemeanor, okay? Did you check across the street okay. from the chicken Thank factory? Thank you, uh, Jenny I advise you, uh, slow down before you yes, get hurt. Yes, of course. Yeah, we canvassed, uh, Polito a lot today. Mina and I look around Polito a lot. There you go, just, uh, wait to take off when we get back in the vehicle, okay? Yeah, be Alright, will All right. do. Thank you, officer. Alright, Miss Taylor. Take it easy. You too. Stay Apparently, safe. Apparently, Riv Rivington might know where it is. Former DLC doc and now EMS. He was taken there. Somebody took a DOC doctor to a meth factory. I guess so. So the next time he's around, I'm gonna ask him. Hello, Aspen. I can pull her over for driving without proper identification. <laughs> That'd be fucked no, no, no. up. Well, uh, tell him to hold on. I'll. We'll come when we come back down. We'll talk to him. Give it fifteen. All right. All right. Bye. Apparently, Charlie McNack Namora wants to talk to one of us about boosting. Four, six, four, um, if, oh, I don't know if you want to do that. Boost? Do. I mean, I don't know. He's yeah, running for mayor. Cars. Thank you. If uh, uh, you guys well, need yeah, anything, I mean, let me know. I'll be on this radio. Absolutely. I'm just uh, up no, north. I just mean like, what, what right is there now. to talk to us about, I guess? Ooh, fun. I don't know. Uh, um, I'm gonna check out the red garage. Jesus. See if I can see Dispatcher if I can called me directly. See if I can get they're looking for someone. I get Brenda go do it. Brenda, are you at PD right now? Yes, sir. Oh, where are we going right now? Do you want to go talk to Charlie McNacknamora up front? He wants to talk to someone about boosting. Yeah, Ephraim, I'll do it. Uh, to the uh, Polito. Wait, where's that? <sighs> That's that oh, bonk. That shot's fire too. Time to give this Rodney. MPX a use. Is that app pillbox? Yeah, A firm. A firm. A ratty one. It was a red gang from Southside is what they're saying on channel one. The guys oh, that just get shot up with the like Bought the the cur the fucking cul-de-sac or whatever too earlier. I'm not positive. I, I didn't see that. Like uh, someone from the ball has called in that like the these red guys got shot down there. Is there like a gang war that's like making its way to pillbox now? So GSF and Broke Street Kings, which go by BSK, who wear red, are currently beefing. Why are they shooting EMS? Because they're fucking stupid. It's a group led by OTT, what do you expect? True. Th nothing but facts. Yeah, I think EMS just confirmed it over the radio. Somebody did on channel one, Broke Street Kings. Oh, Jesus. We should literally just roll every cop that's not at the hospital onto Bro Street right now and arrest anyone wearing anything red. Not arrest, but just detain anyone wearing the color red. Just 30 of us. Guns in their faces. Just everybody put their hands up. Anybody doesn't get shot, period. Is this motherfucker in plus mode right now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think his racing is. line was that much better than yours. Red jersey. Is it Clarkson? I think it's Julia. Green and color smart car. Was also involved, but not didn't shoot a DMS. It sounds like.
Or 22, 23. This thing's orange, what the fuck? the evidence on this right uh we are the bitches for that yeah yeah also that's some attempted murder of a government down there is it in, was it inside or was it up i think it was down here possibly or it was just inside yeah it was just inside Wow, that's super fucking ballsy to walk in the hospital and shoot, idiot. Wow. All right. Well, whoever this is uh, should rot in a jail cell, period. Drop the Impala. Look, I mean, this the Impala is pretty low scares. key. The MPX. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Are we just building a, a gang of like blonde men? We're just making our own police department. Was it inside? Was it inside? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was right here in the lobby. I oh. already picked up casings and such. One of the uh, people who were shot is going to the uh, surgery right now. Seems like the situation with the medic is being handled by uh, patrol, so we should be good. Yeah, I like the black ambulances. They look cool. That one's it too, but. Hey guys, we got one down bad here, down bad. All right, the uh, the doctor. Horrible right. motorcycle accident. Please help her, please. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, take him back. Yeah, well, we had, we found someone with a red jersey, but they were GSR positive. I mean, negative. Do you know any kind of names? Anything? Anything specific? She, she said that they had no ID. Oh, okay. We literally just picked them up from. All right, if they're gonna handle so, it, we're just gonna roll out. You guys. Yeah, I think they uh, they probably got it. At least they assume yeah, they do. Yeah, should be good. You know what happened, Bob? Uh, no. We these just... guys, <clears throat> these guys got in a shootout. They were brought to pillbox to be treated, and then they, they shot, shot the EMS again? that they they shot the doctors that treated them. I was wondering if that's what, what happened. What the and, fuck? Yeah, How weird. the fuck does that make sense? Well, I mean, uh, we do have a gang shooting charge we could hit them with if they want to spend some time yeah. in prison uh, to cool off. Yeah, I think they need to fucking. And the Alps are probably looking at uh, attempted murder of a uh, government too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we don't have any DNA on the guy, so whatever. It's the green brio, so. We'll get them uh, and there was some, there was some DNA up. out there, but there's a lot of DNA at the hospital, unfortunately. Yeah. How much is it? Twenty-three hundred. Well, well, okay. So you, you said. You, 
you, you said you don't have the DNA, but the file the casing, and if we get that guy with the same yeah, gun, that's you can suppress the doing. same charge. Mm -hmm. There goes exactly. that Brioso again. Just flew past. Yeah, Herb, I'm doing it now. Okay. That Brio just fly past. A southbound. It was going southbound. Correction, southbound. I thought I thought it went up. No, it was going underneath the bridge. Oh, okay. It was going down there, and it had like a white car with it chasing it, like a white sedan. Fusillot or something. Mm. There's nothing really out here. No bullet holes in anything. Some blood, but... Bati, 801. Bati. It's fine. The casing's filed already, so it does come back up. Did you, hey, did you file it correctly? It's uh, in the report, sir, right. under evidence with. Oh, sh put the report number. Yes. So is Thank a you, sir. And Alright, sounds good. Alright. Alright, we did a whole lot of fucking nothing. This fuck it. Look at this squad, dude. Just roll in. All right. What happened? All right. Make sure the report's done. All right. Make sure the evidence is in there. Cool. Let's get out of here. My weed expedition has been uh, sadly lackluster. I found three plants. Don't worry, uh, Bundy. I took the L this week with my uh, clown that had nothing on him. I think, uh, I think Luca took the real L on that one. <laughs> That's true, Luca did have to uh, camp out for hours to wait for this clown. There was like a picture that was posted in the like major crimes like um, Discord and it was like... <laughs> it was like the four of us standing with the clown and like Luca took a selfie and he's like we finally busted the damn clown I'll play it later. and I put like this is why we do this this is why we do this job all of our work came down to busting this clown okay getting a lot of 37 calls Oh shit, they're all the way in like El Gordo Drive. Yeah, southeast side. Man injured and tripped. Any 37s recently? Shots fired. 31. 71. There's like. Well, if they're going to be in that area, I mean, we could technically, um... <laughs> I was going to say, we could technically, uh, go UC the south side. Yeah. Could. I know Garcia, on uh, shift three, he ran, uh, some information across my desk about the Balas and a guy named Omar Anderson having to do with meth and he's been trying to pick this guy up pretty much the same story with the ball is right we all know that they have low level street pushers and then there's at least one or two big up houses around there with you know the bigger players in them and that's where they go to re-up as soon as they're out they don't they don't hold any in their own houses apartments cars or really on their person unless they're actively selling it right sure so but yeah garcia kind of ran that across my desk he said in shift three there's a lot of sales a lot of activity down there they usually have a scout on a bike or in a vehicle circling when they are active Interesting, okay. Mm, I'm just thinking. Gunshots behind us? I didn't hear any.
Okay. We didn't get a, we didn't get a shot to fire call, so I don't know. I heard a gunshot. But yeah, I was just waiting to see if one would pop up. Yeah, you'd be down to uh, swing through there and uh, check out that uh, activity. See what's popping up on the south side. Or, like I said, we're getting a lot of 37 calls. Could try to straight to. Uh, uh, get some of those uh, taken care of, I guess, today. Yeah, it looks like Vinewood is actually. We might want to go to Vinewood and Hawick and work that area for 37s. It looks like the. Like Midtown is kind of popping off. We got Clinton Avenue. We got Eclipse. We got Hallwick. Yeah, it's all it's all in that one area over there, kind of within. Is that my car blocks. parked there? What the fuck? I don't know why it's parked. Probably because somebody else grabbed that one and started driving it around. All right. <clears throat> hey, Kaminsky. Hello, sir. Hey, did you get that warrant for that uh, corpse guy? Uh, yeah, it's out, sir. I haven't seen the guy since, but uh, yeah. we're on the lookout. On the lookout for the man selling body parts, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, sir, yeah, do you think guy. we could uh, extend that a little bit? It's, I think it's got two days left on it. Uh, because he seems to be continuously doing the business, right? Yeah. Do you have access to the search warrants? Probably don't, right? Because you're a cadet. Yeah, I'm just a stupid cadet, sir. Well, I didn't say stupid. I did. It's, it's okay. implied. Based on being a cadet? Yeah. What about the uh, PD DOJ cross chat? Certainly you can see that. Yes. Should I ask in there? Wait, didn't somebody extend it for you already? Is it Jimmy Limbs? No, it's uh, Samuel Haynes. Oh. That would be a very good name for him. I was going to say, though, I, yeah, if the sense, guy's selling yeah. limbs, that might make sense. That, yeah. Come in, you, you got the lab report back? That shit is uh, human meat, huh? Yeah, it's human meat, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, so, I mean, like, you can kind of do what uh, that officer that had a human skinning charge did. Oh. What was, what was that? I mean, you could, that, sir? You, you could see it in the, uh, you could see it in there, right? Oh, it, yeah, that one right there. Yeah, they yeah. They had a Brian Fulton, born in five hours. She listed the charges, asked for an extension. Usually the judges are pretty good about extensions, so. I mean, I'd give it another right. day, like, it's already two days. Usually our warrants are, what, three days anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm not, I don't mean right now, but I, I would hate either. to right. let this expire and have that guy out there opening shop again, sir, you know? Yes, I, I understand. I mean, something like that might even take... Like, you could probably get some, uh, you could probably get a lot more time for something like that. This is all I'm trying to say, so I wouldn't worry about it. All right. Will do, sir. Thank you for the advice. Yep. Good luck out there, boys. Hey, you, hey Bob. Thank Bundy. You, sir. Or, no, Bob, Hardcast. You guys give this thing a go yet or what? Do you call it me it Bundy like, uh, and you call it Yeah, I, I took Hardcast it out to the range. It's, it's pretty sweet. My bad. I, I, he dresses like fucking Bundy, hey, and they kind of look the, like the same for for profile from the distance. Uh, what's that? Bob. What, what do I do when I find evidence laying around and PD equipment? Uh, what do you mean? Um, uh, here. In one of those days. Yeah? Yeah, are you? Okay. No, but you're a person, and I should at least... Oh, I'll hard just cast. take that. Thanks. I just... Yeah. Yeah, I guess... Grab yeah, it. I mean, I don't... <laughs> I don't know you throw it out. Talk real quick, hard yeah, I guess. Just throw it okay. out. If it's a gun, you should probably flag that up. But... Right, you okay, no, I just wasn't so, sure if you guys had a policy or anything. And yeah, or I mean, this so. deer pelt is rotten, so I don't know what we're going to do with that. No, you're one of okay. just, that looks legal too, so it's not even honestly, really evidence. How's my face? Okay, no, I didn't know. I'll get rid of it. Yeah, Thank you, guys. If you find stuff like that, just keep it. Uh, uh, legal stuff, I mean. Okay. Hey, hey, Bob. Fair enough. Yes. If you saw me on the other side of a dark bar, you know, across the way, and I was wearing just exactly the mesh tank top and cut off jean shorts that you like, do you think, uh, do you think I'm still attractive from this view, from this side? Kyle, you're, you're a, um, you think? you're, you're a, uh, you're a straight nine, but like you're a gay six. All right. Well, can you please clarify this for me? Because if anything, I would prefer to be a uh, gay nine and a straight six. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you know, 
for a woman, I'm, an I'm otter, sure, Bob. you know, they're, they'd be very happy. Well, that's the, that's the issue, right? Is that you don't, you don't have the, um, the you don't have the traits that, uh, us gay men would find attractive. You don't have those masculine no, traits, animal. unfortunately. But what, I'm extremely you are, however, masculine. Well, you, however, are very attractive for females, I'm sure, as you do well with them. That's the I best do way very I well with them. I have a lot of money. Bob, do you want to borrow a UC car before I go? I want to make sure if you got... I got two of them, what do you and got? I want to make sure that it's getting used. I got a Coquette and a Banshee if you want to go up and uh, maybe bring... Uh, we can... Uh, the four of us or whatever can go up, and you guys can get two of them. I just ask that you get them repaired. That's all. Uh, we could do that. Yeah, we may need something for the south side. We got people shooting each other down there. We're gonna... All right, well, do yourselves a favor. You guys can repaint the liver... The, uh, the fucking... There's a bunch of default fucking cheap ass paint jobs that you guys can circulate down mm -hmm. here. So that'll save you guys some fucking money. I want to get these uh, UC vehicles in use. So uh, let's go grab Wait, them. Wait, is it quick. a shared vehicle? Because I bought a Brumpo and I couldn't use any down here because it's a personal vehicle. So I'm wondering how the. Because the Benny's here doesn't work on. Like, no, I can just come around and get them out or I can put them in the shared. Oh, no, it doesn't a, really matter. But you, you could use it at the Benny's here, Bob, because it's uh, specified as a UC vehicle. It's got yeah, a this is literally UC. Yeah, this is UC brand. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we might we might bust so out the um, cockpit since they have so many yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get you both. You get both of them out, all right? Sure. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll use them. We're trying to do some stuff. Gotcha. Just make sure you get them fucking fixed for me. Yeah, we'll fix them. Hey, which car is yours, Bob? Uh, well, no, I was just driving a uh, fucking uh, the Chiefs car earlier, actually. He didn't answer some All right, well, let's, um... Hey, uh, Luca, Hardcastle, let's go uh, pick nice. up some UC vehicles real quick. Oh, Hi, friend. Yeah, we're going. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, if, if anything, Brenda, just, uh... Get ignored. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll... Yeah. I just shot him a text message. I'm just like, hey. Does he send it? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, we go up to the Vinewood Garage. I got two UC cars you oh, guys right. can uh, use. Oh, someone's, scared me. someone's using the shooting range. Yeah, you, you should uh, you should go give that thing a test run when you get a chance, Sheriff. Sure. I already did. We, uh, nice. Me and Malton took it up to the lighthouse, too, to test the range on it. Range yeah. is solid. Is it? Nice. Mm -hmm. It's a good fucking gun. Yeah, there's minimal recoil. Uh, like, ridiculously less recoil compared to AR. Right, perfect. We'll get you guys these cars out, and then, um... Well, five of us getting here. Mm. Full car. Full packed sausage cart. Sitting, bitch. Yeah, let's go grab the shit. Yeah, what, so tell me about this Red Gang. This is the first time I'm hearing about Red Gang, if it's not the old... Uh, BSK. Yeah. Yeah, it's BSK. What about... They're, uh, like a defaction of the old Ballas. OTT back. left Let's and brought a bunch there. of guys with them over. They literally live one that's, street that's... over from... They're usually a gang in my hours. Yep. Oh. Why are we catching them now? They were, uh, um, they just, they, they went to, they shot, they got shot at, uh, fighting the ballers down there. They went to the hospital and decided to shoot the doctors, so. <laughs> Why'd they shoot the doctors? I don't, I have no idea. I'm gonna guess they just didn't like the service or something. Yeah, it's like if you go to a Denny's and you have a shitty waiter, you go back and you shoot them afterwards. I know exactly. Well, That's I mean, like... you probably shouldn't do that. You're going to a Denny's. You should already know the type of service you get at that particular fine establishment. Nothing wrong well, with I'm Denny's, they... okay? Well, their their well, American they Grand Slam is is phenomenal. Top notch with with a chocolate milkshake. Yeah, sign me the fuck up. That's a good fucking day. Right, let me grab this uh, shit out for you guys. <sighs> How you feeling today, Bob? I'm feeling all right. I actually got my uh, second uh, COVID shot. Oh, that's good. Well, if if it's bad, it's usually not until the next day, is what I heard. But I, yeah, I'll so be we'll honest, see. for me. For me, the first was worse than the second, but I, I might have been just lucky. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. Yeah. A lot, lots of water with nothing else. Yeah, I stacked up on a shit ton, so... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna catch a bus. It's my bedtime. Alright, uh, thanks, Fred. Thanks. Good night, Sheriff. Yeah, enjoy the cars. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if we're gonna do some surveillance down there, that cockette's probably a good pick. 
Well, you know, back in the day, you know, the south side used to have more luxury cars per capita than anywhere else in the city. Right, I still, I still see, like, racers down there and shit. No, okay. Oh, look, a red on black car firing a gun off. Yeah, where about, whereabouts is that? It's a little slow, well, not, not the south side, no. Mm. I saw that one driving around earlier, too. They are like, hunting, I think. Oh, so it probably is a war party. I think so. Great. Feel better, Bob, or don't don't feel worse, I guess. You heading out? Uh, yeah, I'm heading out after I talk to the chief. Alright, sounds good. Right, see you around. Damn, Come look here, at Bob, I'm gonna give you keys to these just in case I'm yeah. not around when you need it. There you go. Oof, look at this. It, it drives nice, surprisingly. It sticks to the ground pretty well. Nice. Hello, Senior Officer Arkham. All right, here, give me the keys to this car, and I'll give you the keys to the other one as well. Go, you should have keys for that. Nice, dude. Oh. Hey, uh, Bob, do you guys want me to park my bench here so you can use it? Um, it's up to you, boss. We're trying to, I mean, uh... Is this it, actually? Well, Kyle no, just gave us uh, this one. Crap. Oh, okay, yeah, I have a bench too, as well, so... Yeah, it's an, actually in the Mission Pity Garage. It's stored here, so oh, okay. if you guys do want it or not. Oh, I think we've seen I can leave it in the shirt. Yeah, I can leave it here for you guys. Um, I just got some intel, but I don't want it to go to anybody else but SAU, okay? Just in case anything happens, right? Okay. Welcome back, friend. So I spoke with Paz, who is running for mayor, right? And um, he told me that apparently he found out that Cypress, the 300 dog, they're mm. supporting Abdul quietly. But now loud. Mm. So I'm not sure what's going on exactly <clears throat> with that. I just wanted to let you guys know. So it's in the radar. If anything happens or if any ties to it, you know where the money's coming from. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that's a little weird, but I guess we can see what that might be about. Yep. So just a little heads up for you guys. He said he was not supposed to talk about it, but he did. So I was like, all right. I said, I'll keep it to myself, but I'm going to keep it to SEU only. See, if there's anything that comes you guys' way or anything that kind of pops up in your radar, you can basically, you know, put two and two together and go from there. Sounds good. Thanks, uh, thanks, boss. All right. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you, time, gentlemen. Thanks, sir. All right, what do you want to do with these? Well, my thoughts was that um, they're doing the South Side War. And uh, that means they're rolling around, rolling deep, uh, just trying to look for, um, I think, each other to shoot at each other. Yeah. I was going to just try to drive around, because they're going to be kind of fast. It'll be hard to stay in one spot to, like, plan the shootout. Generally, these things are, you know, people are trying to outsmart each other. You know, they're going to be there. We're going to be here. They're going to be here. We're going to be there. So they're driving around a lot. So I need something that isn't going to be suspicious like the... Uh, the you know crown vic blacked out because as soon as they see that we're not going to catch anything but uh, if we're driving one of these around they think we're just some idiot racer then uh chances are they probably won't give a shit if they decide to shoot each other 
and then we can yeah. pretty much be right there intercept them and uh, maybe get some arrests try to get that guy that just took down the EMS otherwise uh I don't know the uh coke bus too this is good for 37s as well since uh, I kind of need something fast oh, yeah. uh, I noticed that they're getting out of there pretty quick so this will be good for for both sides you know so yeah, I just found two male marijuana too, plants uh, chilling on uh, so the all, islands the, outside the of Toledo so Cove. At least the higher end uh, when the I the went to get rid mm -hmm. of them, I got nine Similar to the intercept, female sorry, marijuana seeds and two you. regular marijuana seeds. You got two more males off of that plant? Sorry, Bundy was on radio. Yeah, one male off of each one and then I was on four one to five so females. That. Situation. It's so good. Yeah, so normally it's we nice plant having a you male with on a female one, it'll pollinate the plant, same. no buds will come off, and just be pure Yeah, seed. I feel like in case someone's trying to reach out for us too, like, yeah, dispatch is really good you're, about You'll get a whack of female, trend, and but, then probably a couple males But sometimes time is of the essence. If they could get us on scene 10 minutes faster than they could have, then it might have made a difference, you know? True. Let me go yell at Dooley real quick. I grew up in Canada. Right. There's a lot of uh, weed growing in there. Yo, dog. Hey, how's it going, Bob? Yo, were you in plus fucking responding to that 14 alpha? Sorry, what? Like, you were were you in, like, sports mode when we had that 14 alpha? Yes. I'm gonna be honest. What the hell? Red shirt, what? Red I'm not supposed to do that. More like uh, I figured I, I can't high priority PSP. things like yeah, but... 14 alpha, we'd <laughs> no. go A plus to so get they them. They left in a rat. Wearing red in a for, like, green car. That's yeah, I guess I'd be, I guess I'd be careful about that. That's all. Okay. All right. I just, uh, I just noticed that I just wanted to say something. I'm not, I'm not saying you're in trouble the, or anything. I just, uh, yeah, yeah. Because we're, we're, you know, we're specifically told for the like car leaving the scene with specific the cars we use it for. So I'd be brio. curious yeah. if it's yeah, just came from a a anything radio, that yeah. is anywhere we need to go fast, you know. There might be an argument. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll clear that up with a couple people then before doing it again. All right. All right. Send it. All right. Let's get this thing kitted out. Want to take the banshee or the cockhead? Uh, okay. uh, the, the problem is that yeah, having figured. the seeds isn't really illegal, is it? The banshee is loud. It's very loud. Uh, it blocks uh, away. I don't. Is is it? I mean, if we catch them harvesting these for the seeds, we can kind of. Did you see they change the signs in front of us on the wall? Yeah, cultivating more to traffic. Yeah, yeah, no, but, that's fine. Let's do one more shift then. With no female plants, they're not, there's no actual child, right? marijuana yeah, here, you know? It's not Julio? Oh, well, well, technically it's like cultivation is like three or more plants, so maybe we could argue that the seeds will, would they become plants? So it's like the fetus, right? You really want to start another argument like this. So they've got like what? You still haven't figured out that one you just referenced. They just, they just have a conglomerate of marijuana fetuses over there and no one's doing anything about it. I mean, getting rid of those plants, getting rid of those seeds is still uh, pretty big because males are really rare to come across. Yeah, these are uh, yeah, these are ready to pick. I'm just deciding, like, if we set on these, I don't think we could really pin anybody with anything other than cultivation. Have we collected a male plant before, like for evidence? I just collected two of them. I got a thousand ass. We don't want red ready we don't to harvest. Want to I think no. I'm just gonna get rid of yeah. them. Uh, be really bad if we fall as flagged in the middle I, of a gang war. Well, it's what Clarkson, Clarkson just did to me the other day. Did he? Yeah, remember when he's like, dress up like GSF, dress up like GSF. Oh, that's, di that's different bust. though. We weren't, they, they weren't shooting each other. We were just. No, yeah, they, no, I was in the park while he was doing that transaction and I'm dressed in full GSF false flag colors and a fucking gang war on forum popped off with GSF and another gang, like, like automatic gunfire. I'm like hiding in this park in a bush. Hoping I don't get gunned down for being mistaken as a gangbanger. It, it, it was horrifying. Honestly well, horrifying. Let me ask you this. Are you a gangbanger? Uh, no. No, and I probably stick out like a sore thumb even though I might have some fucking street clothes on, right? Something else interesting about these male plants. As soon as you harvest them, they go away. There's no second harvest on these. We gotta get Henry in on some of this stuff too. He's probationary as well, right? Um, is is he? Uh, he's got a W by his name, so I'm guessing Who's he's Henry? in the unit. 
King, the guy that just ran inside that was talking oh, about Oh, oh, that Henry King. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not open top. No. My issue is the uh, the lights inside right now. Yeah, you really can't hide that, I guess. Hmm. Good if you remove that, I don't know but if those yeah. Male seeds are that rare, honestly. I've got ten. Uh, just from those seven plants. Just don't go to the west side with this car painted like They're rare this, right? if you don't have them. Once you start planting stuff... Then Who's even in the west side long. anymore? Bondi boys, and they roll a car so pretty much exactly like this color with this metallic and everything. Them. Man, fuck them. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying, I wouldn't roll over to the Australian barrio or whatever they call it. Alright, we gotta go, uh... We gotta look like boosters slash, um... Like, uh, oxy runners or something. Yeah, but That's you don't want to look like a house well, robber because they'll shoot you for that down there. Right. I'm just joking. Yeah. Do they even There's look different? I think we should look like boosters. All right. I mean, I, that's pretty much what I look like when I wear. Because, because then, because then it would look like we have a support vehicle and we could just try like different cars. We could even set up a fake boost. Want to do a fake boost? Yeah, where we just like yo yo get out, steal some you, random car, and then go park hey, it somewhere else. Slim Jim. Hey boy, how's it going, Kate? What's going on? Hey, I'm about to be 41 for y'all in a bit. Oh, okay. sweet. All right. All right. Sounds good. We're, good we're cruising yeah. around. So. You cruise around? You guys got Southside. anything? Um, Southside? Oh, uh, there is a lot of gang-related shooting if you guys want to do surveillance, um, GSF and BSK. Yeah, I think that's what we we're about to go do, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I talked to Bundy. We should start building a bigger case on them because if they're going to keep on doing this... Uh, Gang related shooting, we should probably start kicking into it. Honestly, try to build up case and all that. Uh, what yeah, you guys think about that? Yeah, we'll have to see if there's a, like a central uh, area or something they're trying to take advantage of, or if they seem to have like a you know like a, a house they go to to get more guns that, out of or mm -hmm. re up, uh, you know that kind of thing. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd be, yeah, I'd be curious to know what they're, they're doing for the most part. I just, uh, as far as building a case file, I'm just now noticing that they're shooting at each other. Uh, we don't well, have anyone that's is... opened up anything yet regarding well, their. Well, this has uh, been going on for six days, according to Manea. Right. Well, if, if, that, been, if that's uh, the case, then it would probably be like a morning shift thing, right? Because I mean, it was it was still going on. There's like... nothing, nothing, including them, has happened in the past week uh, for the ship uh, too. Yeah, I mean, actually, when I was at the park, that was that's what that was. I'm pretty sure. It was well, that's GSF. what that was. Yeah. Yeah, when I was oh. hiding in the bushes and Carson. Oh, picture, that okay. On form, it was GSF and BSK fighting. Yeah, they, really. I wasn't involved, but it was like right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were just fighting not too long ago, and uh, we just had a shootout about two hours ago with them, two three hours ago. So uh, it's pretty active right now. Well, well, I mean, we just. Uh, I heard Sexton. Were you the one that heard? You you had a motive on this. Didn't you hear the motive of why they're fighting? Jesus that. Christ. Fuck if I know. Probably just no. fighting over something stupid. I Sorry, somewhere guys. Somewhere I'm eating. Corner. No, so, you know, it's over money. One of the other... One of the gangs owes the other I one money. Bass a lot of it, I think Bass said something about it. Yeah. Bass said something yeah. about it. So that's... Uh, that was the key point. Just so we could try to get, you know, whatever they got. Like guns off the streets. You know, try to de-escalate them. Trying to kill each other. Even though we, you know, we want the gangs to kill Excuse each other, me. but, you Sorry. know, we don't want the gangs to kill each other. But, see, fuck them. Deep down in the sun. Yeah, fuck them. But, no, don't fuck them. But fuck them. So, that's all I want to tell y'all about. Are you telling me to fuck them or not to? What is this, Henry? All right. Take a booster. Mm hmm. Fuck them, but don't fuck them. Exactly. I mean, here, fuck them. But, you know. Bongos. Well, just those seven plants gave me enough seeds to grow over three kilos of marijuana, so... I definitely feel that's cultivation right there. It's just, um, you know... Why, what, are we, what are you even doing to do detective work? Let's just fucking open up a grow up. We are 
legally allowed two plants. Hmm. On the roof of the MRPD. I mean, if my math is right, I think we've got about uh, 50 G's worth of profits on these plants right here. So, I don't know about you guys, but that's about two weeks worth of pay for me. Yeah, it's a good amount of cash. Bob's gonna look like a fucking, like, booster, dude. actually know if we get, we're gonna pull this off because I feel like they all kind of know each other and they'll be like who the fuck is this guy with the cock head but maybe it's whatever where's the masks I need like facial hair Hey, Bob, are you on the radio? Hey, firm. Or Luca. Hey, they're going at it right now, just letting you know. Class twos. Who's that? BSK and GSF. Down in the south side. What I told you earlier about. Yeah, yeah. Are they, uh, are they on forum or are they on Brogue? I have no idea. I, I'm just saying, I'm here in class two fire just from uh, Mr. Ropeedy. I think that and was the shooting range that with those new guns. Rogue area, I believe. Are you sure that wasn't the uh, the submachine gun in the firing range? There's nobody in the firing range right now. What the hell? That's only was on top of us, didn't it? You heard it, right? Yeah. We had a 71 report from Legion Square. Could that be it? Possibly. Don't know. Yeah, hey, we had a bunch of Elgin and Legion here. What the fuck? There's a Sultan leaving the area. Could be related, or it could be somebody else just shooting class twos as well. Yeah, they got someone down behind Legion Square. Okay, fuck it. <clears throat> we'll just use a mask. Do you know if it's uh, GSF or not? Or BSK? Nah, yeah, they're, they're all blocked out. I'll check out in a sec. Copy. Most of them have like masks anyway, so probably no point in uh, like putting too much effort into this. 
just realized I was like, they're gonna know what I look like, but it's just like. Well, hey. Yeah, this is definitely GSF versus BSK. This bike comes back to Aaron Alexander. He's BSK. Is that his uh, double T or whatever it is? Yeah, if Aaron got shot up behind Legion Square, they're chasing the Mark II Sultan right now. This is kind of sick, though. <laughs> uh, 451, I'm in a route, but we might want to carry this over to Channel 1 so we can get some patrol on it, though. While oh, they're chasing it, that Mark II Sultan, if it's GSF, it's Carter Banks' car. Yeah, we're not going to use glasses. It looks stupid. While I was en route, I passed a security truck northbound. Let's hear the Ocean. voice. I don't know, it'll probably be like... <clears throat> Them. Okay. Probably be like. I'm gonna swap over to one, see if I can get a patrol unit over to this. Yeah, for him. <sighs> Go. Yo, Doug. Yo, Doug. Yo. <laughs> that sounds too ominous. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 bro. Yo, dude. Yo, man. Check this. Yo. Yo, you know where we can get some oxy at? Do you know? Do you know where we can get like uh some fucking? Yo. Yo. Mic check. Hello, hello. One mic check. One, one, two. Yo. All right, bro. I yo, can't dude. wait to boost some cars, man. Some fast huh. cars would be great, bro. Fuck oh. yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, you got that list, dude? You got what, that list, list, bro? Yeah, I got the list, dog. Yeah, I talking about the fucking boost list, dog. Yeah, dog, yeah. Yeah. I think it comes on your phone, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> hey, you guys know where you could boost some cars around here? You know, a good place with some expensive cars? Yeah, look at uh, like I mean, there's dog. a few right here. Like, you know, right, no, we don't want right in there. Yeah, but, these 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 cop uh, cars, these stupid cops. I mean, yo, we're from an A class. They right have now. no these, idea. They're sitting on gold mines. These S class or what? Oh, from an A class right now. Hey, well, I mean, I need the advanced lock pick, dog. You got one? Be an interceptor out there or something? I mean, that's pretty. You, know, you can score a lot in the street for something like that. What are you, the ops, dude? What? Are you the ops? The ops? Yeah, what does that mean? A slang? Shit. Everyone down? Wait, server went down? No RP for you. No RP for you. Oh shit, what is this song? Uh, Alright. How often can you take Advil? I don't know.
Every six? All right. I don't know, read the bottle maybe? Shut up. What's hurting? Um, nothing really. I just, I'm trying to think of like, last time I, I had my shot, I got a, I got a slight fever. <sighs> wow, this is a really good parallel here. <laughs> Guys, I play a multitude of characters in the server, okay? Trust me. All my characters are vastly different from each other. Alright, let me log into Bob Smith. Pockets, dog. Run them pockets, <laughs> you, <G>. Bob. <laughs> yes, it is. Why? No, oh, nothing. I thought you were Randy for a second. Oh, then this disguise works perfectly. Don't mind the hair. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry. It's <laughs> it's just paste. All right. It's putting my hair down. Like paper mache on the top. Yes, of your I head. Ju it just all my hair's still there. I just had to put it down. You know, with the cream. Oh. Shit. Yeah, you're, yeah, your voice. Yeah, yeah oh, you sound yeah. like dog shit. All right, well, looking good. Look, Yo. Looking good. Yo, dog, run the pockets. Dog. Put it away. <laughs> Yeah, Shama on the Marine on this station. Not up to me, baby. What up, man? Yo, I'm here to turn myself in, dog. Yo, I'm turning myself in, bro. Boost, what up, man? I'm turning bro, myself in. Did you find in. a boost yet? Did you find an A plus yet, bro? I'm turning myself in, bro. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> hey, uh, you wouldn't guys want to go fishing? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Can I have the interest form? Can I have the interest form? Oh god. I want a job. <laughs> no. As former dispatch, no. Can cops, I have bro. the interest form? It's the ops, bro. <laughs> I'll be here, dog. Alright, so that was an unfortunate headache in the middle. Wait, is the car still here? Let's go. 
Let's fucking go. Oh, I'm sorry, Walker. Yo, don't put your hands up, bro. Put your hands up, dog. What the fuck is this? Bass, it's me. It's part of our oh my boosting God. operation. Holy oh shit. My. It was like a Randy bullet for us. Like yeah, that's why I was about to. I was about to shoot fucking like, Randy. Randy sneak in here? <laughs> right, I'll be guys back in your car. It's working. I don't know they have Ninja's Rack as well. I don't know. Hey, being a crim helps sometimes. Is that two meta chat? Is me acting like a crim because I've been a crim meta? The translation for be like, if you were undercover and some other thing, you'd have to pretend to be like undercover. But being undercover on no pixels, like, you have to walk certain ways you have to like say certain things what i mean something's damaged what the fuck what the, what the fuck bro i well pretend to be v no nah, that's that's fucked up i wouldn't do that all right what why is something broken now your copy deal with criminals all the time that's true Yeah, I wouldn't use the info I learned, obviously. Like, that's dumb as fuck if I did that. Like, I don't know I don't know shit about meth, you know, other than, like, we found meth labs. But yeah, we do interact with a lot of crap. It's just like if I was like, hey, guys, I want to buy a gun. They'd be like, you're not. But if you're like, if you're running around the phone, you're like, yo, dog, yo, 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 I need a fucking gun. Like, yeah, I'm, they got my, they got my, they took my shit. I need a gun. Like, like. They, they got my fucking- uh, the fucking cops got my friend, dude. I need a gun. It's just- it's just weird, like, nuances. Bastard. Why is this car so fucked up? Yo, Luca, are you on radio? I mean you right now, Bob. Uh, 10 9? I think it's just the two of us on here right now. Oh, copy. I think Luca just uh, got in here. Hop on uh, 7. Yeah, we're going to do some uh, surveillance on the south side. We're pretending to be like boost runners, basically, and seeing if we can catch anybody out, like uh, shooting each other, basically. Copy. Just be advised uh, that garage that overlooks uh, oh, oh, Jesus. Road Street luck, yeah. apparently has been a hotbed of gunshots recently. Uh, 10 9, which area? The uh, garage that overlooks Baroque Street, the like four story one uh, by the old. I know we're talking about. Go to the right. Uh, can't use that for Yeah, we don't oh, this. shooting each other up there. Oh, I'm going to shoot Oh, that's where I was going to go. Damn it. Yeah, it's the fire station is a really good place to go if you want to just keep surveillance on them. Um, yeah, we from might, a we might do that. Where the fuck is this? Oh, it's down here, isn't it? That. Uh... Auto's auto place. It's uh behind. It's just underneath, not the bridge in front of us, but the other one. Oh. So what is that? Pastels. What was that? Pastels? That's weird. Never heard. Should we put this person in gunpoint like real boosters would for cutting us off? What up, pussy? <clears throat> I'm worried about the light bar, honestly. I mean, much the worse that happens. They see the light bar and they fuck off because they know we're cop. Hmm. <sighs> 
I gotta get into character. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 dude. You're a real method actor, huh? Well, you know, you have to, uh... <laughs> <coughs> what? Bob, what are you doing to yourself over there? What? I swallowed my lifesaver. Oh, God damn it. Yo, dog. Yo, bro. Out here fucking boosting and shit. Yo, check out this sick fucking court kit that we stole from the cops. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid cops, dude. Yeah. <laughs> cops are dumb as fuck. They're so fucking stupid. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the Actually, fuck? That's, the staff. that's the staff here, so I'm guessing they use two cards. Yo, can we get our shit fixed? Yo, bro, I don't know about you, but the Vanity Channels, fuck yeah, I know about that. Hello! What's up? Hey, yo, can we get this shit fixed? Yeah, pull in, pull in, pull in, into the garage. Hey, James. I mean, she's gonna notice the lights. She's gonna yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like IDs and shit. Like we gotta give IDs, like right. <laughs> just tell them the. You can just tell them the number. You don't have to show. Oh, uh, word. All right. Um. That is it. Let's see. Okay, you're looking at it. not super bad. There's only a few parts below like mid nines. Everything uh, else I'm not is sure high yet. nines. Yeah, it was like it was like fucking after storm or whatever. Honestly, I don't know if you want to fix it or just wait until everything is low nines. Oh, right really? Oh, it's like actually no. fine. Oh shit. Yeah, oh, yeah it's never fine. mind then. It's all good. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it was like smoking okay. and shit, and I could, couldn't start it earlier. It was weird. Well, it's not what exactly is the plan for this? Is it rattling at all for you? Uh, it, I can do it. Fine was kind of. A little bit. All right, your engine is at 97 and your body is at 97. That's why I'm like, uh... Oh, okay. I guess it's whatever then. I'll just figure it out. Yeah, you know what? I would wait like a few hours and come back. Cause... Okay. So that we can get the most of your, you know, your ones. Yeah, yeah, all good. Hey, thanks. Mm, you're welcome. That was actually probably one of the better people to deal with because yeah, yeah, she's yeah. EMS as well, so she's not gonna, you Same know, like thing, call yeah, up yeah. our friends. Yo, uh, meet your uh, dispatch as well. Fuck, I forgot to do that the first time in the casino, and I was sitting at one of the tables with like three people around me, including Timmy <laughs> Yugman, and that shit went off. I was like, well, I'm dead. Uh, sorry, 10 9, buddy. We were in the uh, repair shop. Looking at this car, or whatever. Uh, did you need help? No, I was just asking what, what exactly is the plan. You're just gonna roll around and sell them vehicles down there, or what? We're just uh, we're in the UC Corquette right now. Uh, these guys keep popping off shots at each other. We're trying to see if um, we can just be in the area to like observe it, witness it, you know, and then call it in. Uh, we also are thinking about going up to the fire station roof and just taking pictures if they continue to shoot down on uh, Lean Street. And also, if there's any 37 calls in the area, we can swing over to those two. I will say we should probably have another unit down here with us um, somewhere because this is the south side, you know? Yeah, I thought Hardcastle was going to um, be in, around somewhere. Yeah, we could pull we could pull King in or Brenda to just kind of be marked in the area in case we get fucked with or rolled okay. up on. Uh, we, we should get, like, a marked unit somewhere in the area as well. Uh, just, you know... For safety sakes, either King or Brenda. I'm not sure if any of them are around still. Yeah, I'll I'll be marked up in the area. I'll also I'll see if I can pull Brenda. Wait, what? Can we dress up like firefighters? We can, right? 
sure we could steal some jackets and some pants and shit. We could totally just fucking stand on the roof of the fire station and wander around over there, and it's right on that. That's uh, true. Shit. We could just like fucking uh, just be fire. We could just get the fire truck and drive it around in circles, and like literally no one would know. That's really that's actually like to yeah we could do that. Just throw these clothes inside the fire station in case you want to change and go back out to a different location too. Bunny say he's like already uh, around here. Yeah, he said he's gonna be in the area marked, but I, I don't see him. Closest person I see is on Innocence, so it might be him. Now we already blew our cover. Did we? Yeah, you're supposed to run that guy over. So real boost oh, just yeah. done. They were just plowed through him and kept going. True. Unfortunately, like there's like a barometer of crime I can do, and if it's like I ran somebody over, but we were like keeping an eye out for stuff, I don't think uh, nah. it would hold up in court, you know. I mean, he'd have to know who we are and get the plate and everything to even report it. That's why they run him over and keep oh, going. We, we, or you're implying that like we wouldn't report it? Okay, I see. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I'm with you on this one. I mean, if you ran someone over with a car intentionally, Bob, yeah, I would assume that you would then not want to report it because you're already a criminal in the first place, so. That's true. I'm so deep undercover that I wouldn't even report me doing crime undercover. <laughs> your co my cover is actually a corrupt cop. If that's what it is. <laughs> my, I got it. My cover is just, I do crime as well, <laughs> by the way. Wild card. These motherfuckers don't know what's going on with me. Can't pin me down. Even I don't know. That's that's how far in it I am. Am I part of some <laughs> gang now? Am I running a gang? I'm undercover for myself. And robbing banks? I don't know. I ha I'm deep. I'm deep in it. I don't see anyone, like, active here. We might just head up to the uh, roof up there. There's a parking garage roof um, nearby. It's not the one that he was saying not to go to, right? Is there one he said not to go to? Is it this one? Yeah. This is the red one. Yeah, it's this one right here on the left. He said, don't go to it. He said they've been going up there to shoot each other at the oh. top of it. So don't go up there and do surveillance from there. He said, yeah. Let's see, OK, that's weird. What about that? Hey, uh, cruise back past that haze. There's like a haze building right on the alley here. I mean, it's kind of ballsy to be on their block, like you're kind of asking for it. But if you go on the alley here to the left. And there's like a little area back here. I don't know how quote-unquote secretive it is, but. Hmm. It would be nice if it was something taller, you know? Yeah. You can get up on the Mega Mall roof. Uh, yeah, The if the ball is up there, they're going to come up there and shoot at us, but yeah. <laughs> they See, the thing is, they think that we're spying. I think over here would be better, like to the right, to get in the alley somewhere. You think they would notice this? I mean, we're fucking packing SMGs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, they, the thing is, once you identify as a cop, there's a good chance, if you get that chance to identify, they're not going to actually open the fire on that's one of true. us at that's that true. point. They're but they're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing down we're here, cops, you idiots? We're cops, we're cops, we're cops. Alex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to shoot us if they think we're, you know. Hello. Hey, Bob. This is uh, Jack Front with uh, DOC. You have a okay. moment? Sure. What's up? Okay. Uh, so we have a report last night from... Uh, regarding Laura Smith, uh, Laura Smith, Laura Gapes. Uh, this is the second time she's gotten a phone in the prison. And this is the like third time that she states that, uh, she's getting all this stuff from officer Tinker. I don't think so, but, uh, um, okay. she's it's probably, it's probably someone else, but, uh, uh, yeah, that's not good. I, it's uh, who's she talking to. That's giving her this shit. We don't know. So the first time we caught her, uh, oh, the first thing was she stabbed Monty Smith, or at least that's what her lawyer said, but nobody, even the DOC that were supposedly on duty, have no idea what they're talking about. Um, well, we, we do know that that happened. Okay. So uh, that is actual but, factual. Yes, but uh, he, he and, and due to that, he's now on house arrest, so right. that's why he's no longer okay. in your prison. Right, right, right. So we went and searched her when we, uh, 
when we could due to the uh you know that that threat of potentially her having a shiv uh when we when we got a hold of her she had a phone and some ketamine uh she snorted a bag of ketamine and had a bag on her uh and then last night she got she did something yeah, and got searched again had the uh the phone and a shiv so okay she keeps getting phones from somewhere i don't know i mean there's somebody up there trying to visit her right now that's on a suspect list so she uh river was here before the storm just hit us so there's also another i think there's a kid up there trying to visit her gotcha uh i've been told by officers that have been on duty that she has been in visitation all day so yeah i would just, calling people I would just keep to searching people. every time she gets in a visitation okay perfect yeah, i just I'll, wanted to I'll keep you posted on that yeah yep all right we'll send all any right. uh documentation over to you thanks yeah yep yeah. thanks yeah was, <laughs> they found another phone on uh laura and uh, this she told the uh the corrections officers that tinker has been giving him to her Was it another burner phone? Yeah. Yeah, DOC called. Pretty much Laura got caught with another phone and she uh, she blamed uh, Tinker for it. So you just called me to let me know that she's uh, been getting phones and she's getting a lot of visitors today. This might be a far fetch, but what if last night wasn't about Yugman? It was about getting shit in for hooker um well she wasn't even around I, you know she was sleeping mm, and we took all of their stuff i mean unless they you know why didn't they just give her like a gun or something i thought that too i thought maybe they were uh just getting in to finish the job but i don't see why they have to like why couldn't they just do it themselves once they were inside prison no i mean what if they were bringing shit in for her yeah yeah i, I understand what you're saying but yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Alex unless they ditched it somewhere, you know what I mean? Like left it hide, hidden somewhere. Right. That's what I was thinking too. But why would you ditch the? I'm sorry. Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you ditch like the two guns and one of them being a class two? You know. True. Also, I don't think they would use like Sophia and Kratos for it. To be honest. Yeah, no, probably not Sophia, especially the first time she I, caught a charge and she had nothing on her. Maybe that crazy bastard really did just drive him over the wall. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, so that building behind us, the brown one by the skate ramp or by the yeah. half pipe, that's where I was standing when the gunfight popped off to your left here, like right here at this alley on Form Drive. <laughs> and I'm dressed in all green, GSF. Head to toe, Converse, all of it, mask. Nice. Yeah, that would have been really awkward. I mean, Clarkson just stood there and talked to Jimmy the whole time, where they're just blasting off right there. So I don't know. Yeah, the shooting might have been more, um, <laughs> more important than like him getting scammed by a fifteen-year-old. But you know, is what it is. It is the south side. Didn't know he was actually getting scammed. Mm-hmm. Broken glow. Yeah, it would have been funny if you, uh, if you got shot at. Because I was thinking that you were just... I honestly would have had to just take it, too. I really couldn't fire back because there's no way I could identify myself, you know? I have to hide and run before I could maybe throw. I, I had a vest, I think. It was just a bad spot. Hmm. Might be a little bit before they actually pick up again. If at all, after, uh, that storm. Yeah. We're still chilling down here, Bundy. We're not really... I mean, I don't even see anyone around at the moment. Might be uh, people uh, gathering back up after that last uh, earthquake or whatever. I will say, though, we do look really fucking cool.
Find out in RP. True. You are a fool if you vote for Abdul. I like how that rhymes. You are a fool if you vote for Abdul. I don't really know who to vote for, to be honest. Yeah, copy that. I'm just running traffic in the area of uh, Vespucci and Adam's Apple, uh, just so I can stay in kind of an empty. Who are we? Uh, should, shouldn't we just stack votes as the police department? Isn't that what makes us really strong? I mean, that's like what unionization is, right? right? Don't, should we unionize? Bob. Weren't we unionized when you were the chief and this all Yeah, but that's off. different now that I'm not the chief. And I disbanded the union. True. Now I want to join the union. Yeah, but don't... You can't use the word union. I think it's plagued. Maybe professional association? Hmm. Police organization. Off I mean, duty. We could always see if the fraternal order of police would want to take us in, the FOP, you know? The FAP? Yep. Hey, roll over to the barrio real quick. Just saw a tweet from Machiko Guzman that said ESV, which I'm pretty sure is slang for Eastside Vagos. Alright, this, this is gonna end in a stupid idea, so I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's not, not the best. It's like actually dead down here. There's not even cars around or anything. Yeah, I think we will have to like wake back up again, I guess. That's what I would assume at least. Mm. You know? Yeah, I forgot that. could do is like park the car all the way in the first floor and then you just go up the staircase but yeah I don't, yeah, really, sure. I don't really see anybody over here at all the no-no garage yeah it's a Nona garage, but it's like a really effective garage too. <clears throat> One shot's fired thus far. back there like going crazy what the fuck <laughs> what the yeah I think generally like cops get caught out here pretty easily I 
some car behind us. Finally. Had red rims. I think we have one of those too uh undercover now. Bundy bought it, that primo. Mm. That's always good to roll around down here if you wanted to, you know. We're not worried about speed or whatever. Yeah, no one ever goes in here. Just uh, hang out, wait until we uh, get some shot fired, and then uh, we can probably roll in really quick. Have you, uh, have you used your phone to take pictures? In here in the car mm -hmm. uh no go to a selfie uh. you can probably get like shots of things you know mm-hmm see a burglary calls down here as well yeah i haven't heard a lot of 31s popping off in this area anymore uh, i don't know if it's just the gang war pushes a lot of crims out you know what i mean we're still parked up still looking cool as hell Should I forget house robberies or anything? We haven't been to a house robbery in ages. Yo, is my boy Razor in here? Dog, is it maintenance right now? Oh. Fuck, man. Nine fucking hours, dude. Jesus. Straight to horny jail. V when I don't know. Uh, honestly, my only motivation to hop on V would be like to uh, do stuff with Harry, but his times are like. Mostly different than mine, I've noticed. But maybe they're not. Maybe they're back to where they were. But also, like, I'm doing so much detective work. I feel like one day on V is going to be, like, super detrimental. And beyond that, it's like, why, why would I even go with, like, why would I even do it? I did an EMS at Farmer's Market in Polito ASAP. My friend has been poisoned, I think. I think. Kid.
A big police chase down there. Yeah, I just turned on channel one to see what this is about. Also, that black car with the red rims just drove past us going. Um, yeah, I saw that. On. We'll keep an eye out for it. Yeah. I'm guessing he's from that BSK gang, so he's going to be around this area a lot, probably. You know. Yeah, like I said, I think they're uh, they're just hunting at the moment. We got that vehicle with the black, uh, or sorry, black car, red rims. I think it's probably involved. They're going to open fire on this vehicle. Recent chase, shootings. So. Um, so we're, we're just still in the area. It's been circling around. I think they're looking for the GSF at the moment. Yeah, it's just so hard to like sit still and take pictures, you know? Um, yeah, because they're not going to keep fighting on Grove or keep fighting on Forum like they're going to be like just yeah. circling doing circles. They might have a shootout in the barrio like shoot out in your pillbox like ran yeah, random I, spots, you know, I just saw a call for a person with a firearm on, in Harmony and like it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if they come across each other at Harmony repair or something, they're going to fight. So right. I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for 32s turning into 71s and 47s. You know what I mean? Well, it would be really good as if like, you know. Something like we're just in an area and we see them going in and out of a house with like guns or something. That would be, you know, that would be cherry on top. Yeah. But if we observe them shooting, then we can call in and we can, uh, you know, press press the right charges since we were mm -hmm. directly the first ones to respond. Yeah. And we have a pretty good written history of the last six days of these two going at each other, too. So if we can try and put a thumb on whoever may have guns in their house or is supplying arms and all that stuff uh, to the gang, then obviously they'd be fucked. Yeah, they just they, they, the the barrier for guns is so high to rate like raid somebody you'd have to get like a you know sale of like gun or watch somebody go into a house with guns for the most part. But we do have gang related shooting, which is seventy five months in jail. Yeah, it's like a low fine but high time, right? Mm -hmm. Just to get them to chill out and stop fucking going at each other nonstop. They shoot that car or uh they did open fire on it i believe but i don't think i think they like they put some shots on it but it kept going i don't know it's, i mean it's definitely still going so i can hear roads calling calm them they have an amg chasing it as well so oh it's a 99 then mm, so it sounds like yeah How steep do you think it would be about like going up on top of that warehouse up there? The brown brick one? Mm -hmm. It's uh, only one be, way up, be, I think, right? Yeah, it'd be a bad idea, probably. That that isn't the greatest building uh, to even get a view of Grove on anyway, to be honest. I'm trying to think of a way to get a view on Grove. Or uh, Forum, the I only... say. Oh, on Forum? Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, then you have to try to explain to the ball as they come up there that you're not spying on them, but you're spying on GSF, and I don't think they're going to respect that either way, right? Uh, what about the what about the highway? What about Olympic Freeway over there? Do you think that's high enough? Nah, it's too far away.
Actually, I do know a building, but it's on form drive itself, just a little bit further down. So it's probably a little dangerous. Like getting on the roof of it, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we know GSF's around there. They are. Yeah. See, that's what I'm worried about right now is... Um... Uh. Yeah, so I think both gangs are currently around right now. We've seen two different cars associated with both circling. I think uh I think we might get some action soon. Yo, Laven, thank you. I can make that, but then where do I go from there? So, is there like a higher way up? On that side? Should I try it? What's the worst that can happen? Good spot. Also got Rami old Raman rolling around on the south side in his uh, Mercedes Benz right now. Copy. Yeah, we got. Uh, it's it's a little too hot for us to just be driving around, so we, we parked the car up and we're just on the on the roofs of the Bennies and such. Um. Trying to get a view, uh, a viewpoint, but yeah, all these cars are kind of like uh, circling around uh, this area over and over again. So I assume they're like some type of hunting party going on. I, think I just saw Luca. <sighs> what? What is that effect, man? Bob, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? That 13's Bundy. It was over here on Alter Street. You should probably go over there to that. Oh, yeah. It's from a GTR C, so I think that might have been that AMG GTR. Yeah, he said that was Rami. All right, 10 4. It was on Alter Street right here. I heard the shots. I thought it was them popping off, but it wasn't. I'm gonna go back to channel one, uh, let them know we're on the way. Yeah, I know, but like, how else was it gonna get down? Wait, did he get shot? He came south on Alpha. Yeah, he got shot. It's right around us, this vehicle, too, somewhere. Can you tell him it's a red AMG and it's uh, was registered to Rami Al Raham that was driving around there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see it? No, that's what he said to me over the radio. Oh, okay. Four, 422. 422. 451. 451 transmitted on channel 7 before uh, he was shot that it was a red in color AMG that was registered to Rami Al Rahman. Was right there where he got shot yeah i saw i saw it cutting through the alleyway too fuck dude like right i was on the rooftop happened. like yeah damn i think gsf knows we're cops now by the way why 
they keep following us around. You don't see that? Well, I saw them drive past us. I mean, they could know. I mean, it's not, it doesn't really change the situation, I guess. Because if they get shot mm, at, no. they still get shot at. Exactly. Here they are again. Who is this? Why is this? Yo, what up, dog? This is a, that's an undercover car. You guys should leave. What are you talking about? I see the lights, bro. Yeah, I'm not we stole dumb. the fucking car. Yeah, I don't buy that shit. Not, not even a little bit. All right, man. Good sunglasses, though. Good looks. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a fucking yeah, bad job, but I don't think they saw him. Yeah, unfortunately, the like the the lights, uh, the the light bar needs to be fixed if you want to do any form of that. Yeah, we need to go back. Hey, we're gonna call this off. It's already fucked. Yeah, we're getting nothing. GSF's all around. They haven't shot anybody, so. I just want to point out that. Uh... <laughs> I just want to point out that that specific situation got somebody banned. Like somebody was literally banned for calling out light bars. So. Whether that still applies, I don't know. I'm not really too butthurt about it. Like, we, we discussed it multiple times. You know, it's like, what can you do? Um All right. All right, time to go find Rami, I guess. All right. I gotta stop walking like that. Yeah, the the UC cars are fun, dude. But you know, be safe, be safe out, there. out there. Oh, thank you. But. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Even, I'm not even surprised that, that happened for the most part, chat. Like, it's not even something that I'm really uh, upset about. It's just more like uh, I think I can really do. Is this him? I'll call this in. All right, let's talk. All right, Rami. Let's 410, this, we've got that red and colored GTR stopped off of Alta Street in a parking garage. Mercedes AMG. Copy, it's gonna be parallel with San Andreas. Hello? We're face westbound. Can't hear you if you're saying it, guys. Yo, what the? Fuck? Step out of the car, Anto. Why? No. Is that you? What is this for? Is this your car? What? Yeah. The fuck? Hey, keep your hands up. Yeah, my hands are up. Who's I'm with not you? Doing nothing. Hello, hey, Taco. Taco Prince. What the fuck? Do you and Rami have the same car? Uh, yeah. No, it's yeah, same car, but like, yes. Oh. <laughs> he has a two door and a four door. I All have right. the four door. Your this car is also flagged for some reason. Give me a second. For what? I I don't know. Jesus, this is a bit intense. Lads. Are you are you, are you wanted? Then. No, no, we just had. No. A... Are you wanted? The fuck? No. Are we? 
It, it's him, but it's it's his car. It was Anto. We had this is the guy. It's been here, lots and fairness now. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jesus. I, I, I know. Anyone else? You want to stick oh, a corner in my face? Don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me. I okay. swear, I'm innocent. Please. I'm innocent. You're just going for a drive. We were chatting about like you know Florida and shit. Yeah, oh, they, innocent, no, this bro. is this is Anto. This isn't Rami. They're driving the same car, and this yep. car was flagged, so we're we got the wrong car. Sorry, guys. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be a oh, two-door AMG. Oh, yeah, I saw the red AMG. Oh my god! Going after it. Uh, okay, all right, you're, you're right. You're good. Just give me a second to Bro, unflag your, cover your plate. Freeway for that, uh, Thank you. Hey, F4, this one's continuing north, Great Ocean. Copy. Jesus. Can I? Can I? Can I put my hands down, please, Bob? Please. Can okay, I put yeah, yeah. You can now? put your hands down. Give me, oh, one, give me one oh second god. to see if your plate still comes out. Oh, oh. Uh, let's go all right. That's if you cover North Sonora Freeway, uh, we have two units pushing up Great Ocean. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm doing right now. Yeah. Fuck those guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck those guys, right? What are you, what are you guys, 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 what are you guys doing? Like, are you just hanging, yeah, hanging around or yeah, what? Yeah, we, we were just driving right now. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys, in, do you have anything to do with this fucking... Bullshit like shootout stuff happening down the south side. I mean, two things. Unfortunately, One, not. Unfortunately, not. If we did, we wouldn't admit to it. And two, um, well, I, it's, did, not, it's not also... like I can arrest you. I'm just trying to understand like what your guys' no. involvement is. Because if you're getting shot by these guys, you know, no, we like like why like why is you? I would love to be in a shootout right now. Yeah, but, if we were, right, but we why, why, why is Rami shot. down there in the middle of two gangs fighting and then also shooting people? Is would be my question. Shots I mean, fired. West the question, the, question, the answer is in the question. You, you mentioned his okay, name, right. but it's enough, right? It's Rami. Ah, uh, what are you guys? He defies logic the best of times. You know, we don't like van. Where about? Aiden Milton. I'm trying to find Mr. K. Right next to us, right? The burrito. Yeah, right here. Lego car. Negative. It's a burrito. The burrito is less than what's found. It feels a parkway. What are we looking for? Is it automatic? A van. 10 four, class burrito 10 four. van. Fuck a van. Yeah, like a like a Weasel News van. Probably not with Weasel News on it. Last seen going, yeah, this direction. Off of Abe Milton. Couldn't have gone far. 410 is code 6, westbound, Eastbourne Way. Okay, have anyone with the officer? Northbound. Uh, past 8 Milton. 304s with the officer. 10 4. If they're continuing north, back uh, east on Route 68, uh, and check all the off road paths that head towards 68. You no, know me, keep going down, Grado. 10 4, yeah, continue, Grado. Uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Rose, do you want to use that? It's like fate. Alpha. Uh, I'd, I'd rather still respond to the uh, 10 15. What the fuck is going on? I mean, well, it's nighttime. Never mind. Why are we even asking? Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Up. Is there be in that van right there? Now we're clear on it. I'm just clearing that van. That van is occupied three times. Is it like a van or the cyber truck? Like a burrito. A burrito. It's a burrito. Roughness list. Get alert. Gotcha. Do we have medical en route to the 1013? Hey, firm. And last heading was uh, westbound. Yeah. Hey, firm. Hey, firm. Hey, I see units. If we can have you guys go proactive and books and chain gang, that'd be great. 10 4. Uh, where's. We're we talking about Anto, K, and. We're looking for Mr. K, Charles Johnson, and Rami Raman. Yeah, 10 4. Uh, Randy was just a hostage, actually. Uh, up in 68. Might be a good time yeah, to get everybody game, back and mount up. Hostage. Start rolling and look for these guys. 13 Alpha, code 4. 
That's what Chief wants. Get it on scene is the 13 code for. Yeah, that's what I just heard. Well, what do you mean, uh, get everyone back up? Everyone like on seven, event. like like working oh, yeah. as a as a cohesive unit instead of, you know what I mean? Because on one, you kind of get pulled into the the patrol. Yeah. Hey, we, over here. Hey, over we're here. still in this. Oh, you guys are on seven? I'm on one. I, I stay on one right now. You know, just with this the stuff. The 20 especially. is breaking off. Going to refuel in the Clinton. Pass is at you, eastbound. Hey, front of the boulevard, 10 4. Could Ooh. you 25 with me at the gas Jesus. station? Just north of you. Hey, from. What at this point, I don't want to refuel solo. Yeah, good idea, guys. Uh, probably get a partner if you can. Keep your guard up. And, uh, Do you have anyone else on the. Uh, activity or vehicles. On SCU right now. Our solo oh, officers just kind of getting picked off right now. I, we don't know. I, there's like two the different feet. situations going on here. I, I have no idea why this is go, like happening. Well, I think uh, they tried to pick off Bundy as a distraction because we're chasing after a vehicle they're involved with. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure every one of you is linked from like the original holdup to taking out Bundy for the distraction to this right Absolutely. now. So they're, they're all, all connected. Yeah. It, it's all distraction basically. They get them out. Yeah, even Anto's car, I mean, it looked just like Rami's. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. They've used that before. Two of them looking similar. 304, be advised, there was three in that vehicle. Copy, we're thinking it's Mr. K, uh, as well as uh, Charles Johnson. Hey, from uh, Rami or Rami. Due to the fact this car was involved in an uh, officer involved shooting. Actually, let's get units to Mission Row PD and let's get uh, PD Toe to transport his vehicle to assign the five strikes to it. Come back you up right now. Copy, I did witness his car in the area right before Bundy got shot as well. I think we have more than enough corroborating uh, testimony. Rhodes really likes that? his uh, five Where's strikes. Where's that vehicle at? What was that? PD. Uh, Rhodes really likes his uh, vehicle strikes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he he oh, yeah, he's got a, a pension uh, for he loves fucking the people on those, which he should, that's good, fuck him. Uh, we that whole game of like, oh, look, my friend stole my car, haha, ha, I had no idea, that, that, was, that was lame, you know? So, right. I'm glad that he likes punishing uh, people no, no, that game on us. I was referring to the, I believe it's a drafter that was left on scene of the Feltzer being stolen, and the owner of the car just sitting in the middle of nowhere. Red. Yeah, A-Firm, we started the report, it's the... Jet apprehension and Charles Johnson's linked to it. 633 is currently working on the warrant for Charles Johnson. And for good shit. Uh, but just to verify, we do have enough PC to impound this vehicle, correct? A firm. A firm. Comes back to a Claire seducer. I'll just make sure it's documented. Have all the evidence in there already, Rhodes? Do you want to take a look at it? Oh. That's 499. I have a uh, blue vehicle just south of your scene at the uh, city hall. That apparently claims that they have a hostage in the back. They go up to go right a bank, right a <clears throat> rob a bank. Can I get one uh, over here from there? Four four. What's the twenty? Uh, city hall. Thirty six. Where is Bundy? I'll find. Four ten. Switching back to uh, channel seven. Dispatch uh, four twenty three. Disregard that. Dispatch 423, it's all units in that where that officer was shot. I see the gallery's warehouse. So it makes sense why they're in Brigham hiding. The gallery has go. a warehouse? Oh, that's where Bundy is, Whoa. by the way. Affirm, where that officer was shot, and there's a building across the street. Which I think is where he was oh, shot. Is he still on the scene where he was shot? What the hell? I don't know. Oh, he might have went back to pick up evidence, though, you know? I got that blue Mustang that was helping out with the first chase. Uh, this car is covered in bullet holes. Yeah, like. What the hell? Oh my oh god. Shit. Oh, oh my god. god. Radio check. 
Hey, hey, put your fucking hands up! Me. It's a local! What the hell? Is going, what the a fuck local, is... a local just dragged this man out hey, of his vehicle back, when he's at the stoplight on the phone. What You're the behind fuck? Him. I don't know. Okay, man. What the fuck? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Jesus, it's a bad area, man. It's a bad area. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. Of I course. really do appreciate it. Hey, this is like the it... worst place to be wearing red right now, by the way. I just want to tell you. Why? I'm, I'm like the biggest, strongest, baddest gang member around. Well, uh, those what? those green guys are... Wait, what? Which gang are you with? What gang are you a part of? Uh, What's that one gang? The, the, we BSK. We're the Broke Street Jesus Kids. Jesus Christ. Broke Street Kids? Hey, that's what it is, ain't it? Wait. Are you wait? The is he part it. of his? Is he part of a gang? I'm like the like the water boy of the gang. You You're know. fucking lucky we rolled up because those guys that just drove by you would have shot you if they didn't see cops next. Oh, to you. I'm lucky they rolled up because they'd have got clapped up and wrapped up like a garbage bag covered in duct tape. I'm trying to figure out why fucking you guys are shooting each other and also why the fuck we got cops getting shot down. Because here too. I set up a lemonade stand down there on Forum and then they came down and kicked it over. So I pulled back up with a bazooka and they didn't take too kindly to that. Right, you this, know, this guy, okay. this... sir. Right. I don't. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for rescuing me. Yeah, good yeah, luck. Put the pipe Try not down. to get shot. No, I, you all want pipes? I got aluminum pipes for sale. What if do I tell you? Them. What do I? I'm Bob. I I know I'm not as experienced as you, sir, but I know a crackhead when I see one. Yeah, that guy was a crackhead. I just I don't know who's all in that gang. Oh, he That's might be in that gang, but he is a crackhead. Uh, Erwin Dundee sense. apparently is about to rob something. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna look out. Camaro is Ninety that? soon. Oh. oh. Couple of, that Metzger and somebody else? No, I think that's it's a nice car, huh? Yeah, I just was wondering what's happening there. Bundy can handle it. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, Bass, are you he still on the radio? Get shot. Uh, go, go, Channel Seven, real quick, Bob. Isn't this Channel Seven? Yellow. Oh no. So where the office was shot at, that's the um, the Galler warehouse. I've witnessed Rami or Ramen multiple times going in now. I'm gonna chop something SCU for you guys. Copy Chief. You want surveillance on that warehouse right now? I would say so since they try to basically um go over there and they probably saw a cop and they thought maybe they could just um, you know, uh, render punishment as far as what happened in that chase. Copy. You want us uh, hands on deck trying to get these guys? I mean, these guys are pretty loud. We'll find them again. But if you want to be proactive and look for them as you see them, go for it. I mean, I don't Got mind it. sitting on the warehouse or whatever. You know what I mean? Take this Mando. Yeah, we can. I mean, Just we could definitely sit in the warehouse. I'm sure they'll come back if they, uh, you know. Uh, hey, friend, check the latest uh, post I threw in Discord, yeah. This was roughly two or three months ago. What is this? Oh, this is like footage of them this... going in the, uh... In the house? Or in this, like... What the fuck? Oh, shit. Going in the warehouse, I see. Hmm. Interesting. So anyways, I looked at her, I said, I can't believe you swallowed all that. You know what I mean? No, I, I, you know, I can't believe she did either. <laughs> Is that Riz? I'm just saying, you guys, you guys... One bite. How much, how much you better? It was a hundred bucks said, or something like that? How much you better? Like, what, a hundred bucks? You put two fifty down? Yeah, I mean, I'm Jeez. not... Jeez. Hey, hold on, let me ask this crazy. Roll the window down. Roll the window down. Alright, there you go. Hey, officer. Hey, officer. I think he's talking to us, Bob. That guy over there, he's like looking over here. Hey, officer. That's weird. How do they know we're cops? Because we look like cops. 
I guess. I mean, we are wearing uniforms, like full on uniforms. Oh, I see. Hey, officer. What do oh. they want? Are they saying something? Roll the window down. Hey, officer. Yes, yeah, so hello. Yes. Hey, uh, do you think you could eat a murder meal in one bite? I, I don't know. All of it? Like, like the fries yeah. and everything? Yeah. 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 Whole thing. No, all in no there. probably Fuck not. No, I'd choke. No, it'd be a lot. I'll tell you what, this driver right here, no gag reflex, can take it all. I'm a glizzy gobbler. Who said wow. that? Oh, passenger in the back. What's? I'm sorry. Did you? What did you call yourself, son? He said he was a glizzy gobbler. Motherfucker! Oh. I never said that stupid ass shit. Uh, fuck you, Russian prick. Man, these red lights are fun, huh? A lot of red how, lights. how about we all make a deal right now where we just go through these section of red lights and we don't talk about it? No, it depends. Do you have anything illegal in your car that's worth searching? What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? Does Miles actually have a war? I'm not. That's, I the heard. Fuck, the fuck, a glizzy gobbler? Did he just? Did he say? What the fuck is it? Did you say he has a war? What the fuck? It's a glizzy gladiator. Mm -hmm. All right. What the fuck? Is, had, how, he, how do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? I want to see if that's the true. Fuck is a glizzy anyways? Yeah. Who said that? I, do you know who that individual is? It sounds all like oh, that Miles guy know. in the passenger seat. Yeah, motherfucker. You better start with the red lights, asshole. Hey, Miles. Yeah. Oh, is that you? Yeah, he does. Man, yeah, this is me, Miles Maelstrom. You know. Oh wait, this is that who we have in there? No, no, there's no Maelstrom in here. It's not. Is it Landon? It's Land. Yeah. Who's that? No. Oh. You know, I went to high school with this kid named Landon. He was a real cocksucker, preppy son of a bitch. Used to play lacrosse. Hmm. No, we oh. got a warrant for Miles Landon. Oh. For poaching. We don't have one for a Miles. What did he say his last name was? Maelstrom. That guy's Maelstrom. No, we don't have any warrants for a Maelstrom. I thought that was Landon. I don't know. I honestly, I don't think I've ever met that individual before. If I have, I, I don't, I don't think I've met Maelstrom or Landon. I just looked at Landon's mugshot. I, I can't recall his face. It was a red AMG flying through a red light. Oh, followed by a black Sultan. That's weird. Oh, okay. Thanks, Lopal. Where did it go? On this highway here, I think? Right, right here. Yeah, this one. But I don't know if he... Oh, yeah. Okay, they continued, I would imagine. It's the U-turn. I don't see him anymore. Go to the right here a little bit. Like, cut to the right hard now. Go up this little hill right here if we can. No, never mind. You're good. They're not up there anyway. You, that, a lot of people cut off over there and they go up that like stone embankment and drive up the grass. The apartments. Oh, you know what? Actually, the warehouse. We should go to the warehouse and roll that right now. That's westbound. The warehouse is behind us. And they were headed oh. that way. Yeah. Can you mark it? I'll, uh, here, guy will. I know it's across from the gallery, which is here on like so. We have a bank truck leaving MRPD. Fuck. <laughs> someone steal? Did someone steal the bank truck that we stole? Some blue car to our right here. Yeah, it literally Mustang. just drove it's that out Mustang of the again. They saw this in the area before. 
that wasn't the car we saw. We saw a black Sultan and that red AMG four-door that we had pulled over, I believe. So the warehouse is to the left here. There's, a, there's somebody uh, in the class. Make a left on hallway. And then make another left on the street up ahead here. This one, like, right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, make a left. And then over to our left here, down the alley, that's where the warehouse is, down that dark back section over there. I don't see any vehicles. Yeah, you can access it from right there, too. Oh, I see. Park it, like uh, park the car, and then uh, run across the street, get on the roof. Yeah. Just take it out for a little bit. Yeah, I think that's probably the plan. I mean, it's City Hall, so uniformed cops being around at a police department. <laughs> Literal police station isn't, you know, I hope wouldn't pique their interest. Right. I need to get some binoculars. Yeah, I need to start carrying my news camera on me too, so I can record a video. Oh, here, Bobby, through here. We can go this way and be completely unseen and get on that roof. This look cool up here. Uh, actually, it's this way. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> what was that? What was that animation? Oh, <laughs> oh we can go out one layer above you. Dent ink. Bro. What's up? Just look at the clouds in the sky, even though it's nighttime. Oh, it's a lot darker for me than it is for you, I think. No, I think we have the same brand of contacts. I can't see that. I can't see the doors of the warehouse from here right now, unless there's a camera, I think. Yeah, I can see the doors. Anything with the camera just fine. Ugh. I keep hearing um like a performance car, like a sports car circling around here. I keep hearing like a a decent engine, you know what I mean? It's, it's a fast mover too, whatever it is. It might be that Mustang. I just, I don't know where the hell they're coming from because it has, it's not over here. It's not the warehouse. Ow, fuck. What the fuck? What? Is that one of ours? What, honking? Yeah, I don't think it yeah, is. Yeah, why? Yeah, I saw it. it was a it was a black and white. It went across the front of City Hall on uh, occupation. Oh, okay. Or whatever it's called over here. It 
The other thing we can keep an eye on from up here is the uh, this back entrance to the gallery over here that's across the hallway. Okay. You see that blue parking structure with the ramp that goes up? It's like a split level. Yeah, yeah. Backside of the gallery. Yeah, that there's an entrance there. Uh, I believe that they can pull cars in and out of because there's a garage door, and then at the front, obviously, the front doors. Oh, oh, there's something pull back. Oh, we got uh, action. Just yep, 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 action. He peeled off. I'm four. Speeds around 60. Standby left. Is there anybody on this radio? 10-4. What's going on? Uh, yeah, I was trying to get Bass on the radio, but he's gone. Okay, well, I'm on the radio now. Okay. All right. <laughs> can, we, can I help you? No. What's up? Um, we're trying to get, um, uh, Chang Gang. Chang Gang, thank you. Uh, and we're camping out one of their warehouses. At least Rami's, who just shot Bunny. I got somebody running out. Looks like Charles Johnson. And that looks like... Who's with him? Judd? We want Charles Johnson. That was one of the people that Bass named. Which warehouse? Uh, okay. So can we raid this thing? I just saw somebody that we want go into a warehouse. I think he's just wanted for questioning. I don't know if he's got a warrant. I'll look. Okay, we don't know if he has a warrant, actually. No, it's, he does have a warrant. Okay, he has a warrant. He just went into their property across the street from the uh, Vulture La Culture. Oh, the little garage? Yeah, I don't think they store anything there, but uh, we could. Okay. Um, I think it's technically... Is it Hot Pursuit, technically? If he has a warrant and he went into a building? Uh, I mean, yeah, but unless you had reason to believe he stashed something that you knew he had in there, I would not search it on those grounds yeah we saw him leave so like if he had a class two in his hands and then ran in there while you're running after him and then you search him and he didn't have class two then yeah but but he can just like, like hide that. in the building for now and we can't really do anything about it i mean you can hop pursuit i'm just saying like you can't technically search the property unless you believe he hid something in there you can follow him in there i'm just saying don't search it unless you believe he hid something oh i see don't search the building unless okay i understand what you're saying now i gotta see what the uh yeah Yeah. I mean, hot pursuit only applies if you're actively pursuing him, though. So, yeah, if you're chasing him and he runs in there, then you could go in. But if he just goes into a building, we can't go into it? I mean, unless you're absolutely positive he's in there, I wouldn't go in there, no? Well, no, I, I, I saw him go into the building, is what I'm saying. So now he's inside he the building. In there? I believe he's still in there. We haven't seen him come out. Wait, the Sultan left. You didn't see okay, it? Um, yeah, but he dropped him off and he went back oh, he in. He wasn't and... in there. Yeah, I mean, you oh, could uh, you could definitely surround the building. Um, I know that 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 garage has locks on it, so the only way to get in there is to have a warrant or wait for him to come out. Uh, okay, we need to get like possibly units here if this is the same. I don't know. I imagine the warrant's decent, right? Yeah, it looks all right. I'm I'm gonna review it again. What is the question? Sorry, I was talking to Luca. I'm 76. I'll stage kind of far away, so I don't compromise anything. You're not really compromising anything. Like we we saw him go in there. I mean, we could 
the only thing that would compromise is that we want to see other other guys too but if he's not coming out then uh, I don't know we might as well try to go in Alright, Sir Call, what, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to drive up there? Uh, yeah, just just drive up here and post up for now. Just so in case he does come out, we can get into a foot chase with him. Alright, I'll be staged like Dorset uh, Hospital. Or Courthouse, rather. Yeah, it's, uh, Warren's good. His, Johnson's car was on scene with fake plates. They removed the fake plates. It was his plates underneath. They ran them. On top of that, they got casings from a gun, uh, with a blood sample next to him that came back to him, DNA-wise. So, yeah, it's, it's a good warrant. So he got shot, or what was the implication? He must have, yeah, he, he, he must have gotten hit. Uh, he was holding up Walker when, uh, Boyardi arrived on scene, it sounds like, in the support, so. And he got, he got shot holding up Walker, uh, either doing it or before that, because he was bleeding at some point. Can we can we have a can we get a warrant to just go into the property to see if he's there and arrest him? Yeah, absolutely. You would have to send it through and get signed, though. Okay, because I I might want to do that. Because I'm curious what's in there. Obviously, I'm not going to search anything because I don't even know what we're looking for. The only thing we have is that he held up a, a cop with a gun. But I can't go through the entire property, you know, on that premise alone, I don't believe. So I just want to see if he's still inside the building. Yeah, if you, if, if you saw him go inside that building and he has yet to come out, we can write a warrant specifically just to search uh, a building for a person. We're going to do that. It's okay. probably best one of us stays here, right? Yep. All right. I think, uh, yeah, I think one of us is going to start working on it then, and the other one's going to keep watching. Um, we might as well get, like, units uh, posted up here, though. Uh, I guess I can switch to channel one and coordinate that. All right. Do you want me to, what do you want me to do? I mean, if you, if you want to get units uh, from one that are available to surround this place, just to make sure, you know, no one goes in, no one goes out, we'll get the warrant passed. We'll just check inside. If he's in there, we'll arrest him. If not, obviously, we're not going to search through everything. All right, yeah, I'll switch over to one. Uh, do you know whose property that is? It, would it be uh, Ramiel Rahams since it's, you know, the Vulture, the Culture Warehouse? I would assume it's owned by the like the business. You know what I mean. It's like the, owned it's like under the, the VLC if name. If it's owned by the business, uh, we're just sending warrants to the business owners. Or I mean, I think ultimately they wind up in Rami's hands no matter what because he's the owner anyway. So even if it is through the business, it'd be the owner, right? That has to be. I don't know. He owns the property, so. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Uh, they're a little bit busy on channel one. Did you want to wait until the warrant was at least submitted before I get people down here? Yeah, sure. That's, that's fine. We can we can wait till it's submitted. <laughs> the problem with that place though is there is no address i'm not sure if you're aware but there is no address to that building shit i don't think that building here. technically does not exist fuck i don't think we can get into it if there's no address on it right so then what how do we get into the building 
I think you'll just have to describe the area to the best of your ability on the warrant and specify that there is no address for the building. But there's an owner, right? No, there's no address. So they're just going so, in and out of an abandoned warehouse? So I'm not sending this like warrant off to anybody, I'm guessing. Uh, I mean, I guess not. Like, I there's no address for it as far as I have. Because we we tried raiding this before. Uh, we weren't successful in it because we didn't get enough information, but I tried to find an address and there is literally no address for that building. Well, you know, I'm trying to tell the DOJ we want to get in that building because someone with a warrant's in there. So I guess we could just put, like, red brick building across from Vulture to the Culture. I yeah, guess. I, I would say, because Rami owns Vulture to the Culture, um, so I would say it's a building owned by him. Um, I, I'm assuming it's just a and part of Vulture to the Culture. Yeah. Like, is that a local down there? Obviously, it's not the yeah, same it's, property, but yeah. I, I guess it's just an extension of... Right, but it's across the street from it, like, with four other buildings, so it's... Yeah, hi. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I can double check the door again, um, and see if the new property tab will pick it up. Do you want me to do that? Sure. Alright. Um, mm. there's a, there's a vehicle over there now on that blue parking structure I was talking about at the gallery. Can you see it? I'll yeah, the black one? The front of it as well. Yeah, what, what it's, is it's that? It's already is been it? up there. Oh, uh, I just didn't see it in the nighttime before, Yeah, it looks like a cruiser or something. Okay. Okay, so on the front, it says it's Del Perro Boulevard 1 Gallery. I'm going to take a picture. What's this guy on the bike doing? I don't know. So I guess that's I guess that's the address. There's some guy that just like rolled up to this place on a bicycle. Yeah, I heard the bike. What did he do by that? Is that a dumpster? He like looks like he checked the dumpster and then he took off. I can go check it once he's gone. Yeah, he's gone now. He's taken off. Did you have eyes on yeah, him? Did you a handoff dumpster. at all? No, no. He, he just like, like he went there. He looked into the dumpster. Which dumpster? Oh, that's is this? it's that one to your right, like when you walk into that like fenced in area. Which dumpster? To your right. You're not. Uh, it's gonna be over to your right there. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't on the radio. Yeah, my bad. These ones are in front of me. I didn't know. Yeah, the one directly in front of you, to your left, you, yeah, that one. There's videotapes in here. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I have a news camera, I'll look at them. What the hell? I think it's that, like, news guy that, like, videos everything. Oh, maybe he literally just threw away some used or, like, shitty tapes he didn't need. You know what I mean? Well, why sure, there? why there? It's so weird. It's so fucking... You know what, Bob? Why not? Just to, just to throw another red herring or distraction in our face. You know? Why not? Maybe he saw like... us up here looking down there. And I, I don't know. I'm trying... No, no, he did. He, he did. Uh, he, he was in the crosswalk over here below us, like, where that broken up fudo is before and uh he was in the bushes he definitely saw us because i saw him but you were talking to to the sergeant the other sergeant so i was like yeah he's fine like he's a news guy i i've met him before i know who he is just so fucking weird what the fuck how do i how do i look at this how do i put this in my news camera you gotta look at the label if there's no label then you're not gonna be able to watch it i don't think 
Is this the, the label where it's like timestamp and the VOD? Is that? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Let me see. Yeah, if any of that's like not there, then you won't be able to watch it, I don't think. What the hell? That's so. That's so fucking random. Uh, it has locations. Two of them are two seconds long, and one of them is eight seconds long. I'm not able to look at any of them, but, um. Let's see. One of them was on Bourbon and A. Milton. Two of them were, and then the final one was on Pacific Bluffs, Bluffs, and West Eclipse Boulevard. And we can't see what's on the tapes. No. Yeah, okay. he didn't maybe he was just uh, throwing out like garbage footage or something, you know. The one on Abe Milton is like right here, by the way. So who knows? He's probably, yeah. he, he probably thought we were. On yeah, they were all recorded recently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I got bad news for Carlos. Still haven't seen him come out. I don't think this dude's coming out of here. Not anytime soon, anyway. Like, you oh. would have thought his ride would have been here by oh, now. Oh, shit. You know? My bad, chat. Okay. Oh, see? Uh, you have the address for, for that building, right? I'll send you this picture, uh, Luca. Luca, can you email me? 10, ten 4. Ow! Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. I fucking hate using the radio. It just makes me so angry sometimes. I get it. Yeah, so Martel just sent me a picture of this. It's got a big sign on the one that says Del Perro Boulevard One Gallery. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? I guess, yeah. I mean, that's about as close as we're gonna get right, to, uh, to yeah. the address. So, um. We do just be watching a uh, building, I guess, until we can get units into it. Unfortunately, uh, it'd be pretty dumb if he walked out and then we're like <laughs> going in. Months, let's go. Oh shit. 
it's a little fucked up on the search warrant. How long you guys been up there, by the way? Out. I want to say maybe 10, 12 minutes. It says property. That can't be true. So I've been here for 10 Charles to 12 Johnson. minutes. Okay, so a little longer, 15, 15 to 20. Okay, you sure he's still in there? As in, like, did I not see him leave the entire time I've been watching the building? I mean, there's a front door. Is anyone on the front door? You think he went in the back way and then left the front door? I mean... I, yeah, he got him. Oh, well, um... Wait, is nobody on the front door? How are we supposed to watch? I didn't even realize there was a front door. There's there's only the back doors that we see here. Bob, all buildings have front doors. Like most. <sighs> okay. Like if you Should think we just about any building? This is fucking stupid. I'm I'm just gonna call this off. I mean. I have to wait fucking 25 minutes, and uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just dumb as fuck. I'm I'm gonna not waste my time anymore. I should have just like went in there the second I saw him instead of trying to uh, do whatever this is. I was halfway Where's done the with door? the warrant application I, on I my phone. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you didn't know that there was a front door. No, Bass sent me a thing that was like, here's video of them going in and out of their warehouse. So I assumed that, I don't know, that that's, that's the warehouse portion. I didn't know it was like a, hey, here's a front door, like a business that they're also operating that they can like go in and out of. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if they can go in and out of the front door. I'm just saying, if they can, maybe that's why. Because I, I don't know why he would be in there for that long. Like his driver dropped him off. Like this Judd guy that I've seen before. He that's just the left him there, and then he went too. inside. So I was. I, I assumed that he was just doing some shit inside. I guess. Judd was literally his accomplice on this warrant charges. Judd got. Do you want to go knock on the door? We can. We him. can go knock on the door to see if he's there. Let's go knock on the door. We'll say trick or treat. He'll have to open the door. Yeah, sorry, Luca. Sorry, it's just hey, don't, a, it, it's don't. a it's a waste of our time if we're like sending this shit off and they're like well he could have left through the front door and then we have no way to prove whether he left through the front door or not because we weren't watching it you know yeah yeah no, no i mean yeah I don't don't be sorry i this is this is police work i signed up for this shipment as a matter of fact by signing up for street crimes i probably signed up to fill out a whole lot of warrant applications that'll never even get the time of day that's fine all right we're just gonna roll in there and see if he shows up I mean, we should have, like you said, we should have done this balls out from the beginning. Just roll up. Hey, I ain't talking about Oh. Oh. You want me to knock? Yeah, go ahead. Can you, use the P you want me to use the PA system to announce? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Go ahead. I'm just saying, if you think of, like, any building like that. Uh, I'm going to let her knock right. first, and then I'll do um, a PA announcement. Knock, knock, knock. Twick a tweet. If you guys got any candy, twick a tweet. How did you not think of the front door, Bob? I don't. Okay. I don't. Hey, knock, 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 knock. Let me show, let me Charles Johnson, this is the LSPD. If you're inside the building, you need to come out with your hands raised. Do it now. Once again, Charles Johnson, if you're in this building, we've got this building surrounded. This is the LSPD. How would I even like, kick in this door? Come out of the building with your hands door. raised from the rear door. Do it now. Yeah, you know, kick it in. Wow. I guess there was a door, so it makes sense. I thought it was just these two garage doors. Did you not see this door either? I saw this door, I just thought it was maybe a fake door. I don't even know what this fucking place is. What? How many fake doors and buildings with no front doors have you come across in your life? In this city, a lot. <laughs> hmm. Um... 
Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> it would be so funny if they said that. Did you match? That would be so funny, right? No one's in here. <sighs> All right. I don't think they're here. Or they're inside and they're not coming out. Hey, are you guys in there and you're just not coming out? I gotta keep switching if that's the case. Yeah, I, know. I don't know. They're not saying anything. Well, there's a front door, so I guess we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, they could have left by the front. They could, they could be yeah, I, the I, front door right now. Or they could be inside. Or they could be inside, yeah. You know. I mean, he could have been in the trunk of that Sultan when it left, too. It's not like we saw no, what no, 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 that no. No, he wasn't in the Sultan. That, he... <sighs> that's a good point, sir. No, he went in. I watched him go inside physically on his two feet. Yeah. Would that be like an actual conversation that despite like having PC, we just don't get something signed because there's a front door like in this situation? What do you mean? Like, oh, you have to prove that he's still in there. Like, would that be a conversation I'd have to have? I mean, you deal with CG. Yeah, probably. You know how they are. They're going to try to argue this shit in court. That I went into their building? <laughs> with a yeah, warrant? Yeah, if they find out that you weren't watching the front door, they're definitely they're definitely going to be like, Hey, man, why does this guy not think that front doors exist? Right, but then wouldn't they be like, Yeah, my client used the front door to leave. They shouldn't have went in that building. The, the guy with a warrant for shooting cops or holding cops up, he left through the front door. You guys weren't allowed to broke that dude's window on accident. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, it probably would still work, honestly. I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, well. If he is in there and he just heard that PA announcement, he would have left through the front door. He's probably not going to be here. Yeah. He's not going to be here anymore. Not long enough yeah, to get a warrant, probably. he would have left through the front probably. door by now, for sure. He would have left through the front door. Mm-hmm. This fucking front door. Well, Bob, I just... I don't... Well, now I know there's a front door, I guess, next time I decide to do this. Well, I mean, I just don't understand how you didn't know there was a... What buildings have you seen don't have front doors? I don't understand. I mean, Think of any building. Think of a single building that you've ever been around or in. How many house robberies have you been on where the robber ran out the back door instead of coming to you at the front? What even is the front... Hold on, what is the front door? this right here what door there's no door it's just a window could you imagine that could you imagine if soon, as soon as we left he just came out of the back door that'd be so funny oh my god we got a 13 adam hey luca do you, do you hear what i said yeah he just runs oh sweet they're gone i'm, I'm free yeah he just runs out of the back oh uh, bob would be so mad oh there's not a one there's not only one door bob there's two doors well, you look at that. They look like they sometimes look like Bob, fake doors. Hey Bob, sometimes buildings have two doors. In the they front. Look, they don't even look like real doors. What do you mean? They got handles and everything. They look like they're painted on. Like they're wallpaper doors. Well, try to peel the wallpaper off. Maybe. Does this work? I don't think this would work. boys yeah. oh. mm -hmm. I'm hey, Bob, did you hear what i said to luca no what i said i said could you imagine if if when we left the back he came running out the back he'd be so upset yeah yeah, yeah could I... you imagine that'd be kind of funny though huh i can't oh, I, I don't i think i think that's a fake door i don't think that's a real door well i don't it don't look I like just... a door i went up to it I tried the handle. What is with you and doors? I think that's a wall. What is this conspiracy theories that you have with the doors? I don't understand. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what I say. You know? How many doors have you been tricked by? I don't. How does this happen to an average person? Like, I've never been tricked by a door. I've been tricked like I went to go through a door and it was locked. I didn't know it was locked. And I was like, oh, oh my God, it's locked. I look like a fool right now. But, but I've never run into a fake door. How many fake doors have you run into that this oh, is shit, a problem? Oh shit, we gotta go. 
Oh. It's 37. We have 37 up here in West I like, I like how you didn't break for the 13 Alpha. You break for the 37. Okay. They got enough cops down there, don't they? I, Yeah, it looks like it. I'm listening to one. They're, they're not saying, oh my god, we're... Help, help. They called it Code 4 already, put it that way. Behind her? There's a there's an eco-friendly car parked all not eco-friendly right here. I see. I don't know this shit about like we're gonna scare them off whenever I fucking show up. I'm telling you, it's just like, speeding vehicles every time. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, that's pretty suspicious right there, to be honest. Is it? Four people in a masked up in a white buffalo. Was it stolen? Uh, it didn't come up. Oh, okay. So anyway, I don't what think do you it has anything to, to do with this call, no, but it's suspicious as fuck you? anyway. What are you talking about? What are you guys doing? Can I come with you? I don't know. You just ruined my whole, uh, I catch Charles Johnson arc that I was doing. Well, I'm sorry that you, you didn't know that buildings have front doors. I mean, how did you go through your entire life with this? I, Luca, back me up. Luca, do something. This man is saying things to me. He's on channel one listening to the uh, 1013 situation. I can switch back Fine. if you need to ask me something. No, I'll just she's go back just, on duty then. I don't even care. She's just yelling. Well, Tracy, I do thank you for your help. Don't talk to me, Bob. On showing me once again that I should just do things myself. Did you want this drug sale off of uh, off the street or did you want me to drive by those? No, I want you to see that one. Uh, that's, uh, that's drugs. No, I'm I... not gonna because you made me mad. No, oh, look. Tell me who the fuck is there. I need to arrest them. It's my only calling in life. There's a white car. I'm following it up northbound Alta Street. I turned right. Eastbound Spanish. I lost it. No, I didn't. I turned right again. Southbound. You know what has been oddly quiet today? Off the place. I, mean, I turned left it. through an alley. It's going up some the stairs. Casino. Eastbound. I haven't heard shit. No shots fired. No Jimmy calls. Really appreciate no some backup here. It's going. Uh, okay, I'm coming. That. Well now I'm now. Well now I've lost what it. it. What is, well now uh, I've lost it, Bob. What the fuck was it? Well, Bob. Well now it's gone. North east. North east. Where? East left. Seen eastbound Spanish Ave, I think. Oh. It was a white car. White car. Is it a white buffalo. Buffalo, you said. Is it a white buffalo? No, it was just a white car. It wasn't white a car. buffalo. I don't know what kind of car it was though. It's a red car. Maybe if we were on the same car together, I went and lost it. But you know what? It's fine. Wait, how would how would that have helped? Just saying. Maybe if we, if I had backup really close to me, like I, in the same car as me. I was ten seconds. You lost him in eight seconds. Well, he went up some stairs. You know how these CVPIs are in stairs. They're like goddamn dogs. They're scared of the stairs. Like you're scared of front doors, aren't you? I just don't think those front doors uh, actually open, that's all. I only saw people going through the back door. If I have to, you know, make an argument about how there's 17 windows, a fire exit, and a roof hatch that they could have escaped from. Next time I'll just hop or suit, you know. Well, I mean, why didn't you just hop or suit? I don't... Sorry, there's a guy up here on Vinewood that's like punching trees or something. Well, I wouldn't know that because I'm not in the same car as you because you don't want to be around me because you hate me and uh, if she, that's wrong. If, that's wrong if she really wants, I mean, I don't know. 
And if you if you really need to ride around with Sergeant Martel, you can, Bob. No, I, I, re can. I really don't need to. I don't know why she's. No, it's not a big deal. I mean, I can grab my car, and you know, you guys. No, can, that, maybe that's all right. I have bit, a you know? headache, and I'm trying to avoid oh. another one. Hey, have you not turned to this uh, Nino thing yet? No. Uh, okay. I have a lot of time. I'm still trying to investigate everybody involved. Oh, by the way, I uh, interviewed somebody that. Oh, hold on. I got something behind me. Oh no. I think I. I think I know who this is. Going on behind us? This woman just reversed out of uh, that like parking area. Do you need help? I think we're good right now. We got her plate. Okay, well, what are you guys working on now? I just had a guy fly like 130 miles an hour in front of me. I might chase him, I guess. Okay, so are you guys just doing normal stuff then? Uh, no, we've been responding to 37s and trying to get CG for shooting at cops. That's why I was trying to, uh, get Charles Johnson. Did you check Rami's apartment or Randy's warehouse? Uh, Randy wasn't involved. Yeah, but did you check Randy's warehouse? Even though he was, like, not involved in the situation? I mean, he he's is still checking for Rami. I'm sure he has keys yeah. to it. They are best buddies. Hey! Hey, you! What's going on, man? God, you really don't want to exhaust up, all your man? options, do you? you? This man Why up there got away? that sultan. What about He's a sultan? Running. What, man? What, what sultan? He's here, this car here. Yeah, he nearly killed me, man. Oh, shit. Why? This man up there. That random guy on his phone talking to his girlfriend? They're trying to enjoy a nice... Just no, no, over there, there, man. This one there. What? Oh, that guy? This, yes, this man. Hey, excuse me. Did you... Run people over. Did you try to kill this guy in front of you? I just rented this place, man. Look how perfect see, it I is. See, I tell you. I don't even see like stolen. a... How, stolen? <laughs> Alright, so you're just making up words now. No, no. He's you're just stolen, making man, things up. He sultan, he stole it, he stole it. He stole the sultan that you were driving? I was not driving it, I was standing here and he ran No, I saw you sultan. get out. I saw you get out. He's no, it's him, man. Me. Stop him. lying to me. Why are you lying to me for? Who is lying, man? My uh, clucking bell for $50. Oh, chicken, chicken is good, man. Okay. I, I, I don't know why I just went to the apartments. That was a terrible decision on my part. Anyway, what do you mean go to Randy Bullet's warehouse when the guy's being arrested in Polito, but I have to make sure a fucking door is operational? Is it... I don't know why you're so hung up on this door thing. Did you get like, did something happen when because you were Because I'm like, like this mom? sounds stupid as fuck that, oh, you're Randy Bullet, let's just uh, recall the entire fucking gang because Rami shot a cop. But, uh, yeah, uh, Bob, did you check the fucking fire hatch on the roof? I just feel like you're mad at yourself for not just following him in there. Yes, partially I am, actually. Actually, that is true. I am mad that I just didn't go in there when I saw him go in. Because that would have saved me 30 minutes of headache. And yeah. also, I just saw Mr. Who I, I think sounds a lot like when Randy Bullet tries to rob a bank. Where he does this weird, like, high-pitched voice. Uh, telling me about, like, chicken. And how some guy tried to kidnap him and stole the car he was driving. Those anyway, I, I need these 37 calls. I need to catch the drug dealer tonight. Who just leaves all their dumpsters facing... The nine the left, sorry. I want to catch a drug dealer. Oh my god, it's so easy. If only if I was in the car with you. I saw like three drug dealers on my way back to PD and I just didn't say anything because it made me mad. What the fuck? People can't make 
characters on Aether anymore? Oh, shit. Anyway, I checked Robbie's apartment. He's not there. I'm going to go check the warehouse. Hey, just make sure you check both doors. I think she's into Actually, you, Actually, the warehouse uh, only has one door and a and I'm not even door. trying to be weird about it. She's being real forceful about getting in this car with this you. This fucking... Where... So his warehouse has one door, and this one supposedly has more than one door. Well, his warehouse is, is actually a warehouse, like, connected to other warehouses. So, yeah. It's like a storage Bro, unit type fuck thing. this warehouse. Holy shit. You see, Bob, there's different types of buildings. There's houses. This warehouse can suck my dick. How about that? storage units. There's business complexes. There's churches. There's apartments. There's, there's all different types of buildings. This fucking Bob, place didn't even have a goddamn eyes. address. Yeah, but then we found the address. Did you? Kind yes. of. All right. It, they have that sign in the window, right? But but if the DOJ looks at that, is it going to come back to that address for sure? Are we sure? No, there is no address. I'm just saying that's the best we got. So unless you. So uh, it has a door, know. but it has no address. Bob. Wait. Bob, the listen, sign in the window is not a fake. Right now, okay? it, it, it is an actual fake address. I'm trying sign, to help you. But the doors couldn't be fake. That that's not possible. Doors look fake to me when I went up to it. I no, tried no, to look doors inside. Can't be fake. Only the address. I, I looked inside. It looked like somebody painted on the doors. I'm telling you right now, those look those are fake doors on that place. So I, I don't want to be part of this conspiracy where the warehouse has doors and he could have walked out Luca, the front. Can you, here? can you explain doors? I don't. Know. You know what we should do? We should just go on patrol. Go to some banks, Bob. You know? There's no back doors in a bank. I'm not going to a bank. There's only a front door. Why don't banks have back doors? Banks do have back doors. Legion Square Bank has a back door. The vault has a back door. What? No one ever yeah, exits I, Legion I, Square through the back door. Well, yeah, they can't. It's locked. More concerning, why is a house robber never run away from me through the back door of a house when I've kicked in the front? Are people really that dumb here? Have you noticed that most yeah. places have one entrance? Bob! Bob! Oh my god. I think that's the argument here, Bob. I, I'm sticking with the house robber argument. I'm just saying. If I was robbing houses and a cop was like, LSPD, bitch, I'm coming in there, pussy. Also, I'd why would this guy with a warrant, like, get dropped off conspicuously with the guy that he's running away from cops with in the back entrance and then just, like, walk out the front door? The other guy got charged already, Judd. He already went to jail for this shit, so it's even uh, worse. He well, literally has... Maybe been charged with the crime and served time for it and is with the accomplice that's wanted or maybe so. he did not it's care like... i don't <laughs> or maybe that was the plan maybe he thought cops are too dumb to know that off. front doors exist i'll go in through the back door escape out the front door and they're gonna waste their fucking time for an hour you know what this screams a lot like um my phone subpoena where i got told you know that there's no way this last lawyer but possibly have been the one to leak the information. It's just no way he was down there the whole time. How could it be him? We need more evidence. And now he's in jail on a hot charge. That doesn't um, sound right. I'm not, a, I'm not here to speculate if this man, you know, ate like a sandwich inside, watched, you know, a Netflix show, brushed his teeth, decided to go out the, the window. Did deny your search warrant? Because I haven't even seen it in there. What? No, you know what? You denied it for me when, with this whole front door conversation. It was already denied the second that you brought up the front goddamn door, Tracy. And you goddamn know well, it. I'm sorry that you don't know how You goddamn work, know Bob. that the, the, the fucking one was dead in the water when you brought up the fucking front door. Well, I'm so sorry that you don't know anything about the Oh, doors, you're Bob. sorry. You're sorry. Here's, here's my dumb ass sitting in a roof for 30 minutes, fucking staring through a camera lens, thinking that I'm going to get this sick ass warrant where I get to go in their warehouse and arrest Charles Johnson. But no, there's a front fucking door. Why am I the one who's because you, when because you're the one you who were doesn't the even know that there's front doors on buildings? How is that even possible? Because you could have told me that he could have right gone through so the front much. door. You could have said this. I did. 
the footage I have is of the back door. Right in front of me, I would feel like I'm 15 again. I did tell again. you there was a front door. That's how we're having Oh, now you told me there's. Right oh, now. you told me there's. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, Bass who showed me a video of only the back door of this fucking place and said, "Here's the warehouse, Bob." Here's the warehouse. Go send, Go check out Mom, this Dad, warehouse, please. Bob. Luca, what is happening here? Luca, stay out of this, okay? I feel like I'm 15, please. Next time, you know, I get put on some fucking operation to the chief of police or, or Tracy Martell started. Tell me if there's a fucking front door. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, Bob, just so you know, most buildings, I would say, I don't know, 100% of them have a front door, Bob. From where I was sitting, that was the front door. There was two there was two garage doors and a door. The front I, door. You from where you were sitting, where you were facing the back alley? No. So the the That's the front door to you? That to me because that's the front door for whatever the hell they're doing in there. You know why why we got this? Well yeah, because they're always driving in there, so they gotta put their cars in there. There's no parking in the front, Bob. He didn't even put his car in there, he just dropped them off inside. Yeah, they're probably used to using the back door because there's a parking in the front. I don't know. That just seems that to, to me. To me, this screams. To, to me, this screams that I, I I really was just set up for this, just to look like a big idiot. I don't know why you're upset at me. I didn't make you do this. No, it was the chief of police, actually. Yeah, this is Bass's fault. This is why this is why you can't be in the same car with us. Welcome to the What did Island. I do? You all you always do this. What did I even do? Oh You're... my god, I'm being gaslit! No, you were, you spent the last 10 minutes gaslighting me. What did I do? And now you're playing the victim in this. Welcome to oh my God. I'm the one, I, I was the one that was on the roof. I was on the roof. Me. And my son Luca were on the roof for 35 goddamn minutes just sitting there. Well, how was that my fault? Thanks, Dad. You should have said, you know what, Bob? It sounds like you saw him. Go in there. Just go in. I just got a second address. Yeah, you know, it's the fake. It's not the warehouse doesn't exist on fucking G maps. That's not how hot pursuit works. It literally is. He's got a warrant, and he That's went inside the building. Then why did you ask me? If you were so sure, then why were you, why didn't you ask me? Because I trusted you and your interpretations of the law. Right. Because I am correct. We we I'm sorry, you didn't know no. doors existed. No, you you thought, you changed the definition of of hot pursuit. And then you made me sit there with a the camera for 10 extra minutes. If you were so sure, you had already been sitting there for like 10 minutes before I got there. I would have so got sure, the you guy. Done it yourself. I only wasn't sure because of you. You made me unsure and lose confidence in myself. When I got there, you could have been hey, like, hey, Tracy, I just saw this guy running in, so I'm running in after him. But instead, you asked me. I, yes, because I trusted your opinion. I'm so sorry. I don't want to see you get sued, Bob. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't sorry. get sued be because so I'd be able to. I'd be able to accurately articulate why this man had to be arrested okay, inside go in of the. There. If that's how hot pursuit, that's how you think hot pursuit is. Go in I, there I now. can't go in there Do now. It. It's been fucking forty minutes. Okay, so now it doesn't work the way that you said it works. So it no, work I, the I, there's, I not said a, it works there's not a statute of limitations for hot pursuit. I can't fucking go into Randy Bullet's house thirty days after he robbed the bank. If you saw him run in there, by your logic, if you saw him run in there after he robbed the bank 30 days later, you could go in. So what's the argument here? Because there's a difference. There's a difference. No. Okay, so so then what? That wasn't... This guy has a warrant. He goes in a building, doesn't come out. That's not there's hot pursuit. There's a goddamn 37 right near you. stealing a cop car. I think I just helped stop them. I mean, that's more important than a 37. 
Yeah, but Bob's upset about something. No, 37s are equally as important. Sometimes even more than 13 alphas, given context. Is anybody speeding down here, leaving? I haven't seen anybody. This is going to be in a park, so it's going to be down below us when we get to the top. I know this area pretty well. It's where Ripley, uh, I think this is canine training, as a matter of fact. Some locals. It's like a guy just sitting there. Do you see that? I see a couple of people. I see just a bunch of locals kind of standing there. Where, who are you pointing? Is there at? anybody selling drugs up there? Just somebody sitting. No, I think there's people like having a picnic or something down there. Could be a drug picnic. Good call. I'm going in. I don't see the people you're talking. Are you sure? About. I don't want to get yelled at again. No, no. This we have good PC here. Or RS. I'm sure these are all locals. Oh, there's a dead hooker here. I'm gonna check her her body for drugs. Hold on. I don't think she's dead. I think she... the woman's sunbathing. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I don't want her to call her a dead hooker. Yeah, she's definitely not dead. What the uh, fuck? She's saying there's no drugs inside her. Well, she's not dead yet. That's the problem. They don't, don't, I mean, you told me that, you taught me this, Star. Don't they put him in after she's dead? Well, what about that hooker over there? She dead. Go check. Wait, why do you think every woman in here is a hooker? Well, this is Hooker Park. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I didn't know it was Hooker Park. My apologies, sir. I had no idea. Did you know this is Hooker why Park? Why am I always getting questioned? You guys oh, don't is... come on duty for months. I've sit here in the trenches and the gutters. Wait, what do you mean you guys? I've been on duty every day for like seven hooker, months. What the fuck is she Park, talking Park, about? Obviously. How would you not know that? Great, now my hooker disappeared. You know what? You guys are you guys are pissing me off now. I wasn't questioning. I wasn't no, questioning anything. Uh, no, five Tracy strike points for both oh, of you. Go, I'm, I'm go, done. Go, go. There's a goddamn another drug sale at the fucking gazebo. We're gonna go the opposite way. You continue up that way, just look for speeding cars leaving that area. I'm gonna go the other way. <laughs> Right. I'm going up here of my own volition. I think he might try to like. I have two cut cars across. leaving the area. They are suspicious in nature. Are they speeding or what? No, but I just don't like them. Fuck that tree in particular. Yeah, fuck it. It's just a cactus anyway. It'll grow back. They are fleeing me. We are northbound Mount Vinewood Drive. <sighs> are you gonna come help me or? Yeah, I'm fuck. I'm going. All right, continuing northbound Mount Vinewood Drive. Pretty sure the other one's getting away because he's the drug dealer, and this one's slow because he's not the drug dealer. Damn it. Continuing northbound Mount Vinewood Drive. Left, westbound, Zancuda, Barranca. Continuing down, Zancuda, Barranca. Yeah, those calls are like people leaving. Mm -hmm. It's very consistent, so I don't know why people are saying get in there and scope Left, the area. Out. Southbound, Tonga the are gone. Drive. Yeah, it's like, it's a handoff, right? It's like, roll up, yo, G, what's up? All right, here's your drugs. All right, peace, G. And then they just drive away. I mean, it's a drug sale. Continuing southbound Tongva Drive. At least that's what I've gathered from this. Otherwise, I mean, the only way we can try and predict is, you know, like I said, that the dispatcher, Jana, she made a really good map Continuing of these 30. Like, I know you saw the one with the red and blue dots. Four. That Hold one, on. I think, more correlates with, like, street uh, racing nine. activity and stolen. Hey, but. pull over. Anyway. Hey. Yeah, 
I get Stop. what you're saying. Okay, he's on I think the, la the, the last tab uh, on that whole sheet is like related to drug only 37s. You know what I mean? So we right. just have to kind of orbit. Maybe if a man tells him to pull over, he'll do it. Okay. All right, I'm coming. All right, we're now transitioning southbound North Rockford Drive. Oh. Nice. Left, off road, eastbound, behind some uh, houses. Parallel to North Rockford. All right, hold on. I honestly think stuck. working the, the, the downtown Vinewood and Hallwick area would, would be beneficial on foot. He's on the roof of somebody's garage. Ah, the tile is going to be so fucked up. All right, he's going to be exiting back onto uh, North Rockford Drive. He's coming out right now in front of you. Got eyes, he's making a left. He's found Ace Jones lower. Oh, I thought I could break that. Thank God I turned. Continuing eastbound, Ace Jones lower. He's coming to a dirt path, heading down towards Richmond Street near the university. He is on the phone, by the way. Copy. Continuing eastbound, uh, parallel with Richmond. Exiting onto picture perfect. Now eastbound behind the Richmond Hotel. Are you telling him to pull over? Uh, no, we haven't told him to. I don't think he will, though, at this point. Oh, uh, we'll try, because I think he might be waiting for a man to say something to him. Hey, Those pull the over! LSPD. Pull, pull the over! Car over. <laughs> oh, that might be working. Uh, didn't appear to work. Left, northbound, off-road. Parallel with South Mo Milton now, westbound, through the backyards. You know, that's weird. Now, why wouldn't he pull over? I don't understand that. Still off road through the backyards out towards, I believe this is gonna be Mad Wayne Thunder. 410 is stuck, we're BCB lasting south. Mad Wayne Thunder. You make a left, you went south here, but then you made a left or a right somewhere. Right to the right? No. That's God. really annoying. What is? The fucking, like... I gotta go get some gas. Loosen yeah, that it's all good. Uh, that was really unfortunate for us. Damn. <laughs> that was... I mean, I don't like to say ratty, but, like... Uh, yeah, that kind of that fucked me up, dude. Hey, did you guys try calling Rami? Uh, he like three one one to us. Saying that, like, Mando stole his car and shot Bundy with it. But we know that's not true because Mando was talking to Bundy behind the building. Well, yeah, we know that that's of. not true, obviously. I don't know. Oh, man. What the hell? Oh, There's no ATM at the gas station. That wasn't F for a second. That was weird. Tried to like bounce this this attempted murder towards Brenda to give her like a, I don't know not not an easy case or anything but like a decent case with a decent lead. Guess what happened? Did she? Who? That woman that just left? Go go get her. I'll stay with yeah, her. That lady go ahead. just put her shit away or put a sledgehammer. I think I got a, I think I might have a, somebody that we want in custody here. 
Uh, fleeing northbound. Uh, allegedly beat up woman at the apartments with a hammer. Alright, I just gotta get some gas. Okay. Ma'am, I need you to step Hello. out of the car, please. <clears throat> Alright, let's course. get you on the sidewalk. Alright. You just beat somebody with a sledgehammer? Yeah, she tried to hold me up for $50. 422, I'm switching to 1 to get 52s here. Okay, copy, okay. Um, give me a minute. Alright, ma'am, you are being detained at this time, okay? I understand. Gonna figure out what's going on. She tried to hold you up for $15? She held me up for 50. Jesus. She pulled out the gun and said, uh, "Do you want to buy clock and bell for 15 for 50 dollars?" I said okay. no, and then she pulled out a gun. And then you beat her with a sledgehammer. She put the gun away and looked at her phone, so I beat her with a sledgehammer. Yes. Fuck. You got that sledgehammer on you. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take that sledgehammer off of you, just uh, for my own safety. That, that's literally for my safety. No, it's for my own right now, since you beat people with sledgehammers. What about the gun that was pointed at me? We don't know that. We got a witness down there saying that uh, you beat her with a sledgehammer, so I'm trying to understand the story here. She asked you if you wanted to buy a sandwich for $50 and then you beat her with a hammer? No, that's not what happened. Oh, sorry. She uh, sorry. She pulled out a gun after she asked you if you wanted to buy a sandwich. Exactly. <laughs> Why? I was, I was, I literally came out of my apartment going to my car and she ran up to me and said, do you want to buy Cluck and Bell for $50? I said no and she pulled out a gun <laughs> and said, you can win more, we need the money. So she put away the she put her gun away, and pulled out her phone, and while she was looking at her phone, <laughs> I hit her with the sledgehammer. That's literally what happened. This is that, okay. This is this is really uh, this sounds ridiculous. Uh, it's the apartments. I know I know it's, it's the ridiculous. apartments, but this woman's trying to sell you food and then pulled out a gun on you and then just was like, you know what? I'm gonna put my gun away. Let me let me check my iPhone real quick to see if I got any. You know, to see to see if I can play some peggle in the middle of me pointing a gun at someone, and then you hit her in the head with a fucking sledgehammer. <laughs> like, there was literally no other way I could have gotten out of that situation. Four times. Four if I if I would have got yeah, if I would have in the car. I, I, yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to fill you in that it was a random attack. It was just some woman who truly didn't want Rivers' chicken. She was offering it was crazy or something. So, here's here's unrelated. the thing. This this woman is saying that like. That River was like, you want a $50 sandwich? And this woman's like, no. And then River took out her gun and said, you can Venmo me the money for it. And then she like put away the the gun and took out her phone. And then this woman hit her in the head with a sledgehammer. 10-4, I've got two witnesses here saying that like she was, I mean, there was no threat from River's side. I, I never heard anything about a gun. I, I got witnesses saying that River was talking to the woman and then she pulled out a sledgehammer and hit her, so... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming River has a gun, right? Uh, give me a moment. I, I haven't actually patted her down yet because EMS is still treating her. Yeah, so no one there has witnessed this woman with a, with a like, take out a gun? Uh, stand by. No, the, wit the two witnesses I spoke to only mentioned the suspect hitting River with a sledgehammer and pulling it out, and then her putting it away before we got there and fleeing. They didn't mention anything about River having a gun out before him, but I will uh, speak to her. Okay, well, I mean, she did, like, flee when we showed up, too, so, I mean, there's a lot of uh, circumstantial evidence here that doesn't make her story check out. All right, ma'am, let me just read you... Let me just read you your Miranda real quick. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand your rights as I've just read you today? Yes. Okay. So, obviously, you hit this woman with a hammer. 
and I have heard her down there selling chickens um, or chicken sandwiches, whatever. But the, the two eyewitnesses state that they never saw this, this woman pull out a gun. They only saw you uh, randomly attack her with the hammer while she was talking. Why would I just randomly attack someone with I don't, I don't know. I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why, why that would, why that would happen. And also, you, you, why did you just stay in the area after, like, we showed up and you kind of fled and that made me immediately, you know, chase after you because I thought I didn't you were... do anything wrong. Well. It was self-defense. You say that, but I got, I got witnesses stating that that's not the case, is my point. So do you want to, well, do you want to they, tell me what they, actually are, happened? Are they friends of hers or what? Um... I don't believe so. I mean, we could find out, I guess. So, so she didn't have a gun on her. Uh, she might have a gun. She's being treated by EMS right now. All right, I'm going. I am. Uh, sorry, we're we're in the middle of like a uh, like an attack at the uh, apartments that just took place. That's all right. I gotta go. All right. Yeah, I don't know why you would randomly. Pro I mean, you're just kind of walking around with a sledgehammer. I only saw like a sledgehammer on your, on, on your person to begin with. I'm a, I'm a restaurant owner. And yeah, this is your car. Yeah, I mean, this is a. I had. I don't have a criminal record. I don't. Twenty-two. Do anything like that. The victim has been transported by EMS. I don't even have a speeding ticket. All right, give me a second again. Yeah, I... River, River River was armed. She denies having a gun out or having a weapon of any sort. She her story about uh, offering the woman chicken and a sandwich and all that does match up. River said that she offered her chicken and the woman was like, "No, I don't want that." Uh, and there may have been some insults or anything, but the eyewitnesses here both, I just talked to them again, didn't try to, you know, like, feed them a story. Neither one mentioned River being armed or having a gun. I guess my issue is that this, how did this woman know that River had a gun if that was the case? I mean, is she just assuming that River had a gun? I mean, she's a block. Yeah, but... They said it also shoot apartments and rob people. I mean, it, it's a safe assumption. I, 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 I get what you're going with, but this woman, why did she flee then if she was wronged by River? Uh, I, I don't know, but she she also doesn't have any like priors or anything. She has a completely clean record, and she like owns a restaurant. Okay, here's another question: If someone did have a gun in their hand, would you swing a sledgehammer at them, Bob? Well, she said that like River like put it away and started going on her phone. Okay, so she just admitted to assaulting her. If she's not armed at that point, and she's under no threat. Why did you try to cave her head in with this? You know what I mean? It doesn't. None of that adds up. She fled after trying to cave yeah. her head with the sledgehammer. I mean, yeah, okay, great. If she didn't have a gun Honestly, the, uh, at you, the, the two eyewitnesses is probably, like, more solid than, you know, anything else. Yeah, copy. I, I gotta go get the other one's information. I'll be honest, they walked off on me, but, uh, I have yeah, one we, of them Yeah, we need sure. their names, because that's, what, uh, that's what's gonna hold in court. If her he said, she said is, is multiple copy. witnesses. Is, is, does she want, like, a, a bench trial or something? Like No, no, but, I mean, I, you know, like I said, she has no priors. She has a clearly clean yeah. record. This is her car. Like, she's she has a lot of food. She owns a restaurant. So whatever this was... Is like this would be her first offense and I, I want to make sure that we're thorough about it and not just like yeah whatever fuck you i i just thought about something you said she owns a restaurant do you know what restaurant it is yeah miss which restaurant do you own it's up and adam uh and up and adam uh. sorry about that i had a civilian walk what's up me. legendary um, how do we not know that this isn't some sort of like fast food war thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, what if it, okay, she, all right, she's all right. peddling Cluck and Bell in the all parking right. lot? Ma'am, I gotta, and, I gotta she, take Remember, you she in. even tried to sell us. You, you, shit you are, before. you are under arrest. So like, I, are you I'm, serious? Even peddling food I, out I am Up and Adam comes yes. here. She's like, hey, why are you selling? You know, Watch like, don't head. be out here selling food. And she's like, I'm yeah. a block, yo, or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I got. No, I could, I could see that happening. That's why I, I'm. The uh, street apartment. Yeah, I know. She's in the back of my car. I'm gonna call in a uh, a tow for this. Copy. If you could come give me a ride uh, once you're done with that, that'd be great. Because I've got a, a bus full of people playing music. Uh, I, I don't know. A lot. Of, I, I I don't want to be here anymore.
I'd make more money working at Wigwam Burger. Okay. All right, miss. Like I mentioned, you uh, you have been advised of your rights. Look, I, I I don't know what the fuck happened down there. I'm I'm keen to believe that you know a restaurant lady isn't beating people with a hammer, but I, I got witnesses down there saying that they never saw a gun. Um, and maybe this is maybe this like a food wars thing that's happening. Maybe like you don't like no. that she's selling food. And you... No. Okay. I never met her before in my life. Do you know what kind of gun it was? No, I don't. Okay. Like, like what it looked it, like? It was a, it was a, it was a handgun. I know that. Yeah, but like, do you know what model by chance? No. Okay. It, it looked grayish. That's all I know. Like gray? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, that's what a lot of guns look like. Alright, well, I'm here. What is this? What? She's wearing my suit. Oh, look at you in the back of a cop car going to jail. Good day, officer. You, thanks for getting this piece of junk off the street. Shut up. <laughs> why again? Why did you? Why did you flee, Miss? Um, did you not see us? Pull up. I didn't see you at all. that ran over a motorcycle oh, no i mean like how did that how how is how are we moving how is the car okay oh, well God. skill obviously lucas skill sorry I, I forget i'm with the former chief of police there's a police station named after him i, I forgot sorry sir it's been a long day of course of course i right, watch your head miss since you have no priors i'm not gonna assume that you're gonna run away Thank you. Impressive. How'd you get? I don't know how he survived that. Still, my chief Alex Wicked Bob's too. Sick. Let's go. Yeah, we gotta check out Bob Smith PD. We haven't even seen it yet. Okay, ma'am. Would you like me to get a uh, lawyer for you to uh, represent yes, you? Yes, please. Okay. Just checking your pockets one more time. Is it uh, Miss Targent? Oh, that's that's correct. Yes. Alan Crane or Titus Schwinghammer. Mm -hmm. If they're available, or Anna Swallows. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we should have somebody. Hey, Sarge. What what is this uh, lady's name? Uh, Miss Targent. Miss Targent. She owns the uh, Up and Adam. 
Uh, yeah, I will be waiting for you in the lobby. Right, bye -bye. Alan Crane's on his way down here. I'll go wait for him. Also, I just I thought about something. I sh you should probably know about it. So, I mean, River did have a weapon on her when I first her. I mean, she's going in an ambulance, so we got to pat her down for safety anyway. Um, I removed it from her person. Uh, you know, there were no casings or anything on scene that would indicate any sort of weapon use, and there's no witnesses saying that it was brandished. But because I didn't charge her with possession, I, you know, I mean, I'm sure the lawyers are like, well, why wasn't the other party? You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't we, have to we, know that that happened. Got, well, either. we still got time to press uh, criminal like uh, possession on her. Yeah, that's true. You know? And yeah, that's yeah. Actually. We just we ran really the serial press... and just, you know, it's not like she went to jail and we never gave her a charge. Like, just yeah, I just don't want it like, to hey. become. Yeah, you taught me fruit of the poisonous tree, you know, so I'm just trying to make sure I'm keeping that in mind. Yes, sir. Yes, you'll you'll run into right. that. Yeah. So, yeah, All we'll right. go grab it from YouTube. Welcome Pop. to the Immortal Army. Okay, miss, we got a lawyer coming down here. Uh, which one? Uh, Crane. All right, thank you. Hopefully it was just a big misunderstanding. How, how, how did the witnesses not see her public gun? It was it was right above my face. They just that's they just said they never saw her or brandish they, a firearm or any capacity. They, they just they, they just saw chose that to that to see the gun in, in her in her in her hands. I. I I don't know if they chose to or not. That's just, you know, we, when, when we deal with these situations, I want the statements, usually the, the best, you know, best evidence we have. I, and then the I circumstances would, I would have just it. randomly beat someone with a sledgehammer. I literally bought it for self-defense. And I understand that. And I mean, even if you're saying that you, you know, she, she put the gun away and then you beat her, you know, at that point, I, I think, you know, basically Ask the question of why didn't you just try to escape? You know, uh, that act in itself can be considered, you know, a felony. So it, that that and that's up to you know really the court's interpretation at that point. I don't I don't really know what happened, but the fact that we got two people that said they never saw a gun, you know, I just have to follow through and and do my job, my side of things. I understand.
What is, what is this copy pasta I just saw fucking Catholic? Oh, the hell is this? <laughs> it's like the nerd face with the point up emoji, and it's like several. Can you check VINs? Can you voice ID? Is that in the SOPs? ARs for this? Are you allowed that many cops? Wow, are you pitting or is that RAM? Are you sure this car is A+, plus? Air 1 for this? Don't you need a reason to sniff a car? Did that taser go through the windshield? Are we playing bumper cars? Jesus. <laughs> well, how, how was your day otherwise? Uh, my day, my day was all right, miss. Not very uh, eventful, if I'm being completely honest with you. Were you on your way up to the uh, the restaurant? I was about to open the booth. I see. That's that's where I was gonna go. Right. Up to Polito. Hey, I got I got a pretty funny Reddit comment last night. Here, I'll, uh, I'll play it. I'll play it back for you guys. Ready? Now, Bobby is a notorious hardest and super arrogant who doesn't Bobby. listen to logic and is so stubborn. Right. You cannot. <laughs> hello, Mr. Crane. Oh, hello, Mr. Crane. Hello, right. man. Hey, Bob. Can we talk over here for a second, Bob? Uh, sure. All right, so what the hell's going on? I got to be honest with you. I'm a little shocked. I only know this woman is like a farmer's market type person. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a little perplexed myself as she has no priors for the most part. Actually, for the most part, no priors. Um, We we got a injured person's call over at the apartments. We show up. Uh, This lady behind me is standing over um another woman who's on the ground uh, pleading out. Uh, We... Pull up in our cars, I get out, the lady behind me jumps into her car, uh, reverses it, takes off, while the lady on the ground is like, ah, she beat me with a sledgehammer, ah. So I was like, oh shit, okay. so I chase after her. You know, she's hauling ass, but eventually she slows down, stops, I'm like, alright, I need to detain you, because you obviously just had a confrontation at the apartments. You know, I find this sledgehammer on her, which I guess she used to attack uh, the lady at the apartments. From from her perspective, she's saying that this this lady came up to her asking her if she wants to buy some sandwiches. Uh, and then uh, when she told her no, this lady takes out a gun and points it at her and then says, you can Venmo me the money for it. Um, for whatever odd reason, I still don't know why the woman with the gun puts the gun away. And that's when Miss Tarjan behind me takes out a sledgehammer, hits her in the head. And uh, according to her, tries to flee as that was her only option at that time. Uh, we got two corroborating witness statements, however, that are saying the contrary. Uh, they believe that it was an unprovoked attack. They watched the, I don't know, conversation or the interaction take place. They never saw a gun being pulled. They only saw the sledgehammer hit the woman in the head. Uh, so we got, I believe we got two statements, Luke, or just one for, for that taking place. Luke, are you, you with me? Yeah, uh, I was not. Uh, okay. I, I have one statement. Sorry okay. about that. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, yeah. It's fine. One statement. All right. So I we mean, one statement. Same, same the difference, country. really. Um, okay. And gosh, any illegal possessions? Just the sledgehammer you just confiscated? Just the sledgehammer is all I confiscated. It, it's a tough one. I mean. And what's the charge? Assault with a deadly or? Yes. Okay. All right, let me talk to her and see if I make some sense out of this. Because to be honest with you, I'm not sure I fully think I'm getting the. I I don't I don't know I don't, the full you know, story I, here either way. You know, so I, I'm, I, yeah. I show up to those things. It's a he said, she said. But when I have exactly. a witness saying, "Hey, I I saw the whole thing. I never saw a gun." You know, then then I have to start filing for an arrest because then well, I, I can't. Well, really... given that I already know who the person was that uh, was hit, because I actually saw her on the ground next to the ambulance as I was leaving the apartments. Sure. 
Um, was this person that was the witness associated with them in any way? Uh, who who was who was the name of the uh, witness? No, I I don't. It was I don't believe they're associated. Not that I okay. I would known of. No. Right, yeah, okay. it wasn't. Just it wasn't like it. a gang of. It was a random person who Got ran it. up from like behind some cars and said, "I saw okay. this stuff happen." Uh, I will say this: she also, your client, it said under Miranda, admitted to hitting Miss Cheapers with the sledgehammer after Cheapers put the gun away. Oh yeah. So see, yeah, that's that's where I'm. That's the other issue as well. Is that when, why, would there, why, why would the gun ever? Why would the gun ever go away? Yeah. And that, well, why would the gun ever go away? And why would the person with the gun not end up with the sledgehammer? Yeah, I don't know. I was confused about that. Like, why the gun went away? Why she got on her phone? And then why Miss, you know, Miss Tarjan decided to like then hit her, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that moment. Okay. So we're on the same page. Yeah. Give me a minute. Sure. Oh, hey. By the way, did you talk to Hayes? Hayes, from the mechanic shop. No, no hey, but your officer. The officer. Oh, I don't believe so. No. I have okay, not seen I'll him. talk to you about it after. Oh boy. Alan Crane, I'm in the cell rep. Can I call you back? All right, thank you, Kirk. Right. Dude, what am I going to do? I'll be honest, I don't even really want to charge her with this shit. It's some <clears> stupid <throat> fight over a chicken sandwich, and this woman is <laughs> but she's going to admit under Miranda that she slammed somebody with a sledgehammer with no gun out. That's Luca, just dude. not Luca cracks and going to go well, you know? Yeah, Luca, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, too, don't want to be uh, charging sledgehammer lady, but... Uh... You know, when uh, there's somebody else that sees it, it's kind of like it's our due diligence to follow up and charge them and then let the courts decide on whether, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something happened, didn't happen, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I'm just I'm just confused. I was just like, yeah, I was like... I, she asked me to buy a chicken sandwich. I said no, and she pulled a gun on me. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, really? Yeah, she's like, yeah, she it's the apartment. And she's like, and then she like... Randomly took out her phone. That's when I took out my sledgehammer and whacked her. I'm like, so she just was like in the middle of, hey, you know, put your hands up. Give me the money for the sandwich. She's like, oh, let me check my uh, Peggle playthrough real quick. And then uh, <laughs> gets fucking whacked in the head with Doink. a sledgehammer. Yeah. Fucking Looney Tunes bonk. Like, holy shit, man. He's already said his mind on you before you even speak. He's the epitome of what it is to those. be. I want a fucking sledgehammer. This you way, jumping because over a wall I said so. Like, I'm like, come here, bitch. And, and no, I'll not try to counter your argument because no, I am no, right. No, I don't have to prove it. It's like talking please, to a officer, wall. Don't hit me. This was literally from last That's night so where people ramped a car into prison. Is it even legal to carry a sledgehammer? Is that? We don't really have a charge for uh, sledgehammer, right? I don't think right? we do. Literally, they ramped a car into prison and I said, <laughs> hey, I, this is not legal. I have to charge you. And then I get hit this with, is this is my way or the highway. To live in the damn what the fuck was this person thinking was going to happen? Like, actually. All right. Um, so she is reiterating to me that she definitely had a gun pulled on her. Um, and I'll be honest with you. The story does sound plausible the way she told it. She told me, essentially, um, River pulled a gun on her when she was leaving the apartments, said, uh, buy some sandwiches for me for $50. And when Ms. Tarjan said she didn't have $50 cash, River said, okay, you can Wenmo it to me. And when Ms. Tarjan sort of pretended like she was going to do that, River pulled out her phone to check if she had been Wenmoed. <laughs> and that's when Ms. Tarjan hit her with the sledgehammer and then uh, made her escape. So her story is that it was mm. a, you know, a typical kind of block tax situation. And uh, she essentially tried to avoid it by the Wenmo gambit, saying, I don't have the cash. And she used the opportunity of River pulling out her phone and therefore putting the gun away to, uh, you know, take advantage of the situation. Now, I don't know if I inherently agree with that, because honestly, I pretty much pay them $100 every time I see them just to get them away from me. Um, but that's more of a wisdom issue, not a legal issue. Mm -hmm. uh, now, in terms of uh, her, you know, fleeing, I guess my question would be, you know, did she run from you? while she would have heard the sirens or when she heard the sirens did she stop mm, i think she probably didn't see like i uh i don't even remember if i had my sirens on i think um it was just more it was just honestly like more like why why did she like leave instead of like calling like hey i just got like somebody tried to rob me you know what i mean it just yeah. uh it looks really suspicious but we had our lights in we pulled in i just got out luca got out we we're trying to figure out what's going on by the time that we saw the woman you know on the ground the other lady jumped in her car and reversed out so right i will really, say the only uh, the only thing i can say in her defense in terms of leaving is 
for example, when I work like the legal advice booth, I get a lot of questions of like, hey, can you prep me for what they're going to ask me when I get a gun license? And one of the things I always make sure that people understand is, is that part of Stand Your Ground is the 911, you know, cooperating, telling them what happened. Specifically, I use deadly force against someone per Stand Your Ground. I'm reporting it and I'm like complying with your investigation. But what I do tell them is you don't have to do that from the scene of the incident if you feel there still could be potential danger from others around you. You are able to leave the scene and then make that call. Um, but I'm not sure whether that, you know, applies in the situation. I'll just say that is one example as to why I think someone could legitimately leave a scene and still have the intent to, you know, do the proper protocols. I see what you're saying. Especially yeah. Especially at the apartments, you know, with the block towers yeah, and all that. I guess. I mean, there's, there wasn't any other blocks around at that. I honestly, like, I, I honestly believe that that could have happened. Like, no yeah, idea. me too, which is the only reason why I'm bringing it up. You know me. If I don't yeah. believe someone, usually I'll just tell them, plead guilty, you're full of it's shit. It's like, would, would, somebody her, from, <laughs> would somebody from the blocks do something this dumb? And would and then the other question is, would somebody that has a clean record and is a business owner do something just as equally dumb? Yeah. I, I'd almost say probably, yeah. You know, I think, that was, That's where I think they at. were both being dumb, to be fair. Um, just because I don't think she should have taken the sledge out and hit her in the head. Oh, oh I, I agree completely because she failed the duty to retreat. Right. When the gun went away, she could have run away and therefore mm. taken the necessary steps to escape the uh, imminent danger. So I think she failed the duty to retreat. But in terms of this, I'm just thinking there might be like a, uh, gosh, I don't even know with a melee weapon, is there like a negligent disregard or what would that even be? Mm. Reckless endangerment? Most stuff. I, I mean, assault explicitly states, assault with a deadly, sorry, explicitly states, uh, attempts to commit a violent injury on a, per a person with a deadly weapon. Weapons described as firearm, any type of melee, also including motor vehicles. Right. I'm just trying to think of if there's like a... Because right now, like, we're kind of arguing about a binary situation where either she's guilty of an offense or she was defending herself. Right. I'm not really convinced that she's perfectly innocent because I think she did fail the stand your ground protocols. But I also think that in terms of like us both believing that those things are, are possible and in this case, maybe even reasonably plausible. Um, I'm trying to just kind of, you know, examine whether there's a, a lesser charge she could get that can represent that she fucked up, but maybe not be as uh, damaging to her reputation. Yeah. I mean, assault is just, just as equal assault, you know. Attempt, but brand she never, battery. Yeah, just because she the the threat is that she takes out the sledgehammer and then she acts upon the threat by hitting her in the yeah. head with it. I it's, mean, that could be just fair. As much, assault and battery. You know? um, I think assault and battery is reasonable. I think assault with a deadly. I'd say if like I came down here and the person was just like a complete idiot and they had a record and they just did something stupid and then wanted me to buy a bullshit story. I'd tell you, yeah, Assault with a Deadly, like, I'll just try to get some leniency on the time. But for her, I think, you know, Assault and Battery would be a whole lot more uh, representative of kind of the incident here. Because technically, yes, what she did was illegal. She did attack someone. She I, could have I, taken I disagree, steps Terbs. to retreat. Um, but given sort of mm -hmm. the mitigating factors of what we believe about her story and her reputation as like a clean record and a business person, I think it might be, you know, if y'all are willing somewhat reasonable to give her the misdemeanor so that way she has a better easier chance of getting an expungement and uh, correcting the mistake down the road yeah i'd be uh, i'd be fine with that there's okay. also a charge for brandishing a non-firearm as well which is a misdemeanor uh public safety charge and i think she hit someone she should get the battery yeah but just being fair i'm not i'm not gonna say either way like that would be obviously a better charge for her, but in terms of, like of course, yeah, the objectiveness of the situation, she definitely hit someone. And yeah, she did more she than just that. brandish. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, unfortunately, there was a there was a victim in this, which is why we're only here in the first yeah. place. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, the, uh, the uh, assault battery is a misdemeanor. It's a eight hundred twenty five dollar okay. fine. I'd, I'd be I'd be happy pressing that. Okay, and uh, any chance that she gets the fine and walks out of here, or are you going to put her to bowling? Yeah, I, th I think she can walk out of here. Uh, I don't okay. you know, assault and batteries, misdemeanor in, in my yeah. book. It's not really something I'm and trying I'm, to... And I'm definitely going to make sure I explain to her how she violated Stand Your Ground so she understands mm. the difference in the future. Because sure. I, I can see a world where she could have satisfied Stand Your Ground here if she had sort of, you know, followed the steps properly. 
Right. Um, so I'll make sure she understands that. Right. Uh, so let's let's go bring it to her. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm fine with that, dude. Like, uh, <laughs> um, so the officers are being extremely reasonable here. Um, I've explained to them, you know, what I think happened, and you know, I think they can both see that that's a reasonable and plausible um, sort of a block tax situation gone wrong. Now, what I will say is, unfortunately for you, uh, you did fail the duty to retreat portion of stand your ground. So although you did feel an imminent fear uh, of danger for yourself, I'm only you know, nice because I got called out. That, when uh when the woman put the gun away and she pulled out her phone uh the duty to retreat and stand your ground would mean that by law you're required to at least take steps to remove yourself so try to run away things like that pasta so funny you it's funnier because it's like pulling out the it's thing. not ironic even though yes you were in fear of your life and all those sort of things because you didn't satisfy the duty to retreat even if everything else has gone perfectly you still would have violated the provisions thankfully this wasn't with a gun so you know you're not looking at a more severe charge. Um, additionally, and I know you were removing yourself from the scene because the apartments can be hectic, but in any kind of situation where you use force, you need to remember that it is a, it is upon you as a requirement and stand your ground to notify the police that you were involved in a use of force scenario uh, and you did injure someone, even if you were within your rights to do so, okay? So in the future, Make sure that you 911, and I understand the officer was pulling you over, so it kind of got mit meld together or merged together there. Sorry, speaking over myself. Um, but in the future, let's say there was no officer chasing you, you would need to make sure you 911. Now, uh, in terms of the charge, the officers have agreed that based on the mitigating circumstances, they're willing to drop assault with a deadly down to assault and battery, because technically what you did was illegal. You did strike someone, um, and, and you did make contact with her and injured her. Now you're not getting the heavier charge because of the reality here. Assault and battery is just a misdemeanor. It can be expunged from your record fairly easily in a couple of weeks from now, and I'll be happy to help you with that, okay? They're also that's, uh, that's fine. they're also willing to let you walk out of here. You won't go, need to go down to Bolingbrook. You'll be able to leave of your own free will. You'll just get the fine and the charge will go on your record, and we'll treat this as a learning moment, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. All right, ma'am. So uh, if you're willing to plead guilty to the charge of assault and battery, we can uh, all move on and uh, learn our lesson, all right? I, I plead guilty. Okay. All right, and once perfect. again, I just want to stress, uh, these two officers have been more than understanding and patient, and I uh, greatly commend them and thank them for that. I understand. Thank you. Uh, before you go, uh, number one, we just sent off the outstanding fine for $825 for the assault and battery. Uh, we will take a picture of you just for our own records uh, for our MDW since you don't currently have a, a picture profile uh, in our registration. Okay. okay uh, and after that, we'll, uh, like uh, Crane here just said, we'll uh, walk you out of here. Okay. All right. Might turn around for me again. Just place your hands uh, against the bars. Oh, and Luca. There we go. Let's go to the picture room, miss. Go, oh, miss, if you don't mind standing against the wall. Sarge, could you help her take your glasses off? Yes. See if we can remove those glasses. Okay, I'll... All good? Yep, all good. You're good to move. All right, ma'am. Follow me again. I'm going to speak to Mr. Crane real quick, by the way. Sure. Uh, I'll wait for, uh, for Bob as oh, well. Okay, all right. Oh. So we can just hang out here. Oh, she's yeah. she can't go through the doors. Cops uh, really hard. Where are you are you staying down here, Crane? It's up, Miss. Uh, uh, we can talk wherever. Here. Go out. I was gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna walk her upstairs. Uh, okay, you can let me out. Front door, sure. Yeah. Sure, you don't want to stay down there. Uh, wherever you guys want me is easier. No, I was gonna say uh, you could you could probably if you just want to hang out down there, we could just keep you down there. Uh, you know, 
I kind of doubt I'll get another cell rep for Tsunami, so I might as well head a little ways out. Change, dude. God damn it. I always forget that you're on my speed. Yep. Luke is on the next gear up. All right. And you are uh, all good to go. All free to leave, okay? Mm -hmm. I just uh, I wanted to make sure. Um, I was trying to rack my brain if I could help y'all that wouldn't break privilege. And I remembered that... Uh, you know, Mackenzie Hayes came to me like two weeks ago and she had uh, like this series of events that she had come upon. Uh, one of them was like a scene near the casino where uh, Chips, Chips, I think, the crackhead, he mm -hmm. uh, he was injured or something. And uh, a bunch of the blocks were on the scene and fled from that scene. And then second to that, there was a situation where... Uh, there was like some twats going out with Tony Block kidnapping uh, Jimmy Yugman and going back and forth with uh, uh, some other people on Twatter. And then from there, there was a situation where like a kidney showed up at the hospital. Uh, and then from there, there was a situation where uh, Otto Delmar and Sophia got shot by the blocks. And this was all communicated to me by, um, by Hayes. And the reason she reached out to me was because I had, you know, well worked with her on a couple cell rep and I kind of offered, you know, if you ever, you know, need any legal advice or anything, give me a call. And she, it wasn't legal advice, but she just gave me a call to see what I thought, how I'd go about it. And I told her she needed to sort of work on the connections between the groups and all that. Um, but that definitely stuck out to me because it seems like that would be some context and backstory for y'all. And if you haven't linked up with her yet, I definitely would try to do that. Yeah, we're... Uh... I think we're pretty much aware of all those incidents at this point. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, they've they've kind of um, <clears throat> they're all having a uh, nice big old fallout as a result of that uh, mm. shit show. So they're kind of probably going to keep going back and forth, and I I doubt they'll yeah, uh, I, ask for our assistance while they're doing it. So I hear you. I, I apologize by the way the other night for kind of freaking out, but. I'll be honest with you. I've dealt with gangbangers and such, but when people are openly on Twitter, standing in the lobby of MRPD, talking about "I'm gonna kill you," like with no reservation, it, it kind of hits a different nerve. Yeah. So, like, so, have you figured that out? I uh, figured what out. Well, I, are you still? I guess are you still retaining for them? Or see, that's the thing. I was never retained for anybody. People don't know what that word means around here, and it kind of pisses me off. I specifically have not signed a single retainer with a single entity in this jurisdiction. And what I told you when you brought me down here for questioning is the same thing as I've told everybody, which is I have a system, and if I've represented you in a cell rep in an actual criminal matter, uh, then I go by the first time that I represented you. And if mm -hmm. I represented you prior to the next person who's asking me to work with them and there's a conflict, then I honor the sort of, you know, the person who came first. And that's the only way I've found to do it fairly. But in terms of an actual retainer, I, I don't have a single Radio signed Radio. contract. I've never taken a single payment for services in this jurisdiction. So the Radio idea that anyone could ever claim them on retainer is to clean upstairs. kind of insane to me, to be honest. Then again, I yeah, don't think well, they know what I mean, retainer means here. Right, but you understand, like, <laughs> when I when I hear that word, it's like, a, right, I have to act under the capacity of uh, what I'm, I get it. you know, forced to do. So if someone says that is on my retainer, you know, yeah, it's like I, bad police I, work if I'm not like following up with that lawyer. I guess. Yeah, I hear you. I but, just need to make it more that, clear. That you're not on retainer. I mean, that's okay. That's I don't know what the it, fuck they're talking about, Mr. Then. Crane. They, is it just they literally don't know what it means? They think <laughs> it means so. Like, mm -hmm. if I have a cell rep with someone and I say, "Hey, if you ever get in any trouble, feel free to call me," just like as a friendly thing, and like, "Here, take my number, and I'll take yours," so that way I know it's not a random call. They think that means retainer, which literally by like any definition of the word it does not it, it, well i'll be honest with you Quinn. um like about a week ago i definitely suspected you of uh uh having some intertwinings with this um shit fiesta but seeing the way that you reacted downstairs uh when push came to shove um you know definitely um qu you know quarreled those thoughts i guess is what i'm trying to say well at the end of the day sir i uh 
again, I'd implore you just talk to any officer I've ever worked with, or even any criminal for that matter. No, trust me, we, we all feel I'm, that I'm, way here. We, we Everyone yeah, here I, has nothing but positive stuff to say about Crane. Granted, yep. they uh, probably annoyed by the uh, filibuster crane that uh, doesn't well, have you got to do your to. job sometimes. No, I understand that. But uh, yep. no, no one here has really ever suspected you of, you know, having ill intentions or uh, acting uh, under the capacity of corruption. So. Yeah, you, uh, you got, you got, you got me pretty good though with the old uh, prisoner's dilemma there. <laughs> Which one? It was a you sly fox. I mean, I, I tell all my clients the cops lie to you, but. I guess I got suckered into your good nature because I actually believed you when you told me it had to be me or Monty. Uh, with and the, then the next day, oh. I get I hear from Adam <laughs> Prince that he got dragged in here too, and I was like, "Son yes. of a bitch, well, prisoner's know, dilemma." People people lie when they're put into uh, exactly a certain situations. I, no, I get it. It's a tactic. I, right. I, hey, it's it, if I was the special prosecutor, I'd say you know, really good job. Well, look, if I said but, uh, if I said somebody else, and we still believe there is somebody else, it's just unfortunate that the uh, only way we can prove that is by going uh, getting a statement from the guy that's now dead. Um, right. Then it's obviously very easy to say it's probably that third guy, and uh, yeah, we're nowhere closer to an investigation. I got to tell you, it uh, I I don't know like. Enzo, did I tell you about his loan idea? I don't believe so. You had a loan idea? Yeah, you you told me. It, it, just listen to this. It's great. Bob. So Enzo, at one point, I'm trying to find the text. I think I actually I might have took his number out for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. At one point, Enzo uh, comes into the city hall, <laughs> and he starts asking me if. Um, what I think about the legality of him doing personal loans in the lobby of the casino. And I'm naturally taken aback. I'm like, excuse me. And he goes, yeah, what if I get you to write up a contract and then I offer people loans in the lobby of the casino and the terms are they have to pay it back within 20 minutes or they owe me 10 K. And I said, well, uh, I mean, you can write a contract for whatever you want, but in terms of enforcing it, you can't use violence or anything to enforce it, and it's very unlikely with those terms that a court would enforce it. Uh, so, yeah, probably not the best idea. And his response was basically like, but it could work, though, right? And I'm like, mm, I mean, in some fanciful world, possibly, but the other problem with that is is that I'm pretty sure the Diamond Casino is the same arm of the entity that runs Diamond Hand Loans and Credit. So that's probably a terrible idea. But yeah, that would yeah. be accurate. So he is uh he was not necessarily the uh the brightest individual, but like I said, he uh as silly as this may sound, it seemed like to me he had a good heart. I don't know. Yeah, um like I keep telling everybody, he um he did not deserve uh to die. Just uh plain oh, and simple. Yeah. Even the information that he gave up to us was not really incriminating under any capacity much stuff that we had already known just more uh oh, solidified our speculation on stuff that we already knew and um it's it's really unfortunate in fact people taking actions against him and killing him uh him probably put a bigger target on them than uh we otherwise would have had so it's a <clears> it's <throat> a it's a damn shame as they say yeah well you're not wrong you know, I guess um, snitches snitches get stitches, as the uh, the streets say, yo. You know, I'm trying to learn some of that lingo, but I'm not cut out for it. <laughs> I don't know if I told you this, but I'm like a Earl Grey T and Billy Joel type of guy. Uh, a lot of this hippity hop and such, I, I just, I, I can't really adapt. There's a lot of things I'm good at learning, but I'm struggling with some of the slang. They, um... Has anything come come for you after this whole, you know, situation last time? Were you were you asked uh, any questions? I guess. I mean, you don't have to tell me. It's obviously something. Nah, I'm just wondering I, I if we have to worry out. about your safety as well as the safety of everyone now that's involved with this. I was freaked out at first, um, but I think honestly, once I just like didn't respond to any phone calls or texts. I think they probably just moved on, and by they I mean uh, uh, the mother, because it seems like, from what I understand, uh, she was yelling the names of a whole bunch of lawyers, 
Uh, so I think I got lucky on that sense. Probably just like kind of, you know, stayed still long enough that the direction shifted. Well, you know, we had to keep doing this like lawyer shuffle thing. And one of the guys that we had down there, the, the kid essentially was like, fuck off. You're not my lawyer. Get out. Uh, oh, and, and the mother upstairs was like, get him his correct lawyers. So we're like, okay. So we kicked the lawyer out here like, hey, no hard feelings, blah, blah, blah. Then after we deal with the situation, the kid gets sent off. I go upstairs. This, this lawyer is now in the chief's office, and he's like acting as if he's representing the family. And Sophia's standing there, and I'm, I'm like, didn't you kick this lawyer Alex. out? Did you have me Alex kick him out challenge. because he was to not represent your son? And now he's standing here asking us like, you know, legal questions and what we were doing down there with the kid, you know, what, how how we were carrying ourselves as law hey, enforcement. And sorry, just... just to interject real quick, I just want to make a note here. There's literally nothing in the Constitution or anything in the Penal Code that deals with juveniles. So, in the absence of anything dealing with juveniles, I'm pretty sure they're just adults under the law. Like, absent some express statute that says juveniles are handled this way or they have different punishments. I don't understand why anyone's actually giving a shit about his age. We literally don't have any provisions in this jurisdiction's uh, penal code, legislation, right. uh, constitution, nothing. When, in fact, yeah, that's... when that whole thing with the scared straight program occurred with Carter and uh, Press and Everly and Warden Fontaine, uh, the only thing I was concerned about was civil liability. <clears throat> yeah, it's RP. At the end of the day, I mean... Yeah, but you're, you're saying is if what, what we're doing right now isn't like RP. Oh. I mean, y'all can obviously have your own sensibilities and morals and whatnot. You're saying just pretend, yo. The but road we already are. That's what this whole entire server is. I tell you there is nothing distinguishing him under the eyes of the law in this jurisdiction from any other person. Right. No, I mean, we're, um, just, just listen to my comment here. We're, uh, we're aware of that. Um, like, uh, we've, we spoke to, uh, spoke to the district attorney about this sort of stuff. Yeah. What what really came down for me was the fact that I don't think Jimmy really is capable of representing himself. Uh, oh, he's just not like. No, is he I just dumb? I just don't think he can. You know, he doesn't he I doesn't think... talk like normal kids oh, or boy. adults do, and so a lot of what I hear him say down there when I when I talk to him is, "Mommy says I need to do this." Mommy says I should plead fifth. You know, and I have to say, Jimmy, like I understand that, but. Right now, mommy's not here. I need you to tell me what you want to do. What do you want to do, Jimmy? And mommy says get lawyer, you know. So yeah, I kind of have to rely on on his guardians or his parents to facilitate the process. Unfortunately, hey, uh, but it is not a legal so, requirement. So you're right about tip. that. Hot tip. You know, Tony Andrews is his guardian. <laughs> From what I understand, there's a lot of guardians. There's like four or five right, mothers I'm just saying. and uncles. Now I'm getting uncles in the picture that also are having him participate in all these different uh, criminal activities. Worst part is also having him take the fall for those criminal activities, which I think is just despicable, right? His, his uncle yeah. Ray had him steal a car from the airport, gave him the lockpick for it, sent him off. Wait, Uncle Ray? Yeah. Uh, Romanov. Raymond Romanov. I uh, never heard of the man. And then again, I don't know a lot of people here, so... Gives him the lockpick, has him steal a car, right? The kid takes off, starts crashing and everything. We had to, like, box him in. It was this giant shit show. He ran over an EMS worker in that car. His mom comes in and says... ran me over. Ran over Luca, too, but that's beside the yeah, point. fuck me, right? Uh, mom comes in, she's like, Oh, yeah, no, there were some criminals at the airport, and we asked them if we could borrow the car they had already stole. And I'm like, why did Jimmy have a lockpick, Sophia? Oh, we gave, him a toy, we gave him a toy lockpick. Isn't that right, Uncle Ray? And Uncle Ray's like, yeah, I gave him a toy. Uncle Ray, the guy that robs banks, is over here standing. I didn't know he had a real lock. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing is fucking oh, despicable. So I don't trust those people with a 10-foot pole, but like I said, if if there's no one else to represent him, I, he's down there. You know, he can't. Whatever, whatever they told so what'd, him. So what'd you give him? Uh, he ended up getting, I mean, he, he, he got, uh, um... Running over the EMS worker, so it was like, uh, I forget, assault, assault and deadly, I think, was something that he got. I don't think so. He's got sale of drugs and criminal possession class two. Oh, that was from his prior arrest. Uh, wait. Did y'all not charge did, him for running over an EMS? Good lord. No, no. Did you, did you not 
uh, like sign the bottom uh, of the paperwork and check the box. Yeah, it's not there processed. you go. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, what the hell? Oh, that's right. I gave him a attempted second, which is a charge that we mm. don't see very often, but fits the uh, bill, I guess. Attempted you gave him second, attempted huh? Second degree. Oh, shit. yes. It's better than when we had I, attempted. I'll tell you what. Second degree manslaughter. If I get um. If I get into a judge spot, the first thing I'm going to do... Well, okay, hold on. Re 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 rewind. The first thing I'm going to do after rewriting the entire penal code with a splainer is uh, put in murder in the third. Y'all need that charge. Oh, my God, do y'all need that charge. The depraved heart murder, because there is so much shit that goes on in this jurisdiction that does not have like a specific intent component where someone is just being a complete jackass. And to see them get a negligence charge makes zero sense. I mean, like breaking into a prison. Oh God! Yeah, like, there are so many things that fall under murder in the third here that would fit are so you... much better. Be but y'all are stuck between murder two or literally like assault with a deadly weapon or like reckless endangerment, which doesn't serve y'all at all. Yep. Anywho. Anyway, sorry to talk your ears off. No, you're good. Um. All right. Okay. Uh. I can't believe that woman went to jail or got a charge. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm she I'm surprised too. She uh, had no priors, but it's just the the circumstance, you know. Yeah, people need to learn to just give the fifty dollars for fuck's sake. Somebody who hit River with a sledgehammer at the apartments. It was block tax gone wrong. Yeah, completely unrelated to. All right. Anything involved oh. In that. Right, well, it sounds like y'all. Uh, yeah, it sounds like y'all got the info. I just wanted to make sure y'all connected with Hayes because, thank you, sir. Uh, seemed a little relevant. Mm -hmm. All right, Crane. All take right, care. see y'all around. I have a quick question. Yeah. It, I, I don't know if this is an error on someone else's side, but can you look up uh, Von Hardick under profiles? V O N space Hard Dick, one word. And there's two names that pop up. One is just Von Harddick, and the other is Timmy Von Harddick. Spell the, the the last name is spelled wrong, uh, but he has a zero on his state ID, and I'm wondering if somebody booked Von Harddick and didn't add his first name. Uh, only reason I'm asking is because he tweeted asking to talk to Ron Lagarski or some shit, and I'm just confused on if I should fix this since I've it's come to my attention. Is it under so two, two different people, people under the same state ID? Is that what it is? No, one one is, uh, if you actually just search uh, profiles Vaughn space hard, they'll both pop up and you'll be able to see what I mean. No, I I think Timmy Vaughn <clears throat> Harddick, that looks like a completely different, there's no two Ds in the last of Harddick, and, and it's Vaughn space Harddick. So the reason it's a, it's confusing to me is because the oh, thought comes I... from Timmy space Vaughn space hard dick with the two. Well, what does this dude's what does this dude's legal government ID say on it? Timmy Vaughn hard dick. Oh well, then he's Timmy Vaughn hard dick. He's not Vaughn. Oh, I see. So I should change. Is... Yeah. A ask ask this dude. He's ever been charged with a crime before? Has he ever been I, charged? I don't have him. I, he the, oh. the Vaughn hard dick has felony <laughs> trespassing and has last yeah, name recently. That's, that's, that's why I brought, it came up to me. Timmy Von Harddick ID zero has not been seen recently. I'm thinking it's just a clerical error. Yeah, this guy is, the, the Von Harddick profile doesn't have an like a CID number. Yeah, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. Yeah. What the fuck is that? And the twat comes from uh, Timmy Von Harddick. Yeah. So you're looking for Harddick, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Has Bob seen, uh, speaking of hard dick, has Bob seen uh, the memorial yet? The what? The no. oh, memorial. Shit. Kratos of Sparta lives. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, you forgot the bitch. <laughs> I think he's just live. Oh, he's live. Wait, what the fuck is... Oh, no. What is this? Kimmy Young Girl. Oh, no. What's wrong with that? Oh, no. Her thing is, Kimmy, I want to have fun! Exclamation point, exclamation point. 
I mean, who would that be? Oh no, I don't know. Why? Why is that? Why is that freaking out? Probably no, that, no real person. particular reason, I <laughs> guess. It's just somebody's name, Bob. You don't have to get all weird right, about yeah, it. Right? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, we would be. We should be more scared of young woman. <laughs> Young woman. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I mean, if we're on this train, there's also a Yuri Young. I'm Welcome oh, to God. <clears throat> I have a uh, a real name for Bloodbath. It's Billy Senora. But apparently oh. he, has, he has not oh, been around today. Oh, fuck. That dude fucking... I shot that dude one time. He tried to stab I me. Crazy. I fucking, I fucking domed him. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Holy shit! I know exactly who that guy is. Yeah, yeah, because I remember the, blo I remember the blocks. They were all in that shootout with me. And I'm like, get him, bloodbath, get him. They were yelling, yeah, trying to come like stab me, and I shot him. An OG block and went to Japan with the other oh, blocks shit. that are. In Japan, yeah, I heard shit. this information about him, and you know what? Now that I put two and two together, who this is, that's gonna be a nightmare when he comes <laughs> back. He's gonna start stabbing people left and right. Yeah, the shit. Oh, 100 percent. That Ron was telling me is he he stabbed four children, and then when they tried to arrest him, he stabbed four cops, and they're like terrified. I mean, he stabbed me, so I can confirm he stabs cops at least. Um, that uh, is Ron up there visiting what's her face right now? Yes. I uh, spoke to River to see if I should be concerned, and apparently it's just them trying to circle around and see if Bloodbath is back. Um, just an FYI, uh, Laura got caught with a burner phone and she blamed you for it. Okay, that's fine. They are blaming me and I, I don't know why, but <laughs> whatever, I don't really I'm care. Just, I'm just I saying mean, I got a call from... They're literally, I still get... I got a call from DOC <laughs> saying that you're... That Laura hey, told them that you're sneaking look, uh, phones to her. So. Me phone. Tinker, at this time, you have a th the right to remain silent. Okay, you okay just you yeah. can't abuse against Thank you, Luca. Court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during any and all questioning if you uh, can't afford an attorney, which I know you can. One will be appointed oh, I'm by broke. Steve Sanders, so available. I'm broke as yeah. fuck. You want, you want an attorney? You want us to find you, you an attorney Crane. to represent you That's right it. now? I want uh, any, any Adams, please. All the Adams. And get you Nielsen What's right that? away. That's that. You guys never had uh, Metzger invoke like uh, overruling authority to question officers for an investigation. No. <laughs> he invokes that it's sometimes. It's extremely I... powerful. He'll get you in the <laughs> office, and if you don't tell him everything that you know, they'll he'll fire you. Is that like Wait, NATO or, or Geneva? Yeah, he like, he he enacts some type of like uh, international, you know. Uh, like a national alliance uh, ruling inside of the uh, missioner office. He tried to do that to me one time, and I low-key panicked, but then I went home and gurgled <laughs> it and realized that he can't do that to me because I'm technically his boss. Clarity <laughs> warning. That's right. Thank you, Brain, for that memory. Yeah. Oh, oh. I was just okay. Whatever you were describing before did not sound like in my head as a Garrity warning. If you would have said that, I know exactly <laughs> what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way description it, the description <laughs> after you gave me this the definition into the fucking where i know that is not in my brain listen least, if you sat one of those it, it, if you sat one of those it's it's pretty much almost equivocal to when they brought the uh you know uh german scientist prisoners into the uh united Jesus. states council to interview them before deciding their oh, fate I, that's essentially what it felt like and no not I equivocal to a garrity <laughs> warning but it felt like that did it feel I mean, worse it, coming from a german if you're getting hit with a Garrity warning, you got to worry about your fucking career because that means they literally feel like they have to like corner you in the chief's office to get information out of you that's legit or else you're corrupt. I don't know. Yeah, that's basically that's, not that's a, basically it's what a he bad invokes. thing. He invoked that on me though and I Yeah, anyway, that's beside the point. Couldn't you just order him to stop invoking it on you? Yeah, that's done. No, <laughs> Malton, stop. <laughs> no, don't. You can't do that. Um, all right, so I, I did meet up with Laura last night. She said, Oh, damn, lucky you that she is, <laughs> she is so still that's willing how she to got burn her phone. No, 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 she had this already because she was talking to, to River. You could burn her phone, you made her earn that burner, huh? I needed to burn my phone after being within five feet of her. Uh, she's still working on our side, 
uh, she doesn't want to be there any longer. And I, uh, so there was two, two points. Uh, I basically said, regardless of whatever happens, I need to know if you're working for us or going to work for them. And she said, uh, what about the death penalty? And I said, that's on the table as long as you're, you're not working with us. She said, well, I'm working with you. So then I said, okay, on the second note, if you want to get out of here, there's only one way to, to make that happen because I have it from uh, Otto's own mouth that if you get out any other way other than through his lawyers, you're dead. And she said, okay, I, I don't want to be here anymore. So how do we do this? And uh, I said, we basically have to play hardball with Otto's lawyers when they negotiate your, your plea deal or, or your, I'm sorry, your bail hearing and make it look like we didn't like what they offered, but gave in anyway. And she said she could, uh, she could make that happen if we were still open to it. Uh, open All to right. what? Hold on. Uh, can we, can we move away from the front sure. door one more time? Okay. I might be annoying, but I'm the opposite oh guy. God, I don't want our go. shit to get spoiled by a simple conversation. Can I, hold on a second. Go to the archive. I know he's calling. I just want to. I just want to show something real quick. What this looks like. Hold on, chat. Here we go. Ready? Listen to this. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, is this you, Ron? Oh. Hey. Hey, what's the what's the stats on Hooker getting out of jail, dog? Ron. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Tell me about Hooker. Well, I'm just asking you, what's the status of her getting out of jail? Well, right now we're, uh... I mean, we're dealing with it. Is she trying to get out of jail? I, she try I don't know if she's trying. So what are you, what are you asking? Well, because you told me that you were going to... Well, Tinker told me that you guys are going to move her out of there. I don't know what, uh, I mean, I think that's the conversation we're about to have. Oh, all right. All right, so yeah, just hit me up when you, when you figure that shit out. Have you been, um, in contact with anyone else? Like who? I don't know, anyone that would try to kill you. I mean, yeah, most people would try and do that to me, dog, but no, not really. And what's the situation uh, with, uh, with, uh, River? Uh... Yeah, one sec, Dick. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think she just laying low. I mean, she back in a relationship with Jimmy, but that's about it. I think she's safe for the most part. She just got hit in the head at the apartments with a sledgehammer. Right now? Well, like an hour ago. Who did that to her? I don't know. Some. It's not really. It's not really relevant, but I think she's doing some block shit up at the projects. Um. She tried to force some woman into buying a $50 sandwich and pull the gun on her. I don't know if that's true. Dick, the rental papers are in the, the gun box, dog. What do you mean the gun box? The gun box. What the fuck is a gun box? Where you put the guns on the car, dog. Bob, did you just forget we were having a discussion? Or... No, sorry. Ron's talking to me about a... Oh, I, no, I, I see you. No, never okay. mind. A gun I box is a place off. where you put the guns it. in the car, yo, like in the... On the passenger side of the vehicle. Do you have a gun right now, Ron? I always have a gun. Ron, that is fucked. Hello? Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna. Wait, what's, what's fucked up? Nothing. You want me to be strapped it's, on these? It's street called streets? a glove box. It's not called a gun box. No. Uh, it clearly says gun box. All right. So you're keeping a low profile. I mean, I haven't shot anybody, so I'd say so. What about Mono? What about him? Is he also keeping a low profile? I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a few days, dog, but I think so. I mean, the dog model's a caveman. I, he, the most he's going to do is, like, try and start a fire. <laughs> and the situation with Bloodbath? What about... Who told you about <laughs> Bloodbath? Bloodbath's kind of like my trap card, dog. What does that like mean? I mean, if shit hits the fan, then I unleash Bloodbath. <laughs> Ron, I need you to not unleash Bloodbath, okay? For the sake of this investigation, do not unleash bloodbath. Alright, then 
Protect my hooker from dying. Listen, last time you said I, you fucking did a drive-by on Sophia. It was not a drive-by, I need more than an I. I need your word. What do you mean it was more than... Actually, don't tell me about it. Because then I have to fucking investigate your dumbass. To investigate, dog. I did that shit. All right, I have to. I have to go run. All right. All right can you hang up? Cause my phone is scuffed as fuck. Do not activate bloodbath. All right. Well, listen, dog. <laughs> okay, I won't activate bloodbath. I hope you mean that when you said that. Okay, I mean it, Bob Smith. I will not activate bloodbath. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate it. All right. I I, I can't hang up the phone. You gotta do All right. it. Goodbye. Later. <clears throat> Let me see which button here is the. Um. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on the line. It's uh sorry the, the big the big red one that says hang up. No, I think I put I think I put my I locked my screen here. One second, hold on. It's kind of convenient because I also locked my screen. Hold on. Oh, we gotta do the face recognition thing now. Wait, do I have to do that? Oh, all right, there we go. I think I hung up. <sighs> All right. Um, the fuck you need to meet with me. <laughs> hey, Snicker, did you want to have a meeting? Oh, you're on the phone too. Okay. Bobby's still on the line, dog. Where that? Wait, where, where's Luca then? Did he go? Did he go out? Hey, Snicker, did he go outside already? Yo, this dumb cop still on the line with me, yo. He is like it, don't even know the you, phone are you on. Are on the phone right now, Tinker? Are you on the phone? Hey, we should go like blow oh, okay. up the casino, dog. All right. I'm gonna get. Hey, I'm gonna get a sandwich real quick. All right. I'm gonna get a sandwich. You, you got the gasoline canister, hey, dog. I'm gonna get a sandwich, okay? All right. All right. Do you want anything? Oh, you got a gun, Granny? Oh, I, cool. the phone. I okay. agree. Sorry. All right. He's on the phone. <laughs> you think I should tell him about all the PDRs I got in my apartment? Granny is definitely oh, an asshole. Shit. Wait, what about Toretti? I got like five. No, Toretti is a fucking asshole. You're right. <laughs> oh, That's shit. true. God damn it. Yeah. Hey, listen, I gotta talk to you. I, uh, something came up. Do we, do we have anything on this bloodbath guy? Hey! Where the fuck did he go? Do we have anything on the bloodbath guy? Hello? I'm I'm legit trying to figure out if we if we actually have a profile for him. Did you, did you hear did you hear what I said? Me no. Yeah, no, I was talking I'm talking. Why you sound like why you sound like I can't hang up my phone and he, he just he kinda left his phone so on like he doesn't know he's talking. I just talked to uh Ron, right? I think yeah, I think he butt dialed me again, dog. But do you uh you know anything about a bloodbath? Like, He's do, talking about do making out with Toretti, yo. He gave me a name for it, and I already forgot the name. Billy Senora. Oh, okay. I'm Why would see, you want to film that? I want to see if uh, we have a thing for. Oh, Jesus. I mean, if I oh, ever float your boat, dog. What the fuck? Hello? Oh, yeah, you still on the phone. Why did you sound so far away? Wait, Ron? Yeah, you're still here. You're still on the phone? Oh, Jesus. I, I thought I fucking hung it up. No, you've been sounding nah, very you weird this whole time. Dog. That's why I was so confused. You've had oh, your phone uh, in your face. Oh, sorry, Ron. Um, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm so confused. I'm gonna hang up. Okay. All right. Did you Did you hear what I was saying? No. Okay. Good. All right. Goodbye, Ron. Later. Yo. <laughs> I never got the. <laughs> I I slept. I totally. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that fucking bit, dude, went too long. <laughs> just, he just, he couldn't hang up the. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Oh, I just want, I just want to see what it sounded like from his end if he was, uh, if he was streaming. It. I'd be curious. <laughs> just like this. You want to rob the casino? <laughs> yeah, you want to rob the casino? <laughs> Welcome to the Immortal Army. Oh my god, man. I, I love role-playing with these guys. It's so fun. Holy shit. I get fucking tears. <laughs> I I was joking with chat the other day, but I was just like, 
I have this like super intense music going on for like the blocks. It's like it's like the most comical situations. <laughs> We've all been talking about it. Everyone that's like all the cops investigating this are just like they just crack the fuck up, dude. They're like they're like, yeah, so I was talking to this guy and I was interviewing him and I was like, so why is wingman after you? And then they'll say some shit like he didn't put in his two week notice, dog. <laughs> like, and then fucking Rod's like, wait, how'd you know about bloodbath? <laughs> I was like, that was actually my trap card. <laughs> I was going to activate him when shit hit the fan. <laughs> It's the only way out of the gang, dog. You gotta put on your two-week notice. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I got fucking tears. Oh my goodness. The blocks are really good. Alright. Okay. What's the plan? Because uh, we had one. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I was gonna... I thought you had a plan. No, I we okay. We don't need to go to prison anymore. You talked to that guy, right? You talked yeah, to I did. both of those. Okay. We don't need to talk to, to uh, Laura. We don't need to talk to. Okay. Mm. Well, I I gotta get up. I gotta get up my Trello here. Hold on. Excuse your. Tr we don't use that shit anymore. Oh, I made my own. Hey, just to keep me on task, like quick though. What What do you mean? So I don't forget you make shit. Your own. Like for just my my personal like remember like to do list, you know what I mean? It's not like it's as basic as it gets. It's literally just notes that I move from to do to done to make sure I'm not forgetting shit. You good? Yeah, I just slept. Yeah, it's I'm not like, you know, anyway, it, you know it doesn't oh. matter what it's like because it's just yeah, fine. Food. Anyway, there's nothing yeah. wrong with me. I'm organized. That's what I'm supposed to be. There you go. Uh, I'm going to sleep. Are either of you hungry? Is Malton, is Malton around? Hey, I am. No, I'm good. Is Malton around? No. How about you, Luca? Yeah, I'm a little hungry, actually. All right, here you yeah, go. Luke is a hungry boy. This, I'm going to stuff this. He's out of his box of fries. He's out of his It's all the cigarettes. Did he? Thanks. Yeah. There you go. It's not like I run all around right. or do a whole lot of physical activity like I used to. Right. Burger shot and cigarettes. Uh, mm -hmm. What the fuck it's is Tinker? It's a hell of a diet. I don't know. Yo, Tinker, you're uh, in this radio. doing something dumb i'm sure oh we were just in the armory or in the gun range shooting so hmm bro i don't know if you consider that dumb but a nice bucket hat thanks in case it rains out there no i got you good to have it they don't have one in black huh better safe than sorry right uh no not not one in black that's right what if we got like Look, bucket look, hats for the departments. Look at luck. If if you're getting piss poor, rained on, you don't have time to worry about what color it is. Okay. I I just don't want to look like I'm in the BCSO. You know that's the important thing. True. Spartan, what if you punch God. me in the face, that's not fair. I have my phone in my hand. I mean, you did. I I wasn't going to, but now I kind of wanted because you just said that. Man, I'll fucking do it. Didn't it work. No, I, I didn't say anything bad about the rain. Damn, whoa. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Nice. Fucking GCSO. Knocked off his glasses. Go why, are you, why are you bullying him? Huh? Why are you bullying him? Bull he bullies me. Luca, don't do. bully him. Alright. Stop bullying him. Is it, this is like mutual bullying, alright? He bullied me, I bully him. You guys gotta stop bullying each other, you know? It's a vicious cycle, Bob. All right. Different uniform Is colors, same cycle? blood. No, that I actually do believe. I'm, I'm going to bully him even if we weren't cops, but yeah. Yeah, true. Well, I was walking out of Mission Row. Thank God I didn't have to deal with that. How's your detective stuff hey, going, Tinker, where the fuck are you, dude? I think he's in the gun range. It's going okay. Never mind, that's Dulio. No, that's Dulio. Tinker's Julio. over here somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Gangster's Paradise. Theodore Tinker! Go... Oh, God. Hey, 
Tinker's cleaning oh, dishes you know, in the break you know, room. You know what we should ask for? We should ask hmm. for an intercom system at MRPD. So you can like get on there and be like, if Tinker's in the building. <laughs> Go to the dispatch room and hey, what are you doing in here? You're cleaning dishes. They're already clean. Yeah. Well connected too. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I don't know about all of you. I'm just saying I, I like to have conversations with different people. So, mm. yeah, hey. All right. So my idea was we need to get a, an intercom system hey. here at, hey. at MRPD where you can just the pick up a phone on a desk. You know, have you like beep beep, Tinker, come down to the bullpen. Beep beep. You know, one of those. Right. Something like that. What do you think? Yeah, that could work. To uh, buzz people in. It. Oh, yeah, if we're down in the cells. Because, you know, think about this, right? You got units on different channels. And I just had this happen the other day. I was at MRPD and people were looking for me. And I had, they had to have, like, yeah, even at the prison. Anyway, long story short, imagine having them just, you're in the cells. You hear beep, beep, uh, you know, Officer Kovacic, your lawyer's here for your, you know, block. That's Tinker, it. why are you in handcuffs? Cut down I'm wondering the same too. thing. Who put you in handcuffs? That would be the, uh, yeah. How did you get put the in the handcuffs? I don't know. I was just doing the dishes. Where did those? I was deep in thought. Jesus Christ. This is like Did Harry last night you? all over again. Somebody cuffed him up, my, Bob. My handcuffs Somebody was trying not to lose him. They saw him doing the dishes, and they were like, that's a keeper. I need to cuff him. Thank you. Um. Okay, we gotta talk about this whole thing with the blocks and Laura and whatever the fuck else. Oh, is Laura was just uh, at the prison talking to some dude. We yeah, really wrong. yeah, we know. Okay. Wait, you arrested? Who was it that you arrested? Uh, some dude that was trespassing apparently earlier. I don't know. It looked like was. a scuffed version of Tony. Yeah, I don't think like so. Like a scuffed Tony. I don't see the arrest report yet. From... I mean, there's not even the charges on there. Some. Rose is arresting him right now. He got arrested for felony trespassing earlier. Is he in the, is, oh, is he in the basement? Von Hard Dick. Oh, oh, there's your dude. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm gonna go check out this Hard Dick. Later. Oh, this is gonna clear some things up. Perfect. You just punched Jupiter. What? Let me go in the cell with you. Let us go together. I don't You need side bullet? Super, they want to be in the same cell. Can we go in the same cell? Hell nah. I want to see that dirty shit. Oh, Stop fornicating and shit. What the fuck? Wait, where's yeah, Von Hart? I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's like the Uzi. And you wait, you still had the Uzi on him? I wish you could, Waffle. Still, wait, did he shoot somebody with it? No. I don't know, did, did he? somebody with this Uzi? I don't know. I'll run it. nobody with the Uzi. I don't see your hard dick here. Who is the fuck is going on, man? You Something can't surprise me with dick. anything. They said, they said Rose. Think had, about it. So. Hey, have you seen you a hard dick? I mean, because I was just dick. there. No, exactly. Uh, I mean, isn't Tinker just behind you? Existing. What can you talk No, uh, uh, Tim, Tommy, Tommy Von Harddick. I didn't do it. Uh, no, uh, no, no, I, 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 I have not. Shit. You were driving. I saw you in my eyes. Oh, my fault. No, it's all right. You admit to driving multiple times. Think about the wrong person. What the fuck? Luke, you on this radio? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Rhodes is down at Vespucci PD with the Von Harddeck guy. Copy, I'm about to give him a phone call. 
Uh, I gave Rhodes a phone call. Let him know you guys are on your way down. Oh, so. ten four. Thank you. Of course. Right. Yeah, Tinker's really excited about this hard dick, so we got to get him down there. Rhodes is gonna give him right over. I I'm sure Rhodes will be, you know. Hey, Tinker. Ah, oh, fuck me. Not again, dude. Do you want to go get this guy so, you know, we can help Tinker? I don't even know what this is for. Tinker just saw, like, an indiscrepancy with his ID. He just hard dick. I don't and know. And it's not going to, like, a hard dick for a hard dick. You can play oh, fucking... Well, just got a hard uh, dick waiting for him, MDW and I don't know why MDW administrator uh, some other day. We got to talk about this fucking block situation. Is, it, is that the only reason he's interested in this guy is because of this weird... Yes. IT problem. Unless there's a different reason. I thought no. I thought he had like a warrant for the guy, or he's no. wanted, or no. we're having an issue tweet, IDing him. And it was something about the IDs being incorrect, and now he wants to fix it. Because if we don't have a million other things to figure out, is is it bad that I really just want to punch him in the face right now with this cup of coffee? No. Just if you do it, like I won't even look. Nah, he's, no. you know, he's, he's, no. no. He told me to stop bullying people, so I'm going to stop doing that. Well, that's true. He gets bullied enough. He, fuck, Spartan, you think Spartan gets bullied? He gets bullied. Like, yeah, we shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't point it, you know, fully automatic submachine gun at him either, but. I'm pointing you it were the chief right of police, where so head, you know. the tip of his, you know, thing is. Why would you want, like. Honestly, Bob, I could probably you sneak I, a bullet if you ever point there. a gun at me, please please point it at the, at the top all head because right, I'd rather right. rather hit me in that one, to be quite honest. Listen, I, I got I mean, this thing. I didn't get to shoot it once today. Not a, a go to the soul. fucking firing range. Every other asshole. No, no, I meant, like, I, I meant like in live uh, scenario, you know. Oh, I mean, you want to go You want to go start some shit? I mean, I can, we'll find something to fire that on if you want. I mean, Look, GSF, GSF is still yeah. shooting and robbing at the pier. You want to go shoot him with this? Let's go. I guarantee you we can get somebody. I mean, let's go on the south side. Just drive around. There's like one but cop I, there. Oh, really? I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I can't actually, it's probably roads, and I can't actually go with No hiring thing. Tinker, if he wants this, his hard dick. No, so. roads is that. Uh, I gotta repark it. Like the, the, the police department or whatever. Processing. Bob Smith PD. That is what they're calling it for some strange oh, reason. They're not just calling it that. The <laughs> It's not a strange reason. I mean, if there was a sign on the front of the building that said Bob Smith PD, I mean, I, I, that's what you got to call it, right? I guess, Luca. I guess you have a point. Listen, I uh, I talked to uh, Memorial. Uh, I talked to uh, Tony. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, he made me I don't a know promise. If I'm gonna do it on top I'm of spaghetti. Kind of gonna be code for to roll in <laughs> All covered in cheese. Sorry. Um, I lost my point. Yeah, this time I did. What? Why is my radio going off? What do you mean? My radio was all fucked. I talked to, um... I talked to Scuff Tony. I told him, uh... Not to activate Bloodbath. Yes, sir. Uh, we're on shelter. Who's this? We would be because uh, it is Theodore Tinker, 414, that would like to have a word with the person you have in custody, but he is in his head drinking coffee. And we are waiting to give him a ride there. We're just standing here staring at him. Just pick him up. What you mean? Put him in the car. 10-4. Right, ten, ten, ten. Is Bob coming? You want me to? Can I bring you to my PD? Do you, do you not get along I'm not going to Sandy Shores, if that's what you're implying, sir. You think... Sandy? Oh, Polito PD? No, 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 no. Hey, there's the also... Car? Do you, do you hear any gunshots, like, down the street from you at the docks? Oh, I'm in the cell block area. I don't hear a thing. Oh, I guess the GSF is still shooting the shit out of each other down at the pier. Just curious if you heard anything. Oh, no, no, not a thing. Um, do you think if I contact the Ours is in the process, like, PD the arrest... Uh, Matt Rhodes oh. PD. Oh, yeah. To be MR. Listen, I had nothing to do with this Bob Smith PD situation. I'm the wrong person to ask about it. Yeah, I'm going to speak to the mayor. I, I think it's important. You're going to care in the mayor? Yeah. 
you know, I think having Matt Rhodes PD being the one up in Polito would be great. Um, and then I could always just say 32076 MRPD 195. Wouldn't that be confusing because you're talking about the one in Polito? No. 32076 to MRPPD. What if you did MRSO? That, um. That sounds too close to. Uh, what's that thing? It's MRSA? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, one letter, and we're talking about a nasal swab. Yeah, never mind. Uh, 41076 to Vespucci Police Department. You, you really shouldn't violate SOP, sir. It's Bob Smith Police Department. This guy's like cars. This guy likes to talk about cars. I don't know. Tinker just kept saying he wants to talk to Hard Dick. He wants Hard Dick, and that's all I know. Okay, he wants Hard Dick. Oh, well, he's here. Don't worry. Timmy says his last name is uh, Hardick, not Hard Dick. Well, you tell Timmy that his ancestors put two D's in his last name, and that wasn't our choice. Hey, listen. It, it's their name, all right? How they want to pronounce it is, is their business. Yeah, well, it's all right. This is coming from a guy whose name always gets butchered, so... You know, just... <laughs> oh, yours isn't that bad, Luka Kovacic. No, it's Kovisky I'm sorry. I'm not time, Russian. Bob. What do you think? I'm Russian? I think it's, yeah, it's Kovisky right? Kovisky Okay, but it's K O V A, which is. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot Kova. This one I about. Yeah. And then C I C. Get your goddamn argument. hands off me. This is a bad argument. This is a bad argument. Right, I'll, I'll let, like, I'll let <laughs> Rhodes put his hands on you then. Kova K. Nope. Probably won't like it. Yeah, I, I understand how? why people say Okay, okay. Third lot, time but I how, would, how would you say it? Kovacic. Kovacic. Yeah. Hmm. It, all de it all depends, I guess, you know. It's Kovacic. <laughs> I wasn't... I actually wasn't trying to hit you. Let me give you an eye fact. Nope. You, you, should, you should try to hit him. It's fine. You made us wait. He made Rhodes wait. Hit him for that. There he is. Hey, what what's up? going on? Yo, yo. Sorry, hey. what's up? Ah, the hey, beautiful Bob Smith PD. I heard you guys wanted to talk to me. That's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your? Detective your Tinker here is a very for... interesting case revolving you. Is Timmy Von Hardick. I spell with two D's, correct? Yes, sir. All right, case closed. Thank you so much. Is that really it? Wait, were wow. you looking at the other MDW yeah. profile with no state ID? Clerical error, yeah. Who did that? I have no idea. I just noticed it today. So they don't want to talk to me? Uh, we could talk to you. You know anyone that does crime? Nah. All right. Are you sure? Have you seen my state ID? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will say he a real one. The only yeah, the... people I talk to are police officers, and unfortunately, it's always under bad circumstances. I wanted to be one of y'all. I wanted to be on that side of the bars. But, but then I you committed a... a felony. Yeah, I committed a felony by accident, and if I got fucked. you want to have this fucked. conversation, we could go in there, and you could stand out here if it helps you. Oh my god, better. please. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Let's go. I'm ready. Wait, do what? You want to swap sides? We're swapping. Uh, I don't... How I mean, would I you tell guys my husband? Have, you guys have all the keys. <laughs> okay, hundred. It's K Rhodes. We don't have to tell him. I never told mine. <laughs> I do. Yeah, and how's your relationship going, Bob? Awful, terrible. It's uh, it's ag agonizing. And mine is. Gr oh, I had a lot of gunshots. Oh, that's what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, that's probably the gunshot. That sounds like 
Semi-automatic right, gunfire. Bring me out there. Yeah, I'll get I my don't regular think it's semi-automatic. Right that was single-fired, uh, you know, pistol sounds. Okay, do you know what semi-automatic means? Shut the fuck up. What did you say, Tinker? Semiotic just means you don't have to use... Fucking... Are you telling like the a, former a musket, chief of police how like a fucking a gun works right now? Like the oh, only thing is not semi-automatic. Well, I think they might have... Yeah. They shoot the power? No, they were... Right, so no, they went, to, they went a little so... Which is right here, huh? Oh, there's a car on the street here. What's the point of this if we can't it's use it car? people in it. Nope. LSPD! They got cigarettes in here. Let's go. The fuck? They were like... What were they doing? What? I don't know. Are there a lot of cases? No, I think the casings there. I think it was a drive-by. The fuck? What is this? 9 mass shooting. Did we see? Did we, did we go in the same entrance? Oh shit. Hold on. Come. I didn't hear that. I'm on one. What happened? Oh, did we go in? Oh, what's on one? Nothing's on one. I thought this might have been on one. Oh god, I hope fucking Tony didn't unleash bloodbath already. Thank you for calling Denny's. How can what? I help you? What happened? Oh. oh. What the fuck? Police! Me. Holy shit! What the this fuck? This guy just shot fuck, me. This bro. guy just shot me. Hey! I didn't shoot him. I, I, Who shot him? Fucking guy just shot me. Fucking gun is that? Like a I'm honey down. Oh, it's an I'm SMG. Down. Yeah, it's an SMG. What the Holy fuck is shit. going on here? This guy uh, tried to kill me, dog. Yo, he why'd you try to, to charge me? He tried to charge me tax, and I drove away. Man, he, he doesn't want to wingman hitman, dog. Is this true? <sighs> Are you a hitman, sir? Did you get Absolutely shot? Is, not, he, is this guy fucking I'm bleeding fine. out back here? To, uh, I'm bleeding out right now. Man, I don't know this guy's name. His name man. is Chester Cheeto, dog. He works for Wingman. My name's Chester Fields. Look at my name. I have no His crime name is Chester in this fucking Cheeto. my whole life. Oh, in we gotta city. get him out of this truck, Ron. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. You know, you I'm not putting my hands behind my back. <sighs> Tony, Tony, come on. Don't do it. Tony. Fucking asshole, man. He took my gun, too. Oh, damn it, Lagarde. I just saw, yeah, I just saw you guys. I just saw you guys down at the PD tow yard. I was hanging out with Lily. I'll get him help on one. Thanks, guys. Did you, get you guys shot? hear the gunshots or something? Yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, he shot me a bunch of fucking times. Hey, guys, is really, this code four? Really appreciate it, guys. Is, what's that? Is this code four, bud? Um... Yeah, why not? <laughs> Sounds good. Echo 40 is 23. Hey, now, what's, what's with hey, these man. fucking guys in this block tax? What the fuck is that about? Oh, usually what's when name, buddy? people don't pay him 50 Four, bucks, they shoot. Chester Field, sir. Hey, Chester. Thank you. My name's Brad. What's happened? Well, you this guy arm. shot me a few times yeah, in kind of the chest the area. I think I got pretty lucky. Yeah, just be real guess. careful because I really don't have a look pick. Just uh, take your bet. Yeah, Darsky. Canadian flannel is incredibly strong, sir. Oh. What the fuck uh, is wrong? Are, can you take who? a nice big breath in for me? Legarski? What do you mean? Yeah, who? I don't, I don't know, location. dude. He's... How the fuck are we supposed to work with him at all? He's got fucking half dead people in the... Yeah. Um, I have to get uh, names and numbers for victims. Look, you have who to shoots know. people and then pulls over on the side of the road and calls an ambulance and waits with them? What? Who does this shit? <laughs> Why did you shoot him in the first place if you fucking have... What? What? Hello, uh, Ron. This is Bob Smith with the Los Santos Police Department. How are you doing today? I'm good. 
Hey, I gotta ask you, uh, what the fuck was that? Ah, uh, he didn't want to pay the hood tax, though. Okay, dog, what the fuck are you doing just fucking driving him around in a pickup truck and calling an ambulance for him? Like, what? What are you trying well, he to- was, He was being nice to me, dog. So he's not associated with Hunter Sky and, and friends. Ah, uh, no, nah, I was lying. All right, I'm probably gonna have to put out a warrant for you. Well, I mean, Tinker kind of still chasing me. Oh, is no, he? Tinker, Tinker's still yeah, chasing me. Yeah, I haven't gone away yet. still chasing. Oh, okay. I will get away. You will get away. Well, if you get away, I'm not. But it's probably gonna be a warrant for shooting this guy who didn't pay pay the hood tax, Ron. Okay. Well, what's with even the warrant? Ah, right, cool. Thanks, guys. You take care. Attempted nope. murder. Uh, probably a cell with a deadly. Oh my God! He's, he's all good to go. We we got the, the person that hurt him was on scene with him when we got here. So, uh, beautiful. Take care, guys. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, officers. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. Sorry about what happened. Yeah. Sorry. I don't even know who that guy was. What? Well, I didn't get his ID. Wicked sick. Yo, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, how's how you been? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, Lincoln informed me that he filled out his app. Oh, shit. He talked to a guy right. in front. Yeah. There you go. There you go. See you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, he, he told me he put you down, and uh, I don't know. He didn't tell me the other people, but he said that he oh, put you down. Good. Yeah, I, I can, I definitely can uh, give him a reference, no problem. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, All right, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, hopefully they'll reach out to me real soon. All right, hell yeah. Talk to you later, man. Yeah. All right, brother. Looks like they got Ron in custody. We didn't get the guy's ID. He just got fucked up, I guess. Uh, Chester or something. Ron says uh, he didn't pay the hood tax. So, but and he, I called, he said he was working with Wingman. Yeah, but he lied about that. He, um, he said he'd call him an ambulance because the guy was being nice to him. Oh, my God. We can go to Never pillbox. Mind. He it's was fine. incapacitated. <laughs> yeah, let's just go to pillbox, I guess, so we can get that guy. We should probably get his ID and stuff, too. Oh, shit. Where's our car at? Tinker was chasing Ron with it. Fuck me. You can just go back to Bob Smith PD and get one. Just walk on over to BSPD. Awesome. I don't actually know if there's cars over there. Yeah, you can you can get you can pretty much pull anything from that motor pool that you can pull from uh oh, the see. Well. You can't pull your personal out like if it was in I don't know. But yeah, all the shared stuff's there. I don't remember if I even pulled my cruiser out today. I think I did. I don't know where it's at at all. Did we leave it somewhere? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Uh you, you you should you should look around the other side too on the front, but it's the same thing on our front. What? Malton was extremely excited about this. I actually drove him down here for the photo op and took the pictures. Yeah, coffee wanted this, right? I can't believe this was named after my father. What? What? Yeah. 
don't don't start that shit. What? Don't don't be. You're, you're like Owen right now. You're being. Uh, what does he put? How does he put it? Uh, purposefully obtuse. I'm in front of. Um, I'm in front of Bob Smith Police Department. Let's go. I didn't do that. I, I, I didn't do that when we talked about it. I didn't say, let's go. Right. Yeah, that's so. a tinker thing. Yeah. I just yeah. want to clarify. But it's not named after your father, sir. It's named after you. You know? Why would it? Was your father yeah. the chief of police? No, he... I don't... I don't know. Yeah. Come on now. Did you not catch him? Don't uh, tell me you... it was a weird situation, what? honestly. Oh my god, dude! Uh, I'm done. I'm. I'm. Oh I'm my going god. No, he. Uh, he poofed on me. He... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Sure, he did. I oh, did. Like, he did that on purpose. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> can we talk? Can we talk about bloodbath? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are we using this exclusively from now on? Especially since MRPD is being watched, I feel like we actually should. I don't know. This, uh, I don't know. Anywho, I talked to Ron. Okay. He said uh, he was asking me about Laura's, like if Laura's getting out. So he yeah. talked to you about it, and you told him that you're gonna get Laura out. Uh, I said I needed to talk to Laura. Is what I told him. Uh, I said that I don't want her there. But it's not exclusively up to me. He wants his hooker out. Yeah, hooker wants out too. I just need to know if we can uh, do it safely. Although she she's not safe in jail anyway, so. Yeah, we probably can't do it safely. Also, he says that bloodbath is his tramp card. What's the hey, status hey, of that tink call? Tinker. At what did you say happened with Ron? Uh, well, I don't think he understands what just happened, so I'm not going to comment on it. Send it, sorry. What's the status of that 911? Uh, it's hard to explain. Yeah, he was like knocked out because he crashed. And then I was like putting him in cuffs and then he wasn't there anymore. But I don't think he understands that. He says that he just, he says he lost you. So no, he said, uh, I, I can bring you right back to where his truck is. He says he lost you in the chase. I can literally so. bring you right back to his truck. So you're going to go with this story, Tinker, of you yeah. reporting cuffs on You want to go? You want to go look at the truck? Pop. You sure you want to go with that story right no, now? He, I didn't say his head popped. I said he poofed. Oh, okay. Which he, poofed. he did. He, he, was, he was no longer there. It sounds a lot like this guy just got away from you in a I'll bring it back to his truck. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look. That wasn't on purpose, but it should be, okay? I'll bring you right there. Let's go. All right, we'll go. Let's take a trip. We'll fucking go. I'm telling you. If we, if we make him activate Bloodbath, it's going to be a really bad day for us. Which, by the way, he revealed to me was his trap card in case shit hits the fan. So I told him to make me a promise that he won't activate Bloodbath. I thought Hooker was his trap card. Bloodbath kind of a psycho, yo. <laughs> I can't wait to see how underwhelming Bloodbath is. <laughs> Bloodbath, he a psycho. Nah, he actually a psychopath for real, dog. Welcome. 
Bye -bye. Bye -bye. OG founder of the Alta Street Rough Riders. Huh. Crazy. Yo, Spartan. It's Luca. What's up? Yo, hey, Bruce, what, what happened on that chase with Ligarski? He never showed up. Yo, did you own him, dude? He said you poofed. Oh, okay. oh Jesus. And now right. we're trying to... Oh, that. Yeah, was that GSS? Played off as he's a shit cop. Jesus. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and do your thing. I'll talk to you. So, so Ron, Ron got ejected out of this? Yeah. And then he uh, <laughs> was incapacitated, and then uh, when he stood up, uh, I couldn't really tell where he was. Oh, it's a rental. Come on, El Cop. Did we at least stop Grove Street from shooting each other? That would have been more helpful. Uh, are we going to be able to uh, let her out on bail by making it look like Otto's lawyers got her out on bail? I, I don't know. I don't know, but there's a lot of gunfire. Whereabouts? In front of us? Grove Street. Oh, shit. Does nobody hear this shit? Am I like... I heard it. I heard insane? it. I heard it. Left, left, left. I'm hopping on one. Yo! Go, 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 I'll stay with them. I'm on okay. one now. There's a motorcycle race happening here. Vehicle uh, spun out. We're on Ran Rancho Boulevard, Elboro Heights. I'm going to need you for this road if you're still around. M4, 320, 76, I'm losing eyes on them. They're on Elysian Fields heading northbound towards Mirror Park. M4, they're heading straight towards me. One class vehicle? Uh, I don't know. Possibly A plus S. It's a green like Subaru type. Oh, it's Just Park 2. Uh, yeah, I'm VCB on them currently. They could have gone anywhere at this point. They did not head towards Mirror Park. Rose, these individuals God damn Park it. Too. By the way, shot up Dean's World and shot about seven people and robbed them. M4. Alright, let's, uh, let's get aggressive with them. Uh, this is 100% on a... Uh, What's their involvement in this situation? We heard automatic gunfire. We came around the corner. Two guys got shot in a truck and they took off. Now the what third situation in which they've opened fire in that vehicle? What was that them? I don't know about Dean's world in this one. I don't know any other uh, situations. Wait, I have eyes on them again. Olympic Freeway. They're taking the giant bridge up. I just regret no blue pressure freeway going towards Maze Bank. We're on the highway. Try to cut off Maze Bank Arena. Now you should be utilizing A plus. A firm. I'm low on gas you though. Ten four. Currently at the Maze Bank Arena. They're under me, Alpha of uh, La Puerta, going towards the construction site, uh, Dutch London Street, towards Maze Bank. We've been through traffic, South Arsenal Street. Yeah, I can barely keep up with these guys. I got it. Two oh seven taking comms eastbound Alta Street. Correction northbound. Dude, we actually got them, uh, though. Advised, yeah, yeah, be advised. Those individuals have shot people. Be advised, and all four, four of them have class two weapons and open fire class on the two. I'll say less. Class two already been used. Northbound, Alta Street, passing apartments. Speeds 130 miles per hour and increasing. Traffic light, weather clear. Passing Alta construction site, northbound. Crossing occupation, crossing Hallwick, still pushing northbound. 
left, westbound Spanish. Left, southbound, we're gonna place right, westbound Hallwick. Pack, passing Rockford Plaza, westbound Hallwick. Approaching Gallery, westbound Hallwick Ave. Now merging westbound Boulevard Del Perro. Vehicle slowing, U turn, eastbound South Boulevard Del Perro. Cutting through the grass back on the Boulevard Del Perro, northbound. Vehicle spinning out. Did you just hear that? U turn. Look, are you with me? Westbound Boulevard Del Perro. Passing the church. What the fuck is going on here? Put your fucking hands up! Put your fucking hands up! Stop! Left. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Uh, right. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, shit. Uh, Break, I need 52s on Rockford Drive. We just had two more people get gunned down by automatic fire. Uh, uh, Unrelated, just fight. another car with automatic guns. Uh, I didn't see them. I didn't see the gun. I didn't see the, uh, so I can't shoot, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I should have. Four ten, grab casings if you Pushing can. westbound, picture perfect drive. And Richmond Hotel. <laughs> Stay with me. Don't drive. die. <laughs> Come on, breathe. Past the university, westbound, picture perfect drive. <laughs> right. Uh, Rockford. Uh, EMS is coming, guys. <laughs> Please don't fucking, fucking die, turtle. man. I didn't think this would be the end of El Salimo. Open a fucking turtle. Don't uh, fucking die, man. Please. Uh, towards the gas station. <laughs> you must hurry up, bro. They're fucking dying out here, man. I got blood all over me. <laughs> Jesus. Still trying to push Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, it fucking burns. Uh, the oh, is shit. Gone. oh shit! Off road next to North Rockford Drive. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god, there's so much blood. Headed towards <coughs> the Vinewood Hills. Now pushing southbound. And by for cross. Jones Drive eastbound. Second enemy CB at this time. Continuing eastbound. Let's drive. Left, northeast, Sheldon, right, oh eastbound. Hang yeah, out. just well, both of them shot real bad. <laughs> you turn now southbound. Uh, Madway Thunder. Oh, I can't look. So you're gonna take right. Tom southbound into the construction site off of Madway Thunder. Uh, Avoiding the jump. I can't look at this. Road towards uh, the Richmond Hotel. <laughs> Down the cliff onto Picture Perfect Drive. That scene Ended it. Headed westbound Picture the, Perfect Drive. Started here. <sighs> Jesus. Left, any southbound, stand by. Oh, uh, penicillin. I'm allergic to penicillin. Left, uh, okay, any drugs or alcohol last eight hours? Passing between hotel eastbound, what's the point? Am I allergic to drugs? No, have you taken anything in the last eight hours? And we just not. Oh, fuck yes. Hey, uh, no, 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 no. No. Officer, take Approaching a few steps away. Hospital, oh, okay. Yeah, Approaching Rooster's Rest. <laughs> Passing Rooster's Rest, eastbound Eclipse Boulevard. Okay. Approaching Vault, eastbound Vinewood Boulevard. Uh, okay. Approaching Casino, left, northbound Elgin Ave. Positioning northbound, correction, driving off road westbound off of Elgin. Flip! Oh, no, they're good. Now back towards the road, northbound. Oh, no. Flipping down the cliff, they landed it. Headed southbound off of Elgin. Passing water and power, right, westbound Clinton Ave. Going for pit. Left, into an alleyway, southbound. Continuing south, merging uh, Vinewood Boulevard. Left, eastbound Vinewood Boulevard. Continuing east, merging Mirror Park Boulevard past the casino parking lot. He's on 20. Mustang passing left CVPIs. Checking the off road path up towards the dam. Spun out. Accidentally 
trap him. Oh, what the fuck what is that? The yeah, I, fuck? I went airborne. I, I hit him. That's my fault. No way they make it up there. <laughs> What Wait, do you need me to wait for you, or do you want me to just take them back down? Uh, they're victims. You're, you're free to just take them out. I'll, I'll meet them up okay. at the pillbox just for a statement. Oh, they're still holding on somehow. Do we have a means of getting up there? They're down on the road. westbound. West, We're on westbound now. Park drive westbound. Jumping down towards canals. Heading southbound in the canals currently. M4. Might go for the jump. Jumping, jumping up, up towards Gloria Westbound. Uh, right, continuing westbound. They're trying to VCV. They're continuing northbound up on the park, heading towards Bridge Street, cutting now east. Back towards Glory Way, jumping down to Glory Way. Going now back westbound towards Ellis Freeway. They sent him on the freeway. They're stalled currently. I'm flip. Trying to reverse. Their car is still mobile. 207 southbound. has eyes southbound off Los Santos Freeway, approaching Elgin. In the Del Perro entrance, westbound. Smoking westbound, heavy. Del Perro Freeway. Let's get more, uh, more, not more units. Let's get units catch up and then we'll go from. They're gonna be done any second. Therefore, we're right back. Taking a little player to exit southbound. Passing Red Garage southbound, we'll clear to freeway. Incorrect place to travel. So lower exit, incorrect place to travel southbound, we'll clear to. Find you, Hunter. Yeah. In off road eastbound towards Old Benny. Yeah, Luca was in the car. <laughs> Dang, in the alleyway eastbound by Old Benny's. Do a one way bullshit. Hey, right uh, I'm gonna go around. Oh wait, they're stuck. V their vehicle, that vehicle they're cannot out, make out, it through out. there. Individuals are out on foot eastbound. Again, class twos were present. Therefore, they're jumping up onto the freeway. Be careful. They're trying to circle around. Currently, VCB. I'm not pushing in there alone. They're going westbound on the freeway. Up the, uh, there's a ramp. Underneath the bridge. Uh, east yeah, of the tow yard. One of them hop back down towards the vehicle. Yeah. Well, south one on the north. I got one running on top. On the uh, underneath by the power generators. Oh my god, what happened? God, your shoes. This guy shot up, man. They saw my shoes too, man. Yeah, I know. I, I heard. Why'd they shoot you? It was a fucking turtle. It was over a fucking turtle. God damn. Those fucking yeah, sons of savages. I know, man. Do you have a. I didn't even kill the turtle. I got shot over it. Do you have an ID on you? Yeah. Can I see it? There you go. We got Dame Santa Beaches. I have to take his score. Stick with uh, Boyardi, I'm gonna help the others. That Jackson. Bad bet, huh? Mm hmm. Hello, B Nut. Oh, I got shot. Yeah. Hey, give me a second or, uh, before you head off. Get him out of the road. Uh, how many do we have outstanding? There's at least three two in that more. vehicle. Oh, really? So we have two right now, so we have either one or two more. Therefore, do we have a female? All right, can you give me a statement, Brad, of hair? what occurred? I arrived, you guys got shot oh. by class two. Oh, basically, uh, some yeah. machine guns. I, I didn't see it, unfortunately. I was able to shot them. I just, you know, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Oh, uh, so basically what happened, hypothetically speaking, I totally didn't rob a store using the same exact clothes at all with no mask. Anyways, totally didn't take that dude hostage at all whatsoever. Then... Totally not one of the people I was with took his turtle well, and smashed it in the back okay. room and nah, shot it. So, so it sounds like you were attacked by John Wick. Yes. And go under the bridge together and just secure that area. He sees me at the courthouse. I thought I just got done voting for the, you know, new uh, mayor and judges and whatnot. And he takes me at gunpoint. At the courthouse hey, and kidnaps me. Okay, unit on the highway, and it's only the old Betty, it's yeah. and just hold it down for a bit. Just... I don't even know his name. So I just had to bring you behind the courthouse uh, to like shoot you. There's a lot no, of uh, yeah. down here. Took me around yeah, the corner. Well, like fifty meters away. Listen to that. Is all we know, the, the far east side. And what was your name, sir? Uh, Salim, right? 
Selim Barghouti. Do you have an ID, Selim? I can give you my digital or my state ID if you prefer. No, just can you can you spell out your name? S A L E M B A R G H O U T H I, sir. So confusing. It's not. It's a great disability in Kuwait. I pretty much just sat back and just said, "This isn't my ship anymore." So that's kind of why I did that with two T's. I'm chill with leaving because it's like this is hospital stuff. I'm hospital. Hey, we're talking to a police officer. And uh, I know, I know, I know. Can, you, can you give me a statement, Mr. Uh, Sillian, of what happened? I went in to do my American duty to vote. I step outside. A man has a gun pointed mm -hmm. at us, uh, at my boy here. I try to de-escalate. They shove us in a yeah. trunk and they take us to Jones, an alley where the so gun So Jones and I got hired at the same time. And Jones has always gotten... It's when he you always antagonized the yeah. inmates and always caused them to fight. Or, well, at least always fight him, no, which then caused me to have to, to get involved. And I need to take my friend always always the what is happening on the radio here? I have to go deal with some business. Fucking pieces of okay, shit so shot me right in my fucking vest. Dundee what, did, Dundee, what did we ever do to you, Dundee? Hey, officer, what kind of caliber Dundee, what does your vest take? Uh, let's go, uh, man, come on. Hey, right, is that you, on, Peanut? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, I think nine Oh, why are you asking no? Hold on, why are you asking no? No, I was going to give him some money, but it's not. Hey, does Peanut have a warrant? Uh, I don't know. Are you no. peanut? How can you check? Well, I, I was just gonna give him a lot check? of money. Dundee, but I keep guess... hitting my car and I will shoot. Oh, I have peanut. Peanut. I, can you tell I me peanut, peanut, peanut had a warrant? No, I no, can't. I, that's, warrant. that's client privilege. All right, Sorry. Dundee. Yeah, peanut let's doesn't not have do a warrant the... in case you were checked. wondering. All right. Uh, Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I couldn't stop. You know. It's all right. Dundee, you want to do this? I'm stopping and saving us racers and going after them. Yes. Yes. And I also didn't see the guns, unfortunately. Yeah. We'll, uh,. We'll do the work for you, don't worry. Oh, well, you know, uh, hey, you know. Yeah. All right, come on, let's yeah, go, man. All right. All right. Good luck with John Wick. Sir. Yes. Oh, my, my, I got... took my shoes, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm, I was, like, hearing the DOC radio or some shit, or someone hey, from DOC. Me. Police officer, man. Yes, sir. I need to make a complaint. Huh? I need to make a complaint. Okay, go ahead. I was sitting down in y'all's garage having a few beers, and your parking lot attendants came and found me and then threw me out into the street, and I got hit by a car. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Sir, I'm, that's very unfortunate. I'm sorry. Isn't that like assault on a citizen or something? Uh, well, no, I mean, they have the right to throw you off the premises. Oh, there he is. God damn it. Like physically throw me? I don't know. All right, um, this ain't the last you're gonna hear of this, but well, I, I thank yeah, you for your help. I imagine not. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, did they did they not escort you off? I mean, honestly, you should file a civil suit if uh, you have a case. Just grab your medical records and uh, go down there, see who threw you, and then uh, just sue them. It was like four people. It took four. Uh, yeah, I should go repair. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, thank you, sir. I hope you have a good night. You too, sir. Sorry that happened to you. I just am uh, dealing with multiple people getting shot out there right now. Shot? Who's doing shooting? Uh, some gang down on the south side. Well, I hope you take care of that, sir. I'll both try. Thank you, sir. Oh, of course, something gets coming uh, gets brought into the loop. Ends up getting shot. All right. And then what else did we need before the storm? Um, the casing. I'm sorry, I got one more question. Okay, go ahead. Is it illegal to get drunk in the drunk tank? Uh, no, it's not. You're in our custody. It's just, uh... Uh, we don't allow that, so you pretty much have to sober up before we process you. But if I just want to go there and get drunk, can I get drunk in the drunk tank? That would be a, a negative, sir. Well, Sergeant Bundy told me I could. Well, well, I guess he technically outranks me, so if that's the case, then I'd listen to him. All right, well, I'll be sure to get that in like some kind of written form so that maybe people You might help need me that because it's the first time that I've uh, experienced you know, somebody saying that. Well, we bonded the other night and drank some beers and... You know, it was it was all good. All right, thank you. Shit, he was nuts, man.
All right. So if I looked it up, would it come up? No, hold on. Yo. All He's right. nuts. Why am I listening? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. I don't know why I have this yeah. person. Yeah, I... I he started ramming us, and I told him back away or we are going to open fire, and that's when he kind of did that, and then he... And we just drove in. I was like, fuck, if he's going to drive away, I'm just going to pull in. <sighs> yeah, well, then he started walking towards us, though. So. <laughs> nah. But if if he if he starts to threaten me, I'm going to to defend myself. So that sounds about right. Oh. Alright. Did they catch him? Uh, I was gonna come for the meeting, but honestly, I might just go to sleep. Yeah. Alright, voice in my head. Just go to sleep. Did they not catch him? Maybe plus mumble will fix it. I don't know. Um... There's a lot of cars over there, and they're all at a standstill. I assume that the chase is over now. Yep. Good stuff. So, I'm starting to feel... I'm starting to feel a little worn down, chat. Um, again, I had my second... Uh, I had my second shot today. So, I'm trying to take it a little easy. I'll probably take another uh, Advil, take some more uh, medicine so I can... Uh, you know... Not feel like shit tomorrow and if i feel good obviously i'll uh, i'll stream if not i'll just probably chill out tomorrow so i appreciate y'all thank you all for joining me tonight uh, i'm not gonna be there for the meeting unfortunately i'm just uh i just kind of want to chill out and uh you know rest up and all that um but thanks for hanging out with me hopefully you enjoyed the stream today not very eventful from you know certain side of things uh i guess we didn't really stream all that much though either so that's <laughs> that will probably do it yo um, still deciding whether we'll be back tomorrow. We'll just have to, we'll just have to see, you know, no promises, no guarantees, but, uh, just, just catch me, catch me if you can follow me on Twitter and all that. We're going to pass it off to our boy Kirby, my main man, raid him, say hello, all that stuff. Thank you for all the resubs. You guys are awesome. And yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be catching you tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. If not, then Wednesday. If not Wednesday, Thursday. If not Thursday, Sunday. Not Sunday, next Monday. Not next Monday, next Tuesday. Not next Tuesday, next Wednesday. Not next Wednesday, then next Thursday.